I don't think you are your brain destiny. What am I? You are a human being, which is made up of many parts. Okay, let's say you can choose to keep one thing alive, my head and put it on another body, or the whole rest of my body and put another head on. What would you choose to make it me? Well, I would, it's less about which one is you and it's more about do I have the right to kill you? No, I cut a person's head off, okay? Let's say that I stick the head on a bionic body and then let's say that I take a body and I put a bionic head on. I don't think people would look and go, oh my God, there's two Stevens. They would go, wow, Steven has a bionic body. We are our brains. Yeah. Because we are the conscious experience we have. None of it revolves around reception to pain, heartbeat, unique DNA. All of it seems to revolve around this conscious experience. When we talk about AI, we're not talking about creating bodies. We're not talking about creating hearts. We're not talking about even creating DNA. What we're really talking about is creating or emulating a conscious experience in a machine. It's we like, know we won. Okay. We didn't even need you though. I, mean- I am joined today by Destiny, famous internet personality, <laughs> live streamer, and political commentator who will be arguing the pro-choice side. And we have Kristen Hawkins. She's the president of Students for Life of America, a nonprofit pro life organization, and Lila Rose. She's the founder and president of the pro life organization Live Action. And uh, we were going to have someone else on Destiny's side, but unfortunately, they backed out kind of last minute. So, Destiny, this is going to be a 2v1. <laughs> I prefer to characterize my position as pro abortion, not pro choice. Okay. Pro, Very you honest. Okay. Very honest. That's, Thank you. that's a okay. clarification. Thank you. Got it. Um, so I think a good jumping off point, um, if each of you would like to summarize beyond just being either pro-choice or pro-life, or in your case, uh, pro-abortion or anti-abortion, uh, what is your basic stance on abortion? My basic stance is we try to figure out what is a person, what makes a person. person is granted some positive, some negative rights by governments, and probably morally and ethically separate from governments, we also grant people some type of right. I don't believe that a person is a collection of cells. I don't believe that a person is just a body with a brain. I think that very specifically when we speak about a person, we speak about something that has the capacity to deploy a conscious experience, because that tends to be the thing that we're usually talking about when we're figuring out if somebody's alive or dead, or whether or not somebody ought to be protected. When we say, a person, when we say who is suffering, we don't say what is suffering. We're not talking about a body. We're not talking about a heartbeat. We're talking about a person having an experience. So when I try to think of abortion, I try to think of who is being harmed. I would say that before 20 to 24 weeks, that's about when the scientists say that the brain has all the parts necessary to begin communicating, to have a conscious experience, that about at that point, there is some experience there that we can speak of as a who or as a person. But prior to that, the first trimester, that really experience is not happening yet. So if you want to have an abortion, there is no who that's being harmed. There's just a what, which is whatever the body is up to that point. So generally, I'm pro-choice in the first abortion up until that conscious experience has been formed because I think that's what's worth protecting because that's when we look to see when somebody's dead so that's what we should look to see when somebody's alive. So are you anti-abortion after 20 or 24 weeks? Yeah, after 20 to 24 weeks. And yeah. all abortions? Anti-all abortions after 20 to 24 weeks? With with the obvious exceptions of like ectopic pregnancies or life of the mother or something like that being threatened, yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, of course. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And your positions My, yeah, on... So I'll, I mean, we share a position, but Kristen, I'm sure, will have, yeah. have her way she wants to describe it. Um I think that all humans have human rights. By nature of being a human, you are a member of the human family. And so any member of the human family, and this is actually the preamble of the Declaration on Universal Human Rights by the United Nations. So for those that think they have any authority, I don't know if you do, Destiny, um, they say that all members of the human family um, deserve to be protected um, and treated by the law as persons. Uh And so if you're a member of the human family, you have human rights. And we know when you become a member of the human family, it's at the moment of fertilization. It's very clear. A single cell embryo comes into existence. And so I'm, I believe human rights for all humans. And I also want to build a society of love and justice. And the way to do that is mm-hmm. to treat people equally under the law and to protect the most vulnerable, especially children. Children deserve more protection, actually, than adults mm-hmm. because they are defenseless. And so we should actually go out of our way to do what we can to protect children and never commit homicide against them. So that's that's my pro-life position. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I share Lally's position. I'm, I'm against 
the strong being able to choose whether or not the weak or the vulnerable get to live or die based on someone else's you know perception of them or their convenience factor to another person i think that's a very mm-hmm. slippery slope and i actually think the position you represented um, is a very dangerous one because what you're saying is you have to be not only a member of our species in order to be a person with rights, the, the very bu- basic right to life, but you have to be a person plus. And it's a very exclusionary mm-hmm. class of what you're doing. You're excluding a whole group of human beings. Mm-hmm. So I, I guess my question is, are there other human beings you would exclude that you, you don't view Destiny as persons? Uh, not for this debate, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, here's a question, actually. Let me, uh, let me respond to your question with a question. Um, you guys say that humans are protected. Do you agree with that, that humans ought to be protected or well, humans are given? Well, more specifically, humans have human rights. So yeah, protection okay. can mean different things. But humans the funda- have human rights. The fundamental human mm-hmm. right is the right to not be killed. Okay. It's the right to be protected against the right to life. And so that's why I don't have the right to commit homicide against you, Destiny, uh-huh. or against you, Kristen, or against you, Brian, and certainly not against a mm-hmm. pre-born developing child. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah, so, but I have a question for you too, but I know we all have questions yeah. for each other, but I'll let you. Sure, let yeah, because I'm going to keep so, going on this. Yeah. I don't believe that you believe in that statement. Um, Mm -hmm. that humans have a right to life. So my next question Mm -hmm. would be, I show you a human who's been dead for 10 days. Mm. The corpse is still a human, we agree, right? I think to clarify, a right to life meaning a right to not be killed, a right not to be killed. It's fundamentally different, abortion and end of life care. I watched Mm -hmm. one of your debates this morning when I was on the plane coming here, Mm -hmm. and I found it interesting because you kept using this end of life and argument. Mm -hmm. You fundamentally Mm -hmm. have a right not to be killed. Abortion is an active killing. It's an active dismember. It's actually a violent ending for another human being. So morally, that act of abortion is, is much different different than someone who maybe is brain dead or we're not sure their brain activity that's been in a hospital for three months. That's that's a much different position to take um, because you're not actively killing that person. You may say we have to withdraw life support for this reason or we, you know, the doctor may say we have this reason to believe this person is brain dead mm-hmm. um, but you're act you're not actively killing you don't mm-hmm. say well they're gonna die so I'm gonna take a gun and put it through the person's head we wouldn't we would not say that we would say we might withdraw life support and see if the person can sustain life on his or her own but we're not gonna actively dismember them in the process or violently kill them in the process but that's exactly what abortion is it's not just with easily withdrawing life support it's actively going into a womb where there's a developing mm-hmm. human being that biologist tells us is unique whole living human being Uh that's never existed before and will never exist Mm -hmm. again and it's actively killing them okay i don't believe that you believe in that argument um if i were to show you that all abortions could be done by just extracting the baby and then leaving it on the table and not actively killing it but just removing it from the mother's life support and seeing what happens would you be okay with that that is actively killing that it. is killing it. because the how ch- is that because, actively killing anymore because than children the destiny uh-huh. you know this you're a parent children are dependent on their parents mm-hmm. a newborn is dependent on his or her parents right. and yeah. a preborn child is dependent on his sure. or her mother I'm just, cha- I the understand. I'm just challenging child, the words we're using here the difference okay, between active that's fine, and passive but killing, de- yeah. the dependency of a child doesn't give their parents or any anyone else the right to kill right. that child sure i never said as much i was challenging well the, you do say as much i think because i think your position is if that dependent child before the arbitrary line of 20 to 24 weeks mm-hmm. is in any way unwanted and convenient mm-hmm. just for whatever reason cho- abortion yeah. is chosen for that child then you are okay with a parent killing their child um depends on what video games the child plays no the only thing i'm trying to figure out right now is i'm trying but to are you okay with that because i think that was what well, you said right, i don't know what so right now i'm just trying to figure out what your position is so we've oftentimes, well, we're trying to figure out your position too so i, well, I already get my position with crystal clear but it actually well, wasn't unclear, unclear. Yeah. it, it was, was uh, that yeah. was actually clear destiny because mm. when okay wait hold on wait, wait, just hold on wait, 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 wait hold on just because i got cut off like seven times and Sorry. i haven't responded so just to be very clear uh to give you an idea mm-hmm. of like what i'm trying to establish right now when I have conversations with people that are pro-life, mm-hmm. there's a lot of dancing between words that I think deserve distinct mm-hmm. definitions. Human, I think, is distinctly different from person. I think it's distinctly different from life. I think it's distinctly different from child. But all of these things, when we're talking pro-life, tend to just get thrown together. Like, oh, well, we should defend all human people and children are worthy of life. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these statements are almost begging the question. Obviously, anything that you would consider a child deserves rights to life, right? But that's what's pro life Pro-lifers believe human mm-hmm. beings are persons. Yeah. What you're arguing is that some human Human beings don't deserve personal sure, rights, but what I'm trying which to do, throughout history, Destiny, mm-hmm. has always proved to be a very dangerous position that you're taking. 
Yeah, I understand the analogies of slavery we're trying to draw here, but um, what, what I'm just trying to figure out is because... But do, can you respond to that? Because I think let's yeah. just take it one step at a time because I, that I might... I think be fundamentally yeah. there's a difference between saying a fetus hasn't developed the cognitive parts yet to recognize it as living versus saying black people and white people are okay, well, different address, types of things. Let's address <laughs> consciousness for a minute because my understanding is you're saying... Okay, if you if, want... Hold on real quick. Okay. If you want, we can leave to mine as you want. I still have no idea what you guys believe, but we can leave for mine if you want. Well, we I'll very just say it again. Again. I mean, We can say it slower for you. What I heard you say is that like children should have rights and shouldn't be killed, no, any, which I think we all agree. Any human life uh -huh. has the right to not be killed. Yeah. Any well, yeah, human but life then you also right to try to draw, killed. when you said not be killed, you try to draw a distinction between like active and passively killing. No, no, you you she cannot. Did. She, uh, she did. Because she said there was a difference between pulling the plug on grandpa versus actively killing. The intentional destruction of yep. an innocent human life is sure. Is but what I was you saying post. that like unplugging grandpa would be kind of like unplugging a baby. You're disconnecting both from a life support thing. No, because no. because a baby belongs, a preborn baby belongs before development. Of, he or she's able to right be born where she's belongs to be. in the in his or her mother's womb. Sure, I understand, but so that means it's, it's probably. Natural, ways it's a to, natural habitat. Sure, that's a fundamentally different thing. There's probably ways to passively kill children that we would agree is also wrong. Just because you're actively versus passively doing something, well, that's it's not going to be... I think intention matters too. Yeah. Sure, it so, absolutely can be. Yeah. yeah, I agree. But that's important to qualify. We can't just say like passively sure. killing somebody is fundamentally different from actively killing somebody. Therefore, one is ascribed like moral weight and the other isn't. Because there's, if you starve a child, well, that, that's passive, but that's also I bad, I think right? there's a few other things you have to get into and in what you mean by passive or active. Sure, I agree. That's what I'm so, trying to get into. But you can ask me questions if you want. I'll just okay. I pause. I do here. have a yeah, question about consciousness. Yeah, go because for it. I, my understanding is that's your big line. Mm -hmm. That if there's suddenly consciousness, then they are a person. They're not mm -hmm. just a human, but they're also a person. And I, I, first, to clarify, you think it's okay for some humans to be the victims of homicide. You think it's okay to commit homicide against a human, just not a person. I mean, I would take issue with homicide because that's a really loaded term, but I would say that you can end the life of uh, human beings that no longer have the capacity to deploy consciousness. And so if do I'm that, asleep and I'm unconscious, it's okay to kill me? That's why I said capacity to deploy consciousness. I can wake you up when you're sleeping. Like the fetus okay. has capacity. No, a fetus, fetus that doesn't have the necessary brain parts uh, has Destiny, no capacity for consciousness. If you give that child time, that child give innately the child time has time. Wait, 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 you said 20, 24 weeks. What about children? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Who have REM just cycle saying, sleep and wait, 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 wait. Just what you said there. Mm -hmm. Give the child time implies that it's Give not Give me time to yet. wake up. A, mm -hmm. Do you think that a seed and a tree are the same thing? You're 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 making a wrong equivalency. I'm not making a wrong no, equivalency. I'm saying that a seed because given listen, enough time, a seed given destiny. enough time will grow into a tree. But when you use the word, this thing will become a, this thing. The implication there is your intuition pumping all the rights that this thing has by saying this will become incorrect. This. Mm. Incorrect. A child okay. in the womb, a human being, has yeah. the capacity for consciousness. No, it doesn't. They might not have developed that so capacity. That means they yet. don't have the capacity they might not for it. Have guys, guys, one, just, yet. just one microphone at a time, please. Just okay. let everyone. Sorry, finish they going. might Absolutely not have developed do. the capacity yet. Similarly, if someone is in a coma or unconscious, mm -hmm. they're not actively. They're, that mm -hmm. capacity is not activated yet. But if you don't interrupt the life of that child, if you don't right. kill that child, that child will absolutely be conscious and just a few, develop consciousness in just a few weeks. And that's the difference between the so, question you were asking me earlier. When you try to trip me up about the I'm end not trying of to life. you guys are the ones trying to trip me up. No, I'm just keeping. I'm trying to take trying off to your clarify. Your... You have you have a very murky position because you said between 20 to 24 weeks, I believe a child has rights. Which one is it? If you're the one making the laws, sure, who gives I have you the right to make those laws? Crystal clear position. My position is the thing we ought to defend is the conscious experience because that's the thing we look to. When does to that conscious experience begin? About here? 20 to 24 weeks. You don't well, that's a big time period because there's been children mm -hmm. who've been born at 21 weeks and five days. Mm -hmm. So do, were those children, when they were born prematurely, so I had an intern a few years ago mm -hmm. who was one of the youngest children ever to survive. Okay. Um, at that age, she was 21 weeks and six days old. Okay. So she's right in between your 20 to 24 week time range. Okay. So when she and her twin sister were born, do you believe that the hospital, the NICU, did something wrong and giving out care and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in care to sustain her and her sister's life? Why would I think something wrong was done there? Well, because well, you don't think it's a human with consciousness necessarily. Yeah, so I don't think sure. a two-week old is a human them. with consciousness, but that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with supporting it. But what? you're saying it's okay to kill it. So you're saying my kill vagina is magical. So something um, happened. No, first of all, as and, a child born by C-section, I'm very offended. Okay, but we're humans I mean, that, too. That's a Number one, you're no. Taking. Hold on. Is it something? Wait, 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 wait. The vagina magic guy is not in the room right now. I well, didn't give any qualification about birth being the magical time that made somebody a human. I've never said that ever. So I have no idea what position you're attacking there. Um, to back up, very clearly, I'm attacking clearly, your position that's not clear because you said 20 is, to uh, 24 weeks, and I'm asking you a very direct question about child born at 21 weeks. 
if a child is prematurely days. born at 16 weeks, the mother and the father have every right to try to find support for that child. Why would you not? But 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 why? What what makes that why? child? Why because it's going to grow into their kid. Why would of, they not? Of care. But you're saying it's okay to kill the kid at 16 weeks. Sure. And and I think that's the that's the difference between this side of the table and that side of the table. Well, that obviously the table that's because okay. I'm pro-choice and you guys are right. But you're, you're pro, pro-abortion you said, pro and you're anti-abortion. Abortion. Yeah. Have you ever considered yeah. that you could be wrong on this issue? Yeah, of course. What, Have you? What? Absolutely. Hold on. Only one, to be clear, only one side of the table here is tied to organizations <laughs> that are getting money invested in Manhattan. So well, if we any start, side here, gonna, I started my organization. I understand, but so. you're never changing your position. I'm still free to change mine. So in terms of yeah. asking me if I consider that I'm wrong, I can consider that I'm wrong. You guys will never change your opinion on this. I've, I've, uh, I've considered it. I've okay. had to consider a lot of sure. times. Um, but what would it mean if you were wrong on your position on abortion? What would Morally, it mean if what I would was it wrong? Mean? So... I don't know if you believe in God or heaven or whatever. Well, I haven't aborted any kids yet, but so say to my you, knowledge. Say you get hit by a bus uh-huh. and you go to heaven and God's like, destiny, uh, you've been completely wrong on abortion your entire life. You've advocated for abortions between 20 and 24 weeks. No one can really tell because you wouldn't give us a definitive time. Uh, hold on. The, you're, like, you're, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I got to address this real quick. Like, I gotta, what wait, would that wait, wait, mean gotta, if you, you keep... were wrong on okay, abortion? Okay, hold on, hold on. For you saying that just because I can't nail an exact solid time when that's kind of a big deal. It's not really that big. It is a big deal. It's a big deal. You're making laws. It's a super not a big deal. Between, a a big deal. You could and literally it just say totally like, okay. "Hey, before 20 weeks, abortion is okay," and then draw the cutoff right there if you want. That's a question for policymakers. But but sh- but why do policymakers? Why does anyone yeah. get to decide whether or not an innocent that? person? lives or dies because that's what policymakers do no they don't have the right to they kill don't. an innocent person if any policymaker you, if tries you're to kill making an decisions person, that's, about Melcare and, and, and triage and, and who gets there's medical a, treatment first or if you're making decisions about Destiny, saving people admit, from a, act, okay, hold on, wait 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 wait, wait, wait okay I still I'm gonna, wait, 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 just be clear I'm gonna start cutting people I know but I don't have a chance to answer any question and you're like loading so many horribly like intuition pump question bags in front of me that I don't have time to answer all of the horrible questions in front of me okay so like wait 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 no I'm gonna keep talking we're gonna do one at a time I will answer a question <laughs> but you can't keep stacking like dumb questions in front of me and they be like oh see like you want to murder children okay I don't if know you want to answer hold on so let me address the very first thing because you keep trying to draw like there's some like thing here that you've caught me on the idea that I can't give you a concrete time between 20 to 24 weeks okay yeah. I hate to be the guy that does this in a debate but there's something called a continuum fallacy or a nirvana fallacy the idea that just because I can't point exactly at when something begins that I have to say that all of it is the same or I can't point to that thing existing at all I can't tell you when individual pieces of sand are stacked up and eventually become a pile of sand. I can't give you the exact numbers of sand that I can see for that to be, but there is a difference between an individual piece mm. of sand and a pile it's of a sand. It's a false equivalency, I, hold, Destiny. It's, it is. Hold on. It is. It's, it's, hold on. That's, it's, this is basic argumentation. Because, because the reality is you are saying that these are persons yep. and yeah. these aren't based on a specific characteristic that you've you've decided on. You came up with it. It's not human rights anymore. I it's consciousness rights. Yes. You believe because in that, not human no, no, no. rights. To be you're clear, not a, you're not nobody here rights. at this table, you're you are either. consciousness right now. Why don't you defend? Wait, wait. To defend your position, and you're not doing that. You're you're kind of yeah. we, you know, blowing smoke you. a little bit. To be honest, why don't and you so give the same rights to condi- why don't you give the same rights to human corpses as you do to living because humans? they're dead. They okay. can't, they, what is, they're what does that dead. mean when you say they're dead? So they're are they're already dead. What does dead mean to you? I Their mean, body's no longer working in a coordinated fashion anymore. Their heart isn't pumping blood. Their okay. brain is not. If I put a person, if waves. I put a person on a table and I can keep them alive with machines indefinitely, but they're never going to wake up, is that a human so life that should a, be defended? There, there is a difference between withholding extraordinary Just medical care. Just to be clear, care. I'm about to ask that same question after you. Whatever you're about to say, because you're no, not answering my question. Because okay, you're, go ahead. Because you're, you're, it's, it's a bit of it's a bit of obfuscation that direction you're going here because there's a difference between withholding extraordinary medical care Mm -hmm. which would be like Mm -hmm. life support and Mm -hmm. withholding ordinary medical care so if I as a parent or I as a doctor Mm -hmm. I I have a patient in the hospital and let's say they are there being monitored because they're you know they have a cancer aggressive cancer but they're not they're they're maybe going to die but they're not dead yet and they're not on life support they're just being monitored and if I withheld food from this cancer patient Mm -hmm. and refused to feed bring food and this cancer patient can eat and refuse to feed that cancer patient patient that would be homicide against that cancer patient i don't have the right to you agree with that right yeah do you, well that's a good question. do you agree that, that 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 would be homicide would it be wrong to deprive i'll say it's wrong a cancer for sure patient? Yeah. who's okay. going to die well legally it would be murder to to not uh, feed whether a patient i'm not gonna make a legal hospital. argument but yeah i would agree that would be wrong okay. yes of course so that's the difference between extraordinary medical mm-hmm. measures and ordinary 
measures okay, okay? and Natural for a child and for a child in the womb uh-huh. they deserve the ordinary measure of being able to stay mm-hmm. in their natural habitat their mother's womb uh-huh. until they're old enough to survive outside the womb similarly a newborn who you're feeding formula or you're breastfeeding has mm-hmm. a right to that food from their mother or caretaker until they're old enough to and even when they're old enough to physically feed themselves they still have a right to mm-hmm. be given a plate full of food at the di- dinner table you can actually go to jail for child neglect by failing to feed your child so, you know, building these, um, these, these analogies that actually don't work with what we're actually talking about mm-hmm. by saying, well, removing life support is like abortion, they're not the same. Because children have a right to care, and children have a w- right to food, and children have a right to nourishment. I still think Just you, like a right you to need life. to clarify your position, because you said 20 to 24 weeks, which I gave you a very, very real life scenario of a child who was born, a twin who was born at 21 weeks, in six days, which in your view Uh could have been aborted because you don't think she would have had the consciousness that you deem worthy of personhood. True. But I mean, what biologist do you know that tells you that consciousness is at 24 weeks? It's a great question. Because I researched this before. I was on the internet. I was looking at PubMed at NIH's website. Mm -hmm. There Mm -hmm. aren't biological conclusions. And in fact, they actually support the pro-life side because you look at the pro-life. Biologists and, don't make an argument about pro-life well, or no. pro Well, they do make arguments about when, when child human, when human pain, life when sure. twins yep. interact. So there's, yep. a, there's a very well-known study mm-hmm. showing that twins interact mm-hmm. in the womb mm-hmm. as early as 14 Amoeba weeks. Amoeba interact with each and other. Pain, yeah. Children can experience pain <sighs> at 12 and sure. a half germs weeks. Germs react to external stimuli. So are you saying, those, are you those saying those germs beings? are the same as human lives? I, I'm well, still, I haven't even got a response. Okay, so let me make a couple things. So first of all, you said I made a false analogy earlier. You've compared abortion to cancer. Cancer patients getting with health. No, food. I wasn't comparing abortion to cancer patients. Okay, you're. I was you're, talking you're, you're, about the difference between ordinary measures. I'm not talking and, about and ordinary, ordinary measures extraordinary when care. it comes to that medical. Is a, natural that is natural progression separate, versus sure. natural. That is an end. entirely. That's, that's great. That's entirely Wait, great. If well, I, I can just, if I could just jump clarify. in, really no, quick. I don't need your no, If I no. could just jump in, no, no, listen, listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me just say, if, if we can allow, maybe the turn the heat down a little bit on the conversation, or at least slow it down a little bit. We're making people at home uncomfortable. Well, I do want to give. It does seem to be that. Destiny hasn't had as no, much that's fine. opportunity. I'm, good. I'm taking notes. Okay? I'm good. I'm ready. We need another right? guest there. Right? No, we no, no, absolutely no. don't. Let me go. Okay. <laughs> You're making bad analogies by comparing any of this to ordinary or extraordinary medical care is a fundamentally separate question. Okay. That's a separate I question agree. of provisioning resources or whatever. Agree. You don't agree because you brought it up as a contrary to no, the I question that I said. I would originally about- ask you this question again, and I'm going to ask you the question again because nothing that you said addressed it. And my question was, and I'm going to repeat it, a person that is in a coma that will never wake up, should that person be indefinitely kept alive on life machines? It depends on on what are the what are the what are the characteristics of them in that. The characteristic is that the person's body. The characteristic is the person is in a coma. They're never going to wake up, but their body is still. How do you know they're not? How do you know they're never going to wake up? Problem is because the 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 scientist has a magic machine that he pushes a button, and the machine says this person is never going to wake up. With a magical scenario that you are designing without providing any context. Just to be clear, are you telling me that a person being in a coma is not going to wake up is a magical scenario? No, I'm telling you that when people are in a coma, they're trying to make an absolute. Guys, guys, guys. Please, one, 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 one microphone at a time, please. Please, 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 please. Because the refusal to engage with the question demonstrates the weakness of your position. No. You can keep doing this, Destiny. but I'm gonna, to be clear, I'm going to ask the same question again. I still like you to get my question answered. Wait, guys, you can't even please, engage with the hypothetical. No interruption. You're listening to what I'm saying. So I am I, listening, but you're, not, okay. you're refusing to engage with the hypothetical because no. you know that you don't have a rock-solid no, definition of what type of life should be defended. The reason why you want to engage with the question is you... Guys, hold on, hold on, You're making a lot of assumptions. Order in the podcast studio. I am noticing perhaps on... I don't know which side is doing it at most but let's let's try to avoid interrupting let's allow people to speak finish their thought and then if, if we can if we can um so destiny we do you want to make a round table one question we should answer okay to be clear i'm willing to and i have responded to when you asked me about feeding cancer patients but i said the killing i said yes you said when you withhold food from child mm-hmm. like, i'll answer any question you give me i have no problem answer my the position. question have you ever considered that you may be wrong on this issue. And if you are wrong on this issue, what does it mean you are spending your time advocating there's, for? There's literally, there's problems on both sides. First of all, that's not the greatest question to ask. Um, you're getting well, into very weird, like Pascal. Thank you for I'm your gonna finish answering the question, okay? So, so just one, answer the one, question. I am answering the question, okay? You're doing, oh, after you insulted me. What do you what? mean, how have I insulted you? Insulted me. <laughs> Wait, how did I insult you? 
my question. You said, well, it's not the greatest question to ask. I said it's not a good question ask- to ask because theoretically you run into a bunch of weird saying, well, what Maybe if I'm wrong on this particular the thing? Question. What Have if you you're wrong by that? saying that black people and white people do deserve the same rights? Well, let's, like, let's, 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 try- let, let's let Destiny answer sure. the question. Yeah, so, I mean, there's like, so I'm not going to always think of like, well, what if I'm wrong? I mean, I do consider both ends of things, but the, the, the consequences for being wrong on both ends are pretty disastrous. On one end, you're advocating for, I guess, arguably the genocide of like, <laughs> of little babies. That seems and on the pretty other awful. End, sure. Yeah. And on the other end, you're advocating forcing women to give birth to children that they might not want, especially in cases of, say, sexual assault or in cases where they feel like they can't it's support for the child. What do you it's think is, birth what do you think abortion. would be worse? Genocide? We, so we had 60 yeah. some million abortions in America since Roe versus Wade. 60 million. More than a thousand children are killed every day at Planned Parenthood. Not, you can't, you, think, you keep saying children, like you're yes, morally living your- children. They're young humans. Yes. Okay. When you saw, an ultra, 10, 000, when you okay, saw the ultrasound of your son in the womb, did mm-hmm. you say, wow, look at that fetus sucking its thumb? Or did you say, wow, look at my boy. He smiled at me. Yeah, I also get warm feelings when I look at my car. Like, this isn't proving an argument are by saying, saying like, are do you have- you saying cars the same as humans? I'm not saying cars. I'm saying that judging the validity or the veracity of your argument by the emotional responsibility has to an ultrasound. I also felt a certain type of way when my ex-girlfriend showed me that she was pregnant. But that doesn't mean that the urine on the strip is anything well, special what either, what right? You, what you, your emotions can match Just the reality. Just to be clear, I still haven't gotten re- an answer to my coma the, question, which is like I fundamentally like an important- I still haven't gotten an answer to my well, question. Uh, the uh, what was your question? So if you- do you consider you're wrong? And you said well, I have considered one, I'm wrong, but the on problem one is one end would be me, genocide. Yeah, hold on just, just let her finish. On yeah, one end it would be genocide, yeah. and uh-huh. the, on the other extreme, if I were wrong, mm-hmm. I would have forced women to carry unwanted children, or in your word, mm-hmm. fetuses or things. Correct. What do you think would be worse? Well, in order genocide to answer that, genocide of hundreds of millions of children babies, world, yeah. worldwide? Do you think that would be a little worse? The thing is, than in order, inconveniencing a woman for nine months, if I were wrong. In order to accurately answer the question, you have to assess the risk of being wrong on both ends. For instance, if I were to say, what would be worse? If I've got to choose between 50 people here or 100 people here to protect from some death event, you know, what should I choose? The 50 people or the 100 people? Well, it doesn't make sense what, unless what I have a- What do you mean by let, death event? As in, let's say that there's gonna be something that has a chance of coming in and killing both people, but I can protect one group of people. Do I wanna protect the 50 or the 100? But that's not- let, I correct, need to finish the analogy. Hold analogy. on, if you can't understand any hypothetical, we can't get anywhere in this but conversation. These hypotheticals the, no, the, what we're discussing. The hypothetical perfectly maps on. What I'm saying is I wouldn't just say that I would protect the 100 people because 100 is greater than 50. What I would say is what is the probability of the 100 people dying versus what is the probability of the 50 people dying? And then from there, you would start to weight the decision accurately. So hundreds so of millions of women me, haven't so died. You and ask me, die so when you ask me, pregnant. so when you ask me, what's the probability or what is the likelihood of being wrong or what's, what would be worse, being wrong here or being wrong yeah. here? What I have to think of is what is the probability of being wrong on both ends? It's not just a one-to-one because I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that everything is a one-to-one like there's an equal chance of being right or wrong here. I feel very strongly about my my position about being pro-choice, so I'm not weighting this as a 50% chance of being right here and a 50% chance of being right here. So the question doesn't make sense. So I'm saying it's a meaningless question. How do you feel very strongly about being pro-choice when you can't even tell us at what point you think a child has this extra special consciousness that deserves right the right to life in the womb? How, you why would know, that prohibit you, me you from... You don't know when consciousness exists, when it actually comes... You, you won't don't even know when say the, when, when the baby has I've consciousness. I've given you the range of when did people, different people develop at different rates. It's mm-hmm. about 20 so to 25 so rates. So you want to create, so you believe mm-hmm. that we should have a sliding scale of what it means to be a human person. We already have that sliding scale. We do it at death. That's why when no, we go back so to the... I'm going to ask again. No, no, no. Okay? I'm not answering the question until you ask, answer this okay question. Do you think it's okay to kill someone I'm, when they're unconscious? I'm going to... No, because I said capacity to deploy consciousness. What do you mean by capacity to deploy consciousness? As in all of the parts in your brain are functioning and working and can deploy a conscious so experience. So an embryo who is developing their brain will absolutely have the capacity will, to deploy. Will implies but why, doesn't why yet. are you being age discriminatory against that because child when for you not say, having fully developed? A ta- okay, no, hold on, wait, destiny, you can't just ramble and ask destiny, me a question. You ask me a question. If you're going to ask me, I'm just going to keep talking. Okay. okay when you go. ask me, will a thing have a right? I will agree with you that it will. The pieces for a building are not the same thing as a building itself. A seed is not the same the thing as a tree. A An embryo is not the same thing no, as a person. No, you're so when you say, hold on, don't stop saying that every single. Okay, hold on. The to be clear for the audience, whole. when you're hold having on, just, a conversation with somebody, finish, yeah, if you're having finish. a conversation with me and they're willing, they're not willing to engage with a single hypothetical, or they claim every hypothetical doesn't map on, unless you can clearly explain why, it's because you know that the hypothetical is testing the limits of your belief in a way that demonstrates no, I'm just using the absurdity science. of what you're saying. And you're you not. Don't, you don't acknowledge that. Whether or not pro or anti life exists has nothing to do with yeah. science. It's not a scientific question. It's a question mm-hmm. of moral philosophy, okay? Number one. So number yeah. two, going all the way back to this original question that I don't think you're gonna answer me because I think that this does demonstrate the, the well, can you, faultiness I, of your 
I position already is. answered you. You and didn't you answer. An, no, did you said that's you. an absurd no, proposition that's to imagine said, a person could be in a coma. I said you needed to provide more information. Was it a medically induced coma? How long was the coma? These these questions matter. And they're actually, me, what, sure. what is the I can question? ask a very simple what? question. Was there injuries? The question? A person is in a bed. person is in a bed. This person is unconscious in a coma. The doctor has a machine and he pushes the button. The machine says this person will never wake up again. But the rest There's of their no body works. There's no button like that that exists. That's why it's called a hypothetical. Then it's hypothetical a false hypothetical, hypothetical that, Destiny because it doesn't exist in the real world. That's a, yeah, You're yeah. inventing a false hypothetical that doesn't exist in the real world. That is so ends it, it, in it, human it, life dying. Yeah, so, 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 so and you're using uh, it to if, justify if you can't, if you can't, if you ending can't, the life yeah. of an embryo you can't adjust this, or a, a human being. I wouldn't so debate de facto if you're incapable of dealing with a hypothetical and the conversation is like... we can deal with hypothetical. You can't, you can't. A hypothetical, yeah. by definition, is no. something that is not happening. That's why Destiny. it's called a hypothetical. Destiny. So wait, wait, wait. Let, me, <laughs> let me ask you a hypothetical. Yeah, Since you love hypotheticals, uh, let me ask you I a hypothetical. I love hypotheticals. So yes. That's great. scientists are working on artificial wombs. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. I, would you agree with me that if they develop this artificial womb that can sustain human life, that there would be no legal reason, or there should be no legal justification for abortion? Because if you could remove a child from a woman's womb who says, say, doesn't want to have a child, didn't want to get pregnant, and place that child in an artificial womb where the child will safely grow and develop until he or she's ready to be born, would you agree with me then, in that hypothetical situation, that there's no justification for abortion? No. Why not? I just, You're not even. We've there is ten unanswered questions back with the. I just solved you all are the making, problems. You right? are making my hypothetical. You are making a dialogue tree argument against an argument for viability. I have never made that argument in my life. I've never argued that viability is what determines if a child gets to live or die. That's an absurd position. I would never have that. So you're I wasn't if you're saying saying you were making a viability hold on. argument. What? So, wait, so wait, wait, no, 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 wait. Because you don't even understand the no, arguments I'm you're making. Now hold on. You are making an argument for viability when you're saying if I could show you an artificial womb, I love when men should we yell not at me. say? Yeah, I know. I love yelling at women. Okay. Could you? <laughs> not say I can tell could you not say thank you could you not say that like well if I can show you that I can transplant this fetus from this womb mm. at one week to an artificial womb yeah. doesn't that give it the right to life the implication there being the viability of a fetus to survive outside of a natural I womb thought we should find okay. common ground hold on, on that hold on. So I, I, yeah the common ground I would say if that has no no there is no common ground there I would say 20 to 24 weeks so the same answer I get before your, your entire mm. position is based on it's the develop is based on age it's basically the development the it's maturity it's not based on age it's based yeah. on development no, of the age development is age Destiny. It could develop human, early or later, I guess, right? A, a development is age. Age is a marker of development. It okay? can be, sure. So so your whole argument is that yeah. if the development hasn't happened yet, then therefore they're not a human life worthy of protection. And a person, yeah. A person, okay. Yes. So are you saying that toddlers, because they're less developed than an adolescent, should have fewer, should, should not have the same rights as an adolescent? Yes. You agree with the same Fundamental thing. Fundamental human rights. To be they clear, have different human whoa, whoa, rights. Okay, now you're developing more. But the funny thing is, you said rights. in your opening statement, you literally said they children have the same need even rights, more right? protect. They don't have the same rights. Do they a child can't sign a contract. A child can't but, buy a house. A two-year-old can't go to high school. Second. Do they have the same human rights? What? No. A toddler and an adolescent don't have the same human rights. Do you, what, human rights. do you know? Do you, what, do you believe? That I would argue human that rights? I have like the human right to live in a house in the way that I want to. A three-year-old okay. does not have the so human right to live. That, hold on. Okay, no, no, hold on. Well, do you wait, not wait, agree wait, there are fundamental human rights? Maybe that's there, there might be some connection. If, you're gonna, if you want to get very fundamental in so, terms of like, do you have a right to not be killed? Yes. Then sure. I think that's a very important. Sure, you can say that. But earlier you stumbled onto something very funny that we all agree on is that based on the level of development, you actually do grant different rights to people. That is absolutely true. So you're saying if you you're not developed enough you have the right to be you actually instead of being more protected as a child you should be less protected as a child and you have less rights as a child to not be killed to not a be child fed, to not be cared is for. generally mm -hmm. defined as a human person so but, you're begging the question you ask i believe the, all children should have rights i just magical, don't agree that a three-week-old fetus believing is a child in the magical vagina yeah, or more I, than i, I believe in the magical zygote I, that becomes a what magical about, human so what when about it's two the, cells big what about the intern i mentioned the 21 week six day intern what about it so when she was born, she and her twin sister were born. Now that's okay. in her 20, 24 weeks. Who knows what Destiny really believes about uh -huh. abortion at that I, point. I told you between 20 and 24 weeks, yeah. You got to be kind of specific when you're talking about killing people. Do you think that puberty people. exists? But what, wait, 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 do you think you, wait, wait, I need no, to know. Do you think no, puberty, answer my question, okay. Destiny, remember? I'm going to ask you this again. I'm yes, coming I back to the coma one, too. We still can come answer back my, to the coma all day long. You still haven't answered the coma but question. But answer, it's, a, it's, a, it's a false but, uh, <laughs> what is? But example. what is the answer? Uh -huh. So The answer is if you want to take care of a baby. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're excused. Go ahead. 
At 21 weeks and six days, yeah. a child is born uh-huh. and a child is surviving. A thing but is, ch- yeah, okay. And t- is it a thing or is okay, it a child? Something, yeah, it must be something. Do, do I have the right after mm-hmm. the moments that ch- a child, child comes out? The right to kill it, actually. Well, that's why I'm trying to find out. Yeah. Moments after that child uh-huh. exits my body via C-section or vaginal birth, okay. does that child have the right to not be killed? Because that child is in that 20, 24 weeks and we don't know, if the child according has your to your science, uh-huh. we don't know what type of consciousness Consciousness rights, consciousness this child has. So, is there anything wrong with saying, "Well, you survived. We're not going to treat you. We're going to actually actively dismember you or so inject a poison to your heart." If to you're cause approaching a heart my talk. position in good faith, if I'm saying that consciousness develops around 20 to 24 weeks, but how then do you, you would know? probably drop because that's when scientists but seem ha- to think that. How oh, do I'm you sorry, know that the gonna, child? I'm so sorry. I was interrupting your question with my answer. How do you my know bad, the you child at 21 question. weeks and six days has consciousness? How do you know? What's what's changed? I, you don't know. So that's what I'm saying. If no, if, no, that's what I was saying. I was going to answer, but you cut me off. You cut my answer. So your question I want to know. Question, is it okay? So. You don't want to know. You're just trying to run me down a dialogue. Here. After the is child it okay is born, okay to kill a child? Probably not. Is it I would okay? Imagine, probably never okay to kill a child, right? So my answer was that if the cutoff is seems to be somewhere around 20 to 24 weeks, if you're drawing policy or legislation because we can't determine exactly when they're conscious, you'd probably be safe and say something like only first trimester abortion would probably be like a. A thing, or, or like before, like the twenty-week mark would probably be about where you go to. That'd be my guess. Okay, but so the child who's born at twenty-one weeks and six days, mm-hmm. or the fetus, or whatever it that be, would be past the policy what, cutoff. What, so you'd probably say at that what, point no, it should no, no, probably be. No, no, no. This is be, Destiny's hypothetical world. This is Destiny's hypothetical yeah. world. If you're there at the delivery room, uh-huh. oh, are you saying that that child can be killed because we don't know what that child's conscious? In Destiny's level is. hypothetical world, if we've drawn the line at twenty weeks, wrongs? if the child is born at twenty-one weeks, we'd probably say, okay, well, now that it's so born, now you've it's changed be your position in this debate. You went from twenty to twenty-four weeks, and now you're down to twenty, right? Do you understand the difference between a policy position versus like an epistemic statement or like a moral statement? Yes, I'm not, a, I'm not a moron, thank you. Okay. I love well, how then you word I don't, these well, questions. Like, I don't know do why you... Do you understand there's a difference between the color blue I, I, and the color purple? Okay. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I don't know. I've never talked to a misogynistic man like this before. Okay. All right. I still want to so, know if you think that you there's don't something You don't want to know anything. Happens, I didn't answer a question. Something hey, I magical said in the very happens beginning of this, at birth. Yeah, I said in the very beginning of this that the cutoff would be 20 to 24 weeks. And now right? you're down to 20. So we've actually, are, we're winning. He's down to 20 now. Well, wait, hold on. Was that that before, so wait, just, just a question. Um, yeah. she, she's just accused you of being misogynistic. I mean, do you have a response to that? I am. I don't think he has one. Well, no, be, I mean, is. come on, be. I'm being honest. You're not, you're not a misogynist, I Destiny. I hate women. The more time I spend around them, the more contemptuous I feel about them. Well, I mean, you're, you're trolling, life. but... Um, I've watched so many just pearly things, can, videos, can, I just can can't Can we go even. back to the consciousness stuff with sure. the, well, with can the I even? Have, apparently, my position that. doesn't even exist right now, so mm-hmm. let me restate for... No, your, con- to. your position's good now. We know where you're at least at. You're at 20 weeks. We've got you moved from 24 to 20, 20 weeks, yeah. right? So the question of policy is separate from the factual question of when does a conscious experience happen, right? What I stated initially was, it seems like there's a conscious experience that starts at around 20 to 24 weeks. Can if you name the, the biologist? Case, I Google it. I, that's why I told you. I actually researched this for several hours today on NIH's PubMed website. And I actually found a lot of pro-choice scientists who are saying children can feel pain at 12 and a half weeks. Feeling pain or they is don't not know. consciousness. Or Siblings they don't know. can interact with each other at 14 weeks. But, so just using that data from the NIH's own website would tell you that now your 20-week limit on abortions which is wrong and probably should be moved okay, down so to I googled 12 to this and the weeks. first thing that came up from scientificamerican.com I'm not sure oh, what research that <laughs> is consciousness requires a sophisticated network of highly interconnected components nerve cells mm-hmm. it's physical substrate the thalamocortical complex that provides mm-hmm. consciousness with its highly elaborate content begins to be in place between the 24th and 28th week of gestation mm-hmm. now that's I googled that, that was the first thing that came up. so it's crazy to me that you read all but, these but things and but however however I will finish um, 24th to 28th I've also seen stuff that says 20th to 24th mm. week so because I and don't want to murder baby to be safe to, to be weeks. safe to be safe I would probably say um, I would go with the earlier number because I generally don't want to kill children most of the time um, so I would say that the policy position should probably say that on the 20th week that should probably be the cutoff where we start treating it as a child and then you give it all the same protections and rights that you would a third trimester pregnancy mm. or a born child so that's about what I said I, no I, position has changed I haven't moved at all okay. I, at the very beginning of this debate I, I said 20 to 24 it. weeks is about I haven't even clarified that was my, the policy position this would probably just stop at 20 weeks. I have a question for Destiny. Do you believe in human rights? 
Um, that's a, what, what do you mean by that? Do you believe in universal fundamental human rights that all human beings like share? A, like object that yes, I do believe there are some okay. universal rights people should have. Do they Does that include the right to life? Does that include the right to not be killed? Um, generally speaking, I would say so. Yeah. Generally speaking, or yes. Yeah. This, it's Do that's I, a very difficult question. It, if two it, countries are at war with each other, does somebody have a right to kill an enemy combatant? You can't answer that's this a, question. That, that, does somebody have a right to kill an enemy combatant in a war? Yeah. So in well, a war, I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. That's war, what I'm saying. Called, there can be something called just, war, just theory. war theory. There's different sure. theories for what makes a war just or unjust. Okay. And yes, you can be tried for war crimes that's, for sure. unjustly I'm killing just trying to make, a civilian. Okay. I'm just trying to make because they have a right to life as a human being. I'm just trying to make understand that when you ask me a question of like, does everybody have a fundamental right to life? Depending on what you're asking, that could be a very very difficult question. I'll say it again and, and let me know if this is clear. Do you as a human being mm -hmm. have a right to not be killed? I would say generally speaking. Without due process. How about we'll add that Generally on. speaking, Without if we process. have any sort of construction of government, my imagination okay. would be that a fundamental right would be a right to Excellent. life, to not be killed. Excellent. Yes, I would agree with Excellent. that. And, and, in, a given and country, in the yes. United States, under yes. the U.S. Constitution, the 14th Amendment says that we have a right to equal protection under the law, uh -huh. and no state has a right to deprive the life of anyone without due process. You've probably heard this before. Okay. Yeah. So, do you think that there is any due process for the human life it, right now, is there, where is the due process for the human life before your consciousness arbitrary Well, I would land? say that that person isn't protected by the Constitution because they're not a person yet. Okay, and you're defining mm -hmm. personhood based on Somebody this 20 to 24 Somebody that has capability of having a conscious and, okay. experience, yes. So, mm -hmm. so let's talk about that for a minute. If I'm un under anesthetic and I'm unconscious mm -hmm. and someone comes up to me and says, can I kill you? And I'm unconscious, I can't say don't kill me. Can they kill me? No. Tell me why. Because you have the capacity to deploy a conscious Just experience. Just like the fetus. Just no, the fetus can't. The fetus. Destiny, if you don't kill that fetus, the fetus with a matter of time, because I'm under anesthetic, in a matter of time, I will come out from under anesthetic and I will have my consciousness. Mm -hmm. For the fetus, if you don't kill that fetus under a matter of time, the natural human development, you were once a tiny child in the womb, maybe 18 weeks before the consciousness that you half say some biologists claim for. Half of me was a sperm, half of me was an egg, If yes. no one killed you, uh -huh. then you would have your consciousness, just like I coming out of an aesthetic, anesthetic would have my consciousness. Do so you why think is it, that? Why, so, uh -huh. so your position sounds like age discrimination, because you're saying that because the child is not doesn't have their consciousness yet, just like under anesthetic, I don't have my consciousness yeah. regained yet. Do you think yet, there are any two year old then, human? Do you think there are any two hundred year old? Then you're saying you that, that, that it's any, okay to kill them. Do you think there are any two hundred year old humans that deserve like to be protected by all the human rights that we have fundamentally? Well, if I think if someone lived to be two hundred, then yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. What about, what about right now? Are you ages? Who's actually alive? What do you mean am I ages? If there was a 200 year old, I'd say yes. If they're alive, that would be amazing. Okay, say, and if no there was a one week old you. having a conscious experience, I would say it as well. I'm but not if being the 100, ages. the 200 year old is asleep and unconscious, I still don't have the right to kill them, Destiny. Because if they're asleep, they your, can wake your, up. Your line of consciousness, your, your reasoning on, about you. consciousness wait, 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 wait. is not logical. Gonna, it's it's you just stated the, okay. the fundamental so, flaw of your entire position because you keep saying, if they wake up. I'm just going to talk now, okay? The way that this conversation works is because you two have organizations because you two are bought in. You can never even remotely consider I, have to I haven't gotten the ability to even respond to Here comes a misogynist, come on. It's, it's not misogynist, okay? Um, now I'm in my uh, demon racial Did energy a bunch because of you're both white people. So now I'm like hitting you well. because you're white, okay? Um, but you can't just throw that zinger in there like, oh, you're only pro-life because you're really pro-life I have to because really the style of argumentation that you're both engaging in is like a gish is gallop scientific. of 50 million questions. Nothing is scientific about this conversation. It's 50 million questions about me being able to respond to or answer anything. Well, you let's have a scientific... What is not scientific about the argument? I've got a question. got a question. I've got a question. got a question here. Uh, I, none of my questions have been answered on. yet. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so you can go back to your hypothetical, but if when, you don't, just ask, if you when, don't answer yeah, yeah, my so, clarifying so, questions, so Lila, I have a question for you, Lila. I got, not I, got, get very far. I got, I got a question for you, Lila. Yeah. Uh, for everybody here at the table. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's very, it's very heated. Okay. Um, <laughs> when does life begin? At the moment of conception, when the sperm moment of fertilization and egg unite, when a unique, whole, living human being that never existed before and will never exist again comes into existence with a unique genetic code. And ninety-six Wait, so are twins percent, not human? excuse me, hold on, just no, ninety-six no. percent of biologists in the University of Chicago study, can, majority of whom were pro-choice and liberal, confirm that fact that there is no other point at your development can you say you became you then at the moment of conception when your dna your genetic code came into existence that is a biological fact and i'm sorry it's inconvenient to raise that but well, that is that is the fact and to clarify i would agree with you destiny if human life began at consciousness i would say 
you know, anything before that human life beginning at consciousness, I would say it doesn't matter. It's not a human life yet. But that it, what's inconvenient for you is that human life doesn't begin at consciousness. Yeah. Human life and First humans. First of all, none of this is inconvenient for me. I'm not a woman. Con- at human- the end of the day, I'm not going to have a kid. So it's not well, inconvenient you, for me at all. Okay. Wait, so I test me. When, I, when I, does, I didn't give birth to him. But it's, uh, he's your when does life I'm just saying you're saying it's inconvenient to me where it's like, I'm not, it's not, it's not well, inconvenient to me to recognize. I think you're representing the pro abortion position here. Surely you don't believe in no uterus. Sure, but I'm just saying that you keep saying like it's inconvenient. None of these facts are inconvenient. I'm totally Well, they are because address- they they dispute your like made up definition of when personhood so, begins. There is no the definition of when personhood begins is literally the subject of our debate. There's not a scientific answer to that question. What what I Unless said at the very beginning rights. is no, when you bel- when human you rights separ- are not science. Excuse me. When you, right, if you separate yeah. when human beings that, come you, into existence, is that mechanical existence? engineering? When do you learn human rights? Excuse me. If you separate when human beings come into existence okay. and personhood, and you make it two different lines, mm-hmm. it's always bad. Bad things have always happened throughout human history when we tried to separate human beings from personhood. Yeah. It's always a slippery slope and bad things always happen is what we're saying. So the, the, the oh, reason, sorry, one more comment, the reason, the reason human, the reason science is very important for the pro-life yeah, agree, yeah. debate is because, and, and the question of human rights is because human rights are about the humans that have rights that are universal. So all of all humans, if you're a member of the human family, you have these rights. And I think mm-hmm. earlier you did you know, kind you of keep saying kind that, but we don't. Agree. No, 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 no. You, kind you of have agree more to, qualifiers. Let, can I just finish, Justin? Oh, I'm so sorry. You did, you did kind of. It's all right. <laughs> you did kind of agree. I think you agreed that we have the right as humans to not be killed, right? No, um, there, but there has to be more qualifications. Human, I think there needs to, to be more qualifications. It's not just humans because we agree that corpses, for instance, don't get protection. So there has to be more qualifiers. I think Destiny. I think your position is not human rights. It's conscious rights. That you have to be a conscious. You have to have consciousness Mm -hmm. and not just have consciousness. You can have it taken away from you and it come back to it, but that is okay. But if the child hasn't developed yet, then that's okay. That's your, your line. And Destiny, do you want to answer the question? Just when does life begin? Uh, when if does you, life begin or when yes. do they become a person? When does human life begin, Dustin? Know, whatever your sense of the question it's the is. the personhood thing that I'm looking at. No, let's talk about science for a second. When does human well, life begin? I answer the question, you answer it. If you're talking about like when does a unique genetic code happen, it's yeah. right at the union, uh, it's right at the moment of conception. When two yes. parts become a whole. Correct. Excellent. Finally, we agree on something. <laughs> that, well, that's, that's when a, human life that's comes a, into existence. On. Yeah, that's called a scientific fact. That, that's Wonderful. what we've been saying. Okay. In the I understand. Let me catch well, up to the conversation. Well, there are a lot of people who don't sure, agree with I that. Sure, Let me catch up to yeah. the conversation. We're not having a scientific discussion on when genomes are formed. We're having a mm-hmm. moral philosophy discussion on when does something get the protections of being a person. Correct. Right? And our mm-hmm. position is simple. And what Kristen mm-hmm. was saying earlier is that throughout human history, there have been many times when groups of humans, wow. oh, excuse me, where yeah. groups of humans were considered non-persons, right? I don't and know you're, what this happened. Am I going to get that? Certainly, you're certainly familiar oh, yeah. with this, Destiny, and I know Kristen I'm gonna is. I'm going to go but back to this For question. example, under the Rwandan genocide or with slavery in our yeah, country, I understand. Um, the that's, Holocaust, that's the there, next are, step. there are groups of people mm-hmm. who were seen as, who were humans. It was humans, Roe v. Wade, KCV Planned Parenthood, and then were, I think it was apartheid in South finish, Africa. There were, yeah. there were, there no, were actually, human, I think Roe v. Wade came from that. There were think, human oh, beings. It might have been. Because they were inspired by the Nazis, right? Just they to were clarify, like, there are human beings that were seen as non-persons, and that opened the door to huge injustices. Okay. And similarly today, we see humans in the womb at this arbitrary line and you're one among many I mean other people say well at you know uh, right before birth is when they become human or viability is when they become human or heartbeat is when they arguments. become human good, there's yeah. all of there's a lot uh-huh. of different variations I think because those are all really bad arguments Hold on, just let her finish. Uh, well, I, I agree so and sorry, I think consciousness bad. is a terrible argument too because you can't argument. because you can't assign that's your opinion the development of Obviously, a human that's yeah. why I'm representing and your opinion's and, wrong and back to the toddler back to the toddler and the adolescent because you kind of you pulled a you had a clever move there Destiny you were saying well you know an adolescent Adolescent has rights, uh-huh. like signing a contract that a toddler doesn't have. So therefore, I think your next c- c- conclusion of that was, if you're pre-born in the womb I could also tell you my conclusion, you know, you don't have to guess because I'm well, here. Well, okay. I mean, feel, feel <laughs> free to give up. But, but it was an interesting pos- position because what I was trying to get to in that conversation before I got a little bit derailed there is, do you think that your age or your development as a human mm-hmm means you are more or less entitled to equal protection under law for basic human rights, including the right to not be killed. 
um, if if that development, when you say including the rights to not be killed, that fundamental right to life. Let's just talk about only that right. Your only intuition that right. pumping. So yeah, um, just I don't know about intuition pumping. Let's just talk. I isolate it and just say just the right to not be killed. The right to not be the victim of homicide. I don't know. I'm not sure. It depends on what kind of deaths we're talking about. Hmm. So here's a question. For instance, a lot of women have miscarriages, mm-hmm. like without even knowing in the first True. few weeks I've of getting one. pregnant. Mm-hmm. Do you think that those embryos should be rushed to the hospital? Well, if the embryo is dead, no. I mean, okay, I think, but I should, think do you think that like any woman, do you think we should start locking every single woman that has sex into some sort of facility to check for early miscarriages like that? Because if it is true, no. wouldn't that be the equivalent of a woman leaving a child starving to death on their floor? No, no. absolutely not. No. I, how dare you? Can, hold on, can you First answer the question? No, 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 no. How because, dare because you? you? Because what you're talking about right now is essentially the real genocide how? of children is all the children being miscarried right now you in the first few weeks of, of, of a development. A miscarriage to not feeding my child. Why? It should be the same thing. No. It's not. Why you, is it not? Well, you obviously it's not because oh my gosh, it's not because well, hold on. You're telling every me, woman hold on. in America if you want to extend human protections mis- all the way to the very beginning, the very, the very, on, beginning, the the very time, moment of the conception. Time, if you want to go all the way to the moment of conception, mm-hmm. then that means that a woman who just whatever kind of miscarries in the first, second, or third week and doesn't realize it, that is the same as like, oops, somebody dropped their child down the stairs and they died. No, that is absolutely the not the same. Do you understand science of what happens in a miscarriage? And an, an unattended miscarriage? Unattended. That's why I'm saying we should lock them up after they have sex. I don't think Justin, your argument doesn't make any sense. My argument makes perfect sense. No, no, if you actually believe, lock a woman up, it's actually saying, very heinous. It might argument. be more likely to miscarry because I understand of the stress. Really, I know yeah. it Which is why I don't think you should jail pregnant women, quite flaw. frankly. If you believe can I, can that I the finish? moment of... No, you can't right now. If you believe that at the moment of conception, you've created a unique human being, then that means that right now, you should be in tears because at every moment, women that are engaged... In fact, yes. you could probably make the argument that sex without the intention of immediately going to a hospital is probably immoral because you're engaging in some activity that might result in the death of a child I'm sorry, and do it three or four weeks think, because you don't know if you're going to have a miscarriage. You don't think women every can just time, a human every being? Every single time a woman has sex, she's probably going to be rushed to a hospital please, please, immediately please, after please, just please, to make sure please, please, please. that whatever please. fetus might be there is absolutely no, perfect. I, 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 I don't think, think, let me answer your question. That, now, that is misogyny because what you're saying is women cannot gestate human beings in the womb and be productive citizens of our society. They should That's exactly, that is misogyny, So, Destiny, I don't know that. Hold on, let's let Lila Okay, I don't know. I think your question might betray perhaps a little ignorance about how pregnancy works. Okay, inform me, please. Because if a woman gets pregnant, Mm -hmm. rushing her to the hospital is not going to magically prevent a miscarriage that she may or may not have. Miscarries, miscarriages happen for a lot of different reasons. And I would argue, especially for imprisonment as an example, imprisoning a woman who's pregnant, which I'm opposed to, by the way, mm-hmm. um, that additional stress could add to the miscarriage. So if you right. grabbed a woman after she had sex and might be pregnant and dragged her off to a hospital, that might actually induce stress in her. And yeah, but there's also potentially so things, sure there's behaviors a woman can engage in that, that would increase the risk of miscarriage, especially if she doesn't know she's pregnant, right? Maybe say, a woman say, drinks. Say that one more time. There Destiny. might be behaviors that a woman could engage in mm-hmm. if she which is, is pregnant why, that would increase the risk. Why, However, that Destiny. means that you could have sex Destiny. with a condom and with birth control, and you might Destiny. actually get pregnant. So if That's a woman right, is having can. sex and she starts drinking or whatever, she That's could right. be murdering a child Destiny. right then and there. Destiny, let me answer that. Yeah. That's why we have we have um, recommendations, you know, from the FDA that women who are pregnant should not drink alcohol. No, no, no. You that's don't even why, know if you're pregnant yet, though. That's, 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 that's the whole deal. That's different. That's the no. difference between direct and indirect actions, though, right? That's how, what is, it, so, it doesn't get much more direct than doing, doing no, things to your body to harm your child. No, if a woman is pregnant and does not know she's pregnant, say she just mm-hmm. conceived and uh-huh. she goes and celebrates her 20th birthday at a bar, 21st birthday at a bar, and <laughs> she drinks a whole bunch, and she miscarriage, mis- miscarries, no one would say you murdered your child. You m- murdered your child. Of course no one you would did. say that. That's not in, that. That was not the intent. It doesn't matter that, what the intent. Do you think the kid cares what the intent is? The intent. You've murdered a child. Abortion. What is abortion? Abortion is the direct, intentional Wait, killing of an innocent. Do you think, from the perspective I, I, of the fetus, do you think it cares if it was an accident or intentional? That it was action. We're arguing about the morality of abortion, which you've informed me like five times because you don't want to talk about science. Sure, but what I'm saying is that if you think abortion that from the moment of conception, I will say I'll give you this, killing. Destiny. If you're if you're having sex. And this is actually goes to a, a, a related conversation to the abortion New conversation, but that's very important. I think anyways, topic you guys didn't is, 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 any of my other is sexual I, ethics. I have a question, actually. I and have and a question I think your, your question kind of gets here. into the sexual ethics world, can, which I think yeah. is important. So we could go there. Sure. If you're having you well, heterosexual sex. Am, am I allowed to ask any of my questions? Because none of them got answered. Well, I, I would Do you want to reiterate them? Sure. I have like three really basic ones. Can I ones. answer his, his little the- hypothetical, though, yeah, really quick? Okay. Sure. About the mass genocide of Well, no. It was more about, you know, if you're having sex, should you be having drinking afterwards I think was where you're going with that Mm -hmm. and I would say 
no, you shouldn't actually. I don't think, I don't think, and this is part of our society's problem today, post-sexual revolution, is we have separated sex from procreation mm -hmm. and from relationship. Okay. And because of that, we have the abortion rate of 2,500 children killed every day by abortion. Because of that, we have mass unhappiness. We have breakdown among male-female relationships. People actually are having less sex in many ways than before. Pornography use is spiking. And it's all because we've forgotten what sex is designed for, which is intimacy and new life. Okay. So I would be against a culture, and I am against acts where people are just being promiscuous, having mm -hmm. sex, not literally, really Literally, none of that has then, anything to do with what I said, because everything that I described happened could literally happen within a marriage where a woman gets well, pregnant, doesn't realize well, it, has some alcohol. Hold on, well, then, then, then I'll answer let, to that, too. Hold on, well, actually, let, let me answer that, too, because I'm, I'm, okay. I'm married. I'm just saying that nothing, nothing what let, I gave well, had anything to do with the okay, sex well, culture then, then, else, yeah. then I'm, thank you for the clarification. Okay. Um, you know, I can relate to your question. I'm married. We hope to have another baby. And yes, it, when I know if it's, I might be fertile, I might be getting pregnant soon, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be getting drinking junk. gin and tonics because I might be getting pregnant and I want to have my body be as hospitable as possible for that baby. And I think that would be the prudent thing to do. And that's another reason, to, if as a woman and you, uh, well, you're you having we sex, weren't talking you might about get pregnant. What was prudent or not. Be, we were talking about like moral rights and wrongs. But. Well, I, I think it would be morally irresponsible, yes, to be getting drunk when you may be getting pregnant, yes. Okay. On the same level as like murdering a child, right? Creating a new human being um, is a there's logical a, there's a, there's a bit of outcome just, just one of heterosexual the time, please. sex. And so that's what Lila is saying, is that if you're engaging in heterosexual sex, mm -hmm. you have to be aware aware that one of the very biological outcomes of that behavior, of that choice you've made, uh -huh. is creating a unique whole living human life. So therefore, you have consented to the fact that a unique whole living life may come into an existence by engaging in that act knowingly. Gotcha. Okay. Destiny, did you have more? I, I said a very a slow, very, 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 very clear. Similar questions. Okay. Did Do we have? agree okay. that is puberty a real thing? Absolutely, puberty is a real thing. Okay. When does it happen? It's a range. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. I know, I know where he's going. going. I know he's going. Can, can I just it? make a Go comment ahead, here? But that's very fundamentally hold different. Hold on. Let me tell you. There's an absolutely. There's um. Sure, sure. Lila, like I love you, but you don't let me answer any questions. Yeah, Lila. Jesus. So I'm just gonna like. You're being misogynistic. I mean, I think it's been pretty. I've been trying to be. I think they're both. I think they're both misogynistic. Okay. We need hand signals. So no. I understand where the question was. You brought this up earlier about puberty. Yes, absolutely. Puberty is a real thing. I have two pre-teens right now. Okay. I'm reminded every day that puberty is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And absolutely it onsets at different ages based on the environment, based on a child's um, experiences or stress that the child may be going through or the genetic conditions that a child may have. But that's not, that's not an equivalent for saying, well, we don't know when human life begins, when we know it actually begins and we've already proven as a scientific fact begins at the moment of conception. Therefore, we can kill a human being. Okay. So it all I'm trying to illustrate to you is that can you I believe it. No. Okay? Yes, okay. Lila, go right, ahead. And we'll I have you so. come in. We'll have you come in. Go Thank ahead, Lila. Um, so I would just say, uh, yes, there is a sliding time frame from mm -hmm. when someone might go undergo puberty. Mm -hmm. But if you are basing a decision about whether or not you can kill an innocent prepubescent or pubescent <laughs> child, then I would say your a standard of puberty shouldn't matter. Yeah. Similarly to your standard, mm -hmm. your unjust standard of consciousness to demand that a, at a baby that's not fully developed yet has to be developed in order to be protected. And I think that's age discrimination. Gotcha. Okay. So all I'm trying to point out is we- Do you agree you, you are age discriminatory, by the way? Do you agree? I am said age. That. Do you think, are you age discriminatory? So you're age discriminatory about when human beings should have I'm the right to about a lot of different things. So you believe that it- that you are age discriminatory about I'm when developmentally you're being... discriminatory. Typically, developmentally. Deve typically developmental discrimination is uh -huh. for the protection of the less developed person. It's or it not could for be the for manipulation. the protection of a mother that doesn't want to have a pregnancy it's too. Not there is the, another it's person not in the equation the here, you know. Manipulation mm -hmm. and the there harm of the Manipulation or harm person. of the mother who's being forced to be a breeding factory for a child. Do you know what actually I can morally loathe wait, these wait, just the other way if you want. If you want to play that game, I can do that. Do I think your argument actually is in consciousness. I think you're, you are making a bodily autonomy argument. No, I'm not. That's the dumbest argument in the world. You absolutely are because you said the mother has a pregnancy. No, the mother No, I'm just trying to show you that if you want to morally loathe things like murder of a child, well then I'm going to say, well, forcing a mother you didn't agree with machine. me about my analogy about um, artificial wombs. I, what I didn't agree, I rejected it because I said it was dumb because viability has no impact whatsoever on my feelings on whether or not a, a fetus is endowed, uh, endowed with rights for human life or not. But I think Kristen is correct in that you are sort of 
talking out of both sides of your mouth a yeah, little bit here. Absolutely not. The, right now, I'm hand, struggling to talk out of one side on of the, my mouth. On the, like well, on the, on the one hand, Destiny, you're saying that it shouldn't matter whether or not the mother wants the baby or doesn't want the baby if the baby is conscious. And on the other hand, you're saying actually the, the mother's desire to have or not have that baby being forced to birth that baby actually does matter. So that's a little mm-hmm. bit of a contradiction. So the, yeah, it's not a contradiction if, at all. Whether or not somebody wants to have a child or not is not the same as when does the child get moral protections. Those are two fundamentally you're separate saying, questions. You're saying you However, be, I might, you're, you're I saying might a want, woman I might be want, forced to give birth. I might you're using want, that language. No, well, because you're using yes. the language of like killing a child. No, you're ending the life of an innocent human yeah, being that is a child. Yeah, thank you for illustrating my point. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, so if you're not, why are you so offended? offended? Why are you so offended on, by the word child? I'm not, child? Offend, I'm not offended because it's triggering you, It's not that it's triggering me. It's absolutely triggering you because you've said it like six times. Because you're begging the question. Are you triggered, Destiny? Confirm or deny? Are you triggered? Okay. Okay. I actually, you know what? The problem, the problem is that um, what, right now, the point of our debate, it's kind of like going to a self-defense trial and having the people that you kill being called victims. Well, hold on, right? hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the one who's advocating for the positive right to kill a child in the womb. Okay. That, you're, you're the one advocating for that. Okay. We're advocating to say well, you can't kill a child. So, you know, that's... It's I'm a, just it's trying a, to explain why calling it a child is... But why, does that, but why does that bother you? I'd actually why does like it to understand... It bothers me because the subject of the debate is whether or not it is a child. So if you call it a child, you're already presupposing Let, the most no, difficult now, part of the conversation. It's, it's bothering. It's bothering. The question. But, but I think... But that's a contradiction too, Destiny. Because it's not a contradiction. It, you, it is because you just said... you Because you said that you become a person... Mm-hmm. At consciousness, yep. this arbitrary line that you've True. drawn that's not even yep. that's not even clear. Yeah, and well, you no, it's saying, very clear. But you're, you never you never Who were has upset. named you, any you never talked about when childhood begins. So let's actually talk about that. When is a Does what? childhood begin at a different time than when personhood? I, childhood begins? is whatever you want. Some childhood begins when you see your first Sesame Street episode. I don't know what does childhood mean. Okay, what is when does a child become a child? When does it when is when is it is okay it to birth? call a preborn life a child in your in your? I don't view? know. That's a semantic question. I'm not really. So why are you upset about us using the word if you don't really? Because we're not just having semantic disagreements. We're having like very discreet disagreements on morality so where over do when you somebody should be. Then? Where, when do you My think disagreement the life is I don't think that it becomes a person at conception that's endowed with human rights. But you just said you don't like rights. us using the word child. When does the li- life become a child? You know because now you just asked me about childhood and now you're asking child. The reason I'm why we're arguing you, over the... when you start sure. having your childhood, when you start okay. becoming a child. Let me know when I can is that? fully answer the question, okay? Please tell me. Okay. We're having a conversation right now about when something is endowed with like moral consideration. When I'm asking you a pretty simple question actually. Are you a liar? I'm just asking. I asked you to, if I could finish, you said I could, and now you cut me off. Let's let you lied to me. Okay. uh, Let me finish the question. (gasps) Don't lie, because you'll lose moral consideration. Okay. All right. No. Um, If the 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 subject of the debate is when does a fetus become a person? Okay. Child is another word for person. So when you say, do you think it's okay? When you say, do you think it's okay to kill a child? Mm -hmm. Obviously, the answer is no. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's okay to kill a child. But that's not the conversation we're having. The conversation we're having is when is something considered a child? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm obviously going to push when you say, you're saying we should kill children at two weeks old. I I don't know, a fetus, whatever you want to call it. But do you know what Latin, the Latin word fetus means? I don't care. I'm not Latin. It means young one. It's another word for child. That's great. There are young ones that are puppies. I, I, that doesn't have any bearing on me. Oh, you're actually, not going to etymologically like win question the debate against me. <laughs> so, so just do you to think clarify, puppies get consciousness at a certain point? Not human just consciousness. Just to clarify, no. you're, we're only allowed to call a human question. life a child at Destiny's arbitrary line of consciousness. Is what that I'm correct? saying is that. Because you're very offended when we use this term, so I'm trying to understand when it is in no. your book correct to use if it. If anybody is triggered in this room, it is not me. Okay, That's good. so it's funny that you keep using the offended line. I'm used okay, to the you're, you're you're mad you bros. disagree strongly. No, I don't disagree. You're just like you presupposing disagree. the argument. That's the it's issue. It's pissing so, you off when we use the word child. Is what we're saying. Confirm or deny? Confirm are you pissed deny. off, Destiny? <laughs> No. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I, you know what? I actually. Like can I? Wait, no, hold on. Well, it's, it's the same uh, thing as uh, you guys, uh, because I know you guys, and I guess maybe this is just like in your brain, it's how you purchase conversations, but I know you guys get frustrated when people argue with you and you're like, you just want to take rights away from the mom. Oh, so you're trying to make moms well, slaves? I would, I, oh, you're turning moms I into would, baby factories? Yeah. That would be, if I wanted to engage in the same style of conversation you're engaging in, I would just say that over and over again. Why no, do you want to make moms baby I would, factories? I would Why do you want to make moms to, slaves? You know what is really problematic mm-hmm. is when we take away rights from certain groups of people and we force them to do things with their bodies that they don't want to. A lot of eugenics was done that way. Mm. A lot of the Nazi concentration camps the other way. In Japan, Unit 343 did a lot of weird things like that um, or whatever the fuck, that's right? So the if, you're gonna, if you're going to make the argument that like, oh, well, viewing people as people sometimes are not as really problematic, then 
all say, okay, well, restricting rights from people, especially women, mm -hmm. has also been really problematic yeah. historically. So, welcome to women's suffrage. Welcome to women being able to own property. Mm -hmm. Welcome to women having access to birth control. Thank welcome you for to women explaining women's to rights. To I, no problem. I'll do it. Since you guys have the problem so, with the yeah, understanding. So, so yeah. So, yeah. but I'm saying I'm not doing that because that's boring to me. Because obviously, if you guys thought that a fetus wasn't a human life, then you would obviously agree with me. And if I agreed that a fetus was a human life, I would obviously agree with you. So wait, wait, you, wait. You, you don't believe in terms. This is important. Use, point. When you use normatively loaded terms like murder a child or commit homicide, then all you're doing is you're begging the you question. Know, because obviously, okay. nobody at this table and nobody in this room believes in killing children or committing homicide okay. against children. Okay. The question I have is, a question when does it become a child? That's I have a question question for you, though, because you just said when a fetus becomes a human being. When does the fetus become a human being, Dustin? The human, the personhood comes when the conscious experience starts, which okay. is about but 20 wait, 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 wait. Biology says moment of conception, life, life begins. Biology human, does not tell you. No, stop, wait, not, stop, excuse me. Biology excuse does me, not tell I'm you when human rights. I'm going to talking to you like I talk to my four boys. <laughs> excuse me. Can we, human well, hold life on, comes wait, into wait, wait, existence on, Kristen, at the moment of Kristen, 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 one second. Kristen, one second. One second. Yeah. If we can, and, and you know, there's been some comments about this, um, I would like everybody here at the table to have an opportunity to speak. So if we can try everybody to try to. Including Kiki, yes. Okay. So if we can try to uh, limit the interruptions, let people finish their thought, and then you know go on. I, I'd like Destiny to have time to speak. I'd like Lila have time to speak. Kristen, you as well. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, Kristen. Fetus. When does the fetus become a human being? Because biology says biologists confirm ninety six percent confirm that the moment of conception you became a human being. You became a member of our species. But you kept saying the word, it's not a human being. Mm -hmm. So when does the child or entity or whatever term you want to use that doesn't trigger you in the yep. womb uh -huh. become a human being? 20 you, to 24 weeks. So you're actually, wait a minute. This is very important because you didn't say this at the beginning of the debate. The beginning of the debate, you were making a moral argument, but you weren't saying that you it wasn't a human being. You position from person you, to human being. You, this is what Lila and I were exactly, this is what I pointed out like 15 okay. minutes ago. Yeah. That you are using an argument saying uh -huh. that it's consciousness, that consciousness gives that human being these special personhood rights uh -huh. not to be killed. But I made the argument a while back that you aren't really making that argument because when I presented a couple other scenarios to you, you wouldn't agree with me. But the argument, what you just said... What was the wait, scenario wait, wait, where I stop. didn't agree? The argument you just said was it wasn't a human being. You just said, for everybody here, that mm -hmm. it becomes it becomes a human being at 20, 24 weeks. Okay. That is scientifically unsound because what we've already proven to you mm -hmm. is that the moment of conception a unique human being comes into existence. Do you agree with me that a human being is present in a mother's womb at the moment of conception? If you want to define human being as unique genetic code that appears, then we can call that a human being. But the conversation that we're having right now it's not about what a human being is. The conversation we're having is when does something get granted rights or moral consideration? So, you, so I think you and need I to be careful say, with your terms if, then. Because you kept saying you're the one that's being. mixing everything up. I've been pretty yes. clear and I'll continue to be clear because you're trying to ask me yes or no, when does it become a human being? And if you're defining human beings as the thing that gets rights, then I'll say it 20 to 24 weeks. The thing that I've said over and over again, and if you want, I write this word down. What I am talking about, and I've used this term before, is person or personhood. Right. And, and, and I think that a person, a person is not a collection of cells, a person is not some body parts. A person is not something that responds to pain or heart pumping blood. When we think of people or persons, we think of people that are having subjective conscious experiences like what we have now. So I have a when question. we think what of when somebody dies, we think of that subjective conscious experience ending. That's why earlier, the question that I asked that I will never get an answer to, and I understand why you want to answer it. I asked Which you if a person is going to be in a coma for the rest of life, I'll never wake up. Can you kill them? The answer is obviously yes, but the reason why you won't say that that's okay no. is because a comatose person possesses every single thing the that the pre-conscious fetus has. Let me answer the question. So if you can kill that comatose person, you can probably kill no, the pre-conscious fetus. No, you're not killing. But the problem I think it's is wrong that you to won't take a gun and kill yeah. the person in a coma. I think it would be wrong to take sofa clam and dismember that person 100%. limb from limb who's in a coma. I think mm -hmm. it's wrong to take a needle and insert digoxin into that person's heart who's in a coma and cause a cardiac arrest. All things that happen during abortion, by the way. Uh -huh. We would never argue that a person who's in a coma, whether we know they're brain dead or they're not brain dead, we don't know because we don't have an actual scenario we're talking about here, but we would never say you actively kill a person who's in a coma. You, what Lila said, what I, agree I with said, that. I agree. Is I, you can actually remove 
care, you can remove the the I've breathing apparatus. I've already demonstrated that you don't to agree with this argument. The, the this is not an argument that you agree no, with. No, you just said we didn't answer the argument in your question, but we did. Yeah, well, what okay. happened was there was a bit of filibustering where sure. I was if trying you want, to get clarification. We can very clearly get to like the bottom of this, answer, or we can Destiny. ramble on to irrelevant things. Do you, you want to get to the bottom? You of don't this? like our answer, okay. so you say we didn't. So answer what you're doing is you're pointing out a difference. So sometimes in moral philosophy, people want to point to the difference between doing and allowing harm. And there might be a fundamental moral difference between doing harm to somebody versus allowing harm to somebody. It and depends trying, what you mean by those actions. Sure, you're trying to draw some difference here between doing and allowing harm. However, none of us here believe that that matters in this case, right? Because if you look at a child, none of us here mm -hmm. would say that that one is morally okay to allow harm versus one is morally okay to do harm. Definitely, For instance, it, it, if you had a child that was mm -hmm. connected to an insulin tube or a feeding pump because they had issues with digestion or feeding, you wouldn't say that like, okay, actively killing the child is wrong, but if you just mm -hmm. disconnected their insulin pump, that would be okay because you're passively killing the child. We would say no, they have a fundamental right to survive and be alive, and you would say the same thing to a person connected to a machine because if a person was in a coma or we're not in a coma, let's say they were just unconscious, okay, and we knew they were gonna wake up in two weeks, so there was a high likelihood of it, we would say it's probably unethical to uh, unattach that person to the machine, even if mm -hmm. all they did was sit there and starve mm -hmm. to death. Doesn't so this weird description that you're trying to, or this weird dichotomy you're trying to make between doing versus allowing harm doesn't apply here when we talk about moral consideration. It of absolutely different I think you're making, I think you're, I think there's a, there's a, I think there's an oversimplification here okay. when you're talking about moral philosophy, because yeah. a lot of it goes into who has the responsibility, what my responsibilities mm -hmm. and duties are to you. Right. So if I am a doctor and my responsibility and duty is to my patient and I have a child who's getting an insulin treatment, yes, it would be homicidal of me to rip the treatment away from the child. Yes. Um, if I am a parent and I, my duty and responsibility as a parent is to provide nourishment for my child and I rip that nourishment mm -hmm. away from my child, then yes, that would be a, a, a mm -hmm. potentially a homicidal act. It could lead to death and it certainly would be a case of neglect and perhaps mm -hmm. abuse. So similarly, if I as a parent have these responsibilities to my children, then I have to, it would be morally wrong for me to not live out those responsibilities and every child is dependent on his or her mother mm -hmm. I do not suddenly become a child or a person at consciousness you don't we don't even have a clear line of when that is we haven't <laughs> been able to nail that down you still can't tell um, and in addition consciousness you can go in and out of consciousness sure so and here's in the... addition a child okay. before developing mm -hmm. consciousness um, mm -hmm. only needs time to sure. develop that so here's the wait, wait, wait this so is the most important question one, one, so one, one thing one thing one thing um no, no I'll, I'll let you make your point but after you make your point allow me to just come in and I, I have okay. a couple questions I need most to ask important you. question then when well, you can you person, respond to what I said, though? I, I'm curious your thoughts on what I just said. Um, it, Do you disagree I don't with know what I said? Anything to respond to? I, there's nothing. <laughs> Do you agree with it? Disagree? It, it when you start saying things like you should take care of children, you can't pull away care from children. Obviously, I agree. But okay. that's all begging the question. We all agree on that. The question is when do they become children? So there's nothing. No, to but but to. but what what do you think about the distinction of I have the potential, I have the capacity for consciousness. I only need time for that to be realized. Similar, I'm under an anesthetic. I can have the capacity okay. for consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's not realized because I'm under anesthetic. In both cases, it's still wrong to kill. It's, there's a difference. You're Why? not developing the conscious. Why does that difference matter, Destiny? Because there's a difference between. A thing and I know a thing there's a difference, else. but why does the difference matter? Hold on, let them matter? finish. Let them oh, finish. I am getting triggered. You're right. I'm getting triggered. Okay. I know. Hold on. We all know Destiny. By, okay, by what? The, the arguments the or the interruptions? Because she knows her argument is bad, and that's why she won't let me finish her interruptions. It's triggering the fuck out of me. Okay. <laughs> well, let's just let Destiny respond. Go ahead, Destiny. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So the, 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 the key money question that I'm going to ask is, is if you have a person connected at end of life care, when does it become ethical to disconnect them? You didn't answer. I'll answer, answer that. Lila's question. But why does your difference matter? Why does what difference matter? The difference oh, of the, the difference, child. You're not even going to let me finish, but I'll tell you the difference. The difference is, is there's a difference between a thing and a thing that something will become. Those are two fundamentally different things. So when you say, what's the difference between a fetus that hasn't developed the parts to have consciousness yet versus what's the difference between me? me the fetus. I told you she wouldn't let me finish. Versus just, what's the difference between me who's currently unconscious and will become conscious later after anesthesia will wake up. The difference is, is you're not developing the capacity to have consciousness. There's a continuation of a prior conscious experience. All the parts are there to create a consciousness experience they're just temporary Destiny. temporarily the alleviated Destiny. they're just no it's not because Hold the on, fetus let, has let never finish, been finish. conscious and doesn't have the parts to deploy let the conscious finish. experience so there's fundamentally a difference was that two or three interruptions that i said were going to happen right there's mm -hmm. fundamentally a difference between a thing doesn't even have the capability to to have a conscious experience mm -hmm. versus somebody else's is temporarily mm -hmm. abated by a drug that is why, the difference thank you for that Aunt. you're thank welcome you. why no does the continuation of consciousness matter. The continuation matters because the thing I'm valuing is the mm -hmm. underlying machinery that has the capacity to deploy a Why? conscious experience. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in all the intuition of when we talk about other people and intuition? things, it seems like, well, mm -hmm. ultimately, that's kind of where our morals come from, don't they? Right? And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, 
At the end of the day, the thing that we seem to be valuing at other people seems to be the subjective experience that we're all having with each other. Okay. That seems to be the case. Under your logic, Destiny. Yes, tell me. A newborn child whose yeah. consciousness, their memories, they won't even have memories as a newborn. Who's they, talking about memories? Because Hold on, your consciousness as a newborn child mm -hmm. and even your consciousness as a one-year-old is very different right. than your consciousness as a Destiny, however old you are. Okay. Are you less of a human, less of a person, excuse me, because that's the word where you're, you. you're using here. Uh -huh. Are you less of a person because you have less consciousness? Yeah, you might be. Okay, interesting. That's but a, just because you're less of a person doesn't necessarily so, mean that you have like not that fundamental so right to be protected as a if wife. You, if mm. you are less of a person. Just so like a person who's prepubescent is less of a person in terms of like okay. being like endowed with all the rights of society. Sure, so but they I, still have the right to life okay, to not be so, murdered. So yeah. let's, let's walk this forward. Okay. Then if you're a one-year-old and you're a little bit less of a person than a 20-year-old, say, mm -hmm. should you have less are your human rights mm -hmm. less as a one-year-old than your human rights as a 20-year-old? Where does that distinction Your human rights are less as rights? a one-year-old, yes. But in your terms of like rights. right to be killed? Wait, wait. Human rights are universal and inalienable fair for everyone. We're not talking about rights mm -hmm. when you turn 18 to vote. Mm -hmm. We're talking about your universal inalienable rights. Where, but a, a, the idea of a human right is we all share them and they can't be taken away from us. Because we're human. Okay, I mean, but we, you, we, reckon, you will recognize that, that there's a fundamentally different set of like rights for children than there are well, for adults. I think, now, I if you want to talk about like rights to be killed. That's why well, I keep clarifying. That's why I keep specifying. Right to not be mm -hmm. killed. Yeah, I think it's you have that right, right to no? not be killed. Yeah, it's that is a right. human right. Okay, yeah. so, so just to clarify, mm -hmm. the amount of how much of a person you are, is what you just said, does not change your human rights because my human rights as a one-year-old, even though I'm less of a person because I'm less conscious than sure. a 20-year-old, I still share the same human rights, no? If you want to, yeah, sure. Okay. okay. So why would you deprive a child in the womb mm -hmm. weeks before developing this uncertain amount of consciousness that's still very limited compared to even the consciousness of a newborn, why mm -hmm. would you deprive them the right to life? Because they haven't become a person yet because they haven't developed that But that's a circular argument. You it's just went back to this. absolutely not circular. You went back to the Hold same. On. I'm when so sorry. Wait, wait, wait. To be clear, a person. you're trying to say that let's say that a a person is one hundred. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa! You're okay. saying let's say a person is fifty percent a person at one year old and one hundred percent a person at five years old, and let's say you're saying that a second trimester baby is twenty percent a person. Well, what about somebody that's zero percent a person? Well, I would say that's not a person yet. That's very clear, well, very but, easy, but you're, very obvious. You're, but yeah. you're not. But you're, you're basing that off of though development. Yeah, the developing of a conscious experience. So, Just like so, death is based so off the development of the lack so, of a conscious experience. So that's experience. age discrimination. It's maturity discrimination. If you want to call it age discrimination, you can call it what you want. You're, okay. try, you're trying to like okay. dress it up to intuition. You still pump, didn't like answer my question. Well, you're using intuition for your I'm, Hold on, no, no, no. When I say you're intuition pumping, what I mean is you're yeah. trying to draw all of the negative things of age discrimination to make it sound bad. But you're not addressing experience. the fundamental point I'm making, which is that the conscious experience seems to be, and I'll go back to my one question is, when can we decide to pull the plug on somebody who's in the hospital? What is the what is the defining factor for, okay, Tell me more about this person in the hospital. Because sure, they're in a coma. They're in a hospital. They're in okay. A are they under? On the, are they on? They're on life support. Yeah, I'm gonna guess, and they're not medically induced coma. Correct. Okay, so I would talk to. I would want to better understand. Or did they just have a car okay, accident? Okay, talk to me. Yeah, they had a car accident. Okay, and are everything. they are they brain dead? Um, they might be. Should we test for that? Do you think that's important? Yeah, that yeah, that's important. very important. Okay, yeah. when you say so, brain dead, what do you mean by brain dead? I mean they can't detect any any brain waves on the person. Are they flatlining? Is there is there any heart? So are we going to go by detection of brain waves is what we choose as the because end of it, life? Because if you, what you're getting to, it is ethical, I believe, okay. to remove life support when there's no more hope for the person. Do you think it's ethical to, sh to dismember the person when you remove the life support? Um, I mean, like, Would like you do anything wrong weird, if you like said, I'm I think a that sadistic people person have, who wants to I think dismember that people? people have, um, the difference, though, is life just, support just, is an Just let them answer, but, but, let them answer the question, okay, and, then, okay. and then we'll There's have such you go. A, this is, it's not a proper analogy, is the it's problem. It's such a good analogy. because You enjoy it, I know, in, but it's not no, a proper no, no, one. No, 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 no. It's important because one. you're asking the very human questions I would expect you to ask, which are the questions everybody asks is, <laughs> is there brain activity? Well, they're the ethical questions to ask when you're a medical personnel making a decision about whether or not to remove life support, And we don't go by heartbeat. We don't go by response to external stimuli. We don't those go are, by yeah, those are often yes. Those are evaluated when you're determining making life and death decisions in a hospital. Brain Our, death is usually what we're looking at. Yes, that is that is absolutely that is considered the as well. Defining aspect right, of what I we understand. consider somebody. So hold on, can I just say ask one question then? You are you are making an um, equivalence between a person on life support and a child in the womb as if the child in the womb is on some form of life support. Life that is not, not that is not correct though. 
That's not correct because when I'm a child in the womb, at you when you're a child in the womb, you're not on an extraordinary medical measure to support, to keep you alive. You're okay, in your let's natural say they're not, habitat let's say that where we all yeah, because our let's, life. Can I get in this? And, and the only, this let me just say one last thing and I'd love to get in. Yeah, one more the, thing. And the only thing that's going to kill you when mm-hmm. you're in the womb, if not a miscarriage, would be an abortion. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you may, so it's, it, 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 it doesn't match. You, you still haven't answered the question about the 21 week and six day old human being. I said being. it's fine. You do, yeah, that, it's, they would be past my 20 week cutoff, so they'd probably be treated like a child. Probably. The, it's a, yeah, assuming but, but, but that's how? the law, it would be treated like a child, yes. So, so you're saying that the law is 20 weeks and that is exactly where you're at? Yes. Okay. What, what about it, the child who's 18 weeks in the womb, who has spina bifida, and the gone, doctors get anesthetic to correct spina bifida and put the, the child back in the womb? Oh, in the womb if the parents yeah. want to. That's their choice. But, it's a but medical here, but procedure. This is my question before okay. you made your farting noise. Yeah. Uh, does that child at 18 weeks, or the fetus, mm-hmm. or the thing that you want to call it, yeah. does that child have any, any rights? No. At all? Nope. But see, what's interesting is you were you're conflating parts with holes. No, nope, I'm not. No, yeah, you were. Because you keep saying that you, earlier, and we can rewind the tapes or whatever, okay. that the child doesn't have the capacity for consciousness. But the child actually does actually have the capacity to have consciousness. At the moment of conception, no. all, no, excuse me, at the moment of conception, I told you I'm gonna start treating you like a child. Okay. Uh, at the moment of conception, all of the parts are there, right? The genetic no. code is there. That's not the parts. A blueprint is not a part. Wait, can we what? pause okay, here? So wait, wait, let me finish my question. Fi- let, let, <laughs> let me finish my question. Yes, ma'am. So what part gets added in the womb? Uh-huh. At between zero well, days and the twenty brain, weeks. There's no, no, no. The heart, Excuse there's me. There's the spine. Where does that? Where does that part come from, Destiny? From the does blueprints. It, do you think blueprints to a car are the same thing as a car? You just, but you just said it doesn't matter. I said uh, the child a in the womb. A blueprint isn't going to magically has, become a car. Well, I'm at, but a but a, a, a that, one cell not, thing that, is not a thing with many cells. You, 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 excuse me, you, you're acting as if. Wait, can you Destiny. sit up? Oh yeah, my gosh. You, Wait, here, I'll if you're going to treat me like a kid, I'm going to act like a kid. Destiny, please sit up and have good manners. Treat me like an adult. Uh, no. Can Let's we, go back to okay. the coma. Hold Let's on, go back to the coma. Okay. I think I have a question about the parts and the holes because I think this is really interesting. Okay. Is this a bird You the just said yeah. that the child at 20 weeks <laughs> uh-huh. has the right to life, okay. but the child at 18 weeks has zero right. That is correct. That was my cutoff. Absolutely all. Absolutely. But what you were saying in your arguments with Lila earlier yeah. is that the child doesn't have the capacity for consciousness. And I said that's absolutely incorrect because at the moment of conception, all of the genetic material needs needed for that child to obtain consciousness is there all in what Lila had already said uh-huh. very articulately uh-huh. all the child needs is time to grow and time to develop it's not as if a child in my womb at 12 weeks uh-huh. I you know take a needle and insert this like little part into my womb and say bam fetus now you have the capacity for consciousness no yep. the, all the parts are already there sure let's Can, say that I walk by or, would you let's agree with I, me on that fact that no. all the parts no, are there the just one thing one thing Destiny you you respond you respond okay and then i do have to jump in okay. so destiny Sorry. go and then I'll, okay. I'll go ahead if i walked outside and there was a hundred steel beams and there was a ton of nails and all this shit laying on the ground and it was organized and i walk over and i push over the steel beams nobody would say oh my god you just destroyed a building all the parts for the building are there the blueprint might be, be there vandalism. to build the building it would still be vandalism so be yeah wrong. but it's not a building uh, it is and part i agree of that killing has, a fetus is killing hey, a fetus hey, but it's, it's not killing a, a human if i'm a, if i'm a home we're builder, not, we're not, the argument here is not whether or not a thing is being terminated we agree it's whether or not that thing is the thing you're claiming it is it's part you're of claiming a that a thing has a blueprint or can develop the parts in the future i'm not claiming let them finish let us that argument right there betrays your whole point because you're conceding that it is not the thing itself if i walk by a construction site and i start knocking stuff over i have haven't destroyed a building. The pieces of a thing are not the thing itself. Um, I think that when does the hold, fetus get oh, the? Can I? I'll just answer pieces. that really quick. If you go in and start burning. Uh-huh. the building before it's built yeah. yeah that would be a problem and it would be vandalism and it would hurt the future it would be building. vandalism and it would, it would hurt a future and it building but it hasn't building. destroyed a building has it it, it, it definitely well, destroyed what you were building for well, sure yes but it didn't so, destroy a building right yeah but but this is the difference here no is that's like, this is the whole no, subject no, of the debate not the if you've destroyed debate. all the materials yeah. for a building have you destroyed a building a building uh, is a yeah. thing. A human I mean, being is I, a I person. Think, I think it doesn't match to what our conversation is I on, on, a, on a life because no. an embryo is a is a whole unique 
individual yeah, and part let's come back to that let's I, come can let's we go to the coma back really quick because i coma, actually want to address that Is well that let, let's come back to that okay. in a little bit we do have a couple chats okay. to get through here we're going to read through a couple of these chats um if you want give a quick response please and then we'll continue on with the conversation we have about i think 10 or so different chats uh <laughs> gred neck thank you for the uh 50 appreciate it i'm pro-life first of all woman let the man speak damn it second destiny is a destiny a hypothetical that thetical is something that is a scientific you guys should probably spell check these before sending <laughs> uh things that are unrealistic like a button saying not going to wake up is unrealistic and impossible Gredneck, thank you there for the donation we have stir the sauce oh nine thank you man hr 1074 if the perpetrator commits the predicate offense with the intent to kill the unborn child the punishment for that offense is the same as the punishment provided under fed federal law for intentionally killing or attempting to kill a human being explain by the way if you want you can read can them I, on the screen here can we go to the coma or because it got Let, let's do a few going, more okay, we got go. a few more got um <laughs> did anybody want to respond to stir the sauces he's saying that He's trying to make an argument from legality, but it's a dumb argument because nobody here believes in that. Because if the law right now said that killing a fetus incurred no penalty, obviously they would disagree with the law. If the law says that killing a fetus incurs a penalty of homicide, I would probably disagree with that law. But I mean, like, okay. uh, it's, it's just a, no, none of us here are arguing sure. for what's legal or not. All right, next chat, we have Mickey. Hey, thank you for the uh, $69 uh, donation. Thank you. Take turns talking. It's the woman couple choice. Why is it anyone's business who is not going to raise and finance the child mm. have a say? All that is needed to do is provide a safe space for them in order to prevent unnecessary casualty due to self-abortion? Can anybody parse that? <laughs> That's a <laughs> stupid <laughs> argument. People that say that it's just a decision between a uh, man and a woman is dumb because the what's being debated here is the life of a child. If you believe it's a child, then it's not just two people that have a say over it. The life of the child ought to be provided sure. some personal negative rights as well. Yeah. All right, we have Alvin Sam here. If abortion is murder, should the woman be charged with that and go to jail? Credit to Rolla for this. Uh, Lila or Kristen, do you have a response to Alvin's chat here? I believe that those who commit murder, so the abortionists, those who would be assisting in the abortion, mm -hmm. could be tried with a crime. And actually, we've written laws at Students for Life Action that do make uh, committing abortion a, a criminal offense. We do not believe uh, that a woman should go to jail from abortion um, because, sadly, for 50 years in our country, we have told women that it's not murder and it's not killing. It's simply a removal of meaningless blobs of tissue that don't have any consciousness yet. Um, which we know is false. And so we actually see her very much as a second victim of the abortion industry that tells her that she can't, that she isn't capable enough, as you know, the argument that Destiny was making earlier, that women somehow aren't capable enough of walking around this earth uh, pregnant without you know, being locked up or whatever for, to her potential miscarriage. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe that she absolutely has the capacity to achieve her career goals and her educational goals. Um, but and sadly, Planned Parenthood the nation's largest abortion vendor and the abortion lobby uh, has told her something different for the past 50 years. Uh, hold on, real quick. That's the worst answer ever. If uh -huh. you believe that abortion Thank is murder, then a woman should be held morally responsible for a conspiracy to commit murder if she goes to an abortion clinic. Full stop. End of discussion. If you think abortion is murder, mm -hmm. a woman going to get an abortion mm -hmm. would be the same as a woman going to get her one-year-old child killed. If abortion is murder, it's murder mm -hmm. for everybody involved, including the woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm more of that position, which is that if it, there's obviously, when it comes to homicide, there's a lot of... Um, potentially mitigating factors, full intent, full knowledge, right. coercion. Right. But I think, yes, if you're willfully and intentionally taking the life of your child, there should be criminal penalties. Got it. All right, we have Rams here with the uh, Canadian 69. Thank you, man, appreciate it. Maybe we should take policy back to the age old normal. Oh, to the age old normal <laughs> equals babies coming from marriage in society is the norm. And therefore out of marriage births will be the exception and overall less births to consider for the mystery of when a fetus is a human. Okay, Rams, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Did anyone have a response to that? Or, uh, David Cena, can you each describe what happens during an abortion, starting with destiny? Um, I think it depends on where the development of the fetus is, but I think normally don't they start putting in tools, cutting it up, sucking it out? I think it depends on how far along the development is. So. 
Would you like to go in detail? Because like if you like are advocating for abortion, I think you should be able to tell us what abortion really is. <clears throat> My understanding is don't just prior like, to oh, whatever. Yeah. So I think generally there's like this whole slew of I would call them like gore porn films, like saw and stuff that they have doctors watching beforehand so that when they go in, I think the goal is to inflict the maximum amount of gore and pain on the fetus before they take it out. So the first thing you do is you open the vagina up as much as possible, <laughs> dilate the cervix. Here, give and us you a go serious, in, give us the a goal serious is answer. You, I think they start with little razors. It depends on how sensitive the baby is to pain. Then they start to flay it alive in the womb and then they pump like oxygen so the baby can start crying and everything. Why don't you give a serious answer to no, a serious because question. the argument of like what happens on some emotional level, you're totally conceding any it's logical not point. It's it just absolutely the is. You're conceding, you're conceding because you're trying to win on some like emotionally different no, point. If you want to morally grandstand on it, it's fine, but I'm not here to like mince words over like, oh, well, this is what happens to the other boys. Well, if, no, if you support abortion, I think you should have the balls I support to cremation as well and cremation would be pretty bad if I thought that a corpse was a living person. Dead. I also support embalming too and that would also be really brutal if it was a living person. Living human yeah, and I don't agree that a fetus is a living human. Welcome they, to my wait, argument okay, from like two hours ago. Dead? This, is, this, is, this, this goes dead? back to the argument that we if keep saying. Not li- wait, hold on, you hold keep on. saying if it's consciousness, not, but you just said not it's living, not a living they, human yeah. being. Are they dead? It, is, is, it's is not a, fetus, a person. It's not is a person. Is a fetus in a womb That's who's not 12 said, weeks though. dead? Or is it alive? It's not a person. Is it? Wait, you just said, said you said. just said it wasn't a living human being. So answer the question. In the, the sense question. that it's not a person. You can try to trap me on semantics, but everybody in the audience knows what I'm saying. But, Your but, heart is living, but it's I, not a person. A so fetus it's, is it's living, alive? but it's not a person. Well, yeah, you of admit, course it's something. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, but you were saying abortion. Mycosis occurs. You, there's metabolism happening. Just, it's getting external nutrients. Just, yeah, just to clarify, just, yeah. just to make sure I'm understanding. You're yes, saying ma'am. You were saying that abortion isn't gory the way or it doesn't matter that abortion is gory the way embalming or cremation might be because it's not taking the life of a living mm-hmm. person something okay you said human being but then you change it to person because you realized yeah. that, that was bad to say human being because you already agreed <laughs> that humans start at fertilization sure. so but it, abortion does end the life of something no yeah it, it does it's it? terminate some process metabolistic what, what, okay yeah. so it does so abortion, it ends life yeah, it, so it if you consider, it, yeah, it's a living thing. Yeah. So is abortion killing? I think something. Yeah. What does abortion kill? A fetus. What is a fetus? However you want to define it. So is a fetus that a human? Contain, so a human a scientific genius, Probably on the total development of like a human, you start as a zygote, you begin mitosis, and you develop into a fetus, and there's different fetal so stages or whatever. So a fetus is a human. Um, you aren't you considered a fetus all the way up to like delivery? Technically, yeah. It's like an eight so month it, old. So it, so a fetus is a human. Sure, it could be. So yeah. it's correct, not emotionally. But it's correct. You're not literally I'm, I'm to telling say, you. You're I'm not going to win. Just ask the question: Is it correct literally to say then that abortion kills a human? No, because you're intuition pumping. Because when you say human, but the you're word you're trying to draw. Terms. Why? Why that's is she incorrect? In that the terms. ultimate example of somebody not being confident in their position is to try to win the debate through etymology. You're not no, going to win this debate Destiny. by trying to redefine you, words you, in a clever you, manner you away from me. If you want to pretend that, that's yeah. fine. But that's like, you're not making any actual like arguments here. What you're trying to say is like, well, do you consider a fetus a human? Sure. Do you consider a baby a human? Um, yeah. Oh, so you want to protect some humans but not others? I guess. I'm, I'm oh, so what about white humans and black humans? I'm right? trying to understand. No, you're not your trying position. to understand. My point has been crystal I'm, clear the entire time. I'll restate it for like the fifth time. My point is, is the conscious experience, like, whatever you want to call that, if you want to call that when it becomes a human and before that it's just a fetus, if you want to call that a person or give a person, whatever, 20 to 24 weeks at that 20 week mark is when you get the protections that you're endowed with as a human person under the Constitution of the United States. At 20 weeks. If you want to call the thing before a fetus or a human fetus or a, a human thing or whatever you want to call it, you can call it whatever you want. So, but my position is crystal clear. I've elucidated on multiple times so just, if you guys just, want to respond go ahead and then i'm going to get okay. some more chats does abortion just, kill a human being uh, a human being i probably wouldn't agree to those terms no well, but you if just, you want me to you say yes make you feel better sure. you just, so it's a little like, also, you're like all over the map i'm not all over the map i'm crystal oh, clear but you're trying to semantically uh, win on a point instead of having the actual drawing. argument however yeah. i'll say this i can shortcut that whole question the question is stupid and their point of like saying like well look at how bloody it actually is stupid because i can ask you this question and i don't know answer if there was a way to do an abortion on a fetus that was 100 humane that was 100 pain-free they just went in and sucked out and instantly deleted it would you think that that's okay no, no, it doesn't not. change your argument because at all. Still, so why bring up still, how gory or whatever, right? There's no bearing on your argument human, whatsoever. I'm answering your question. It's okay. still an innocent human being. Sure. I know, I agree. I agree with everything you're saying. I understand. Person. But I'm just saying that like, so the, the method, the process of the abortion has nothing to do with the veracity of the argument. So the only reason you bring it up is to win emotional no, actually, points. Think, I actually that was the whole point of my initial it's, point. It's actually very important to the abortion argument because okay. as someone who's talked to women who've gone into abortion mm-hmm. facilities mm-hmm. or who've been considering abortion, they are actually not fully consented as to what an abortion actually entails. And one of the big challenges that we face in the pro-life movement is actually educating Americans about what an abortion procedure really is. Is it simply a a removal of a couple of cells? Is it like removing your appendix or a tooth? Or is it actively ending a human life that has unique genetic 
unique genetic code. So, so that's this, a lie. This is where it kind of falls apart, Destiny, in my view. And let, tell me, tell me where I'm wrong here. Tell, okay. Cor- so, Gladly, help yeah. me understand this. So, help me fall you apart, were, yeah. we were good. We were talking about consciousness, Sorry. and you were saying that consciousness. The reason that con- the development of consciousness matters for personhood, and you you referenced moral intuition. Okay. But you're very uncomfortable with the moral intuition that might also arise when you consider that abortion is the direct killing, dismemberment, poisoning uh, of a preborn life, human. And so why are you uncomfortable with the moral intuition against killing an innocent preborn life pre-consciousness, but you're comfortable with the moral intuition around consciousness? Okay, just to clarify, it is innocent, right? Because you said it like three times. Hasn't mm-hmm. committed any yeah, crimes. Okay, correct. okay, just making sure. Okay, mm-hmm. um, I'm not uncomfortable with any intuitions. I'll, that's good. That's why I've answered every question, every hypothetical. Mm-hmm. We Except can talk what with. happens during abortion. You didn't answer. Well, you that. Can, well he was you can talk about that if you want. I gave my. So, I've you said known you answered every question, but you well, wouldn't actually answer the question. I don't. I don't know the exact procedure. I described as much as I know about abortion. I'm sure you know every single gory detail. So why well, don't you share well, with us? Well, we were. I was simply going down. I would like to really hear about what happens during abortion. Well, we were going down a path where you said that abortion is killing, and yes, it's a human. But then I said, so, so you're okay with abortion an act that kills a human and you didn't like that i think your moral intuition told you that doesn't sound right because doesn't i think sound right? that uh, that you would support an act that kills an and human that, yeah that obviously kills a human. And, but yeah but that's what an abortion is destiny we're, we're that's not, what an abortion no, is we're talking but you're, about different you're, types of intuition your cognitive moral intuition is raging is right now destiny it's, it's raging not at all. it's raging no, my it's position has been it's, crystal it's, clear the entire time there's a reason why i'll attend with every hypothetical i'll answer every question and why you guys are running like crazy for my very simple questions well let's do a couple more chats can we do oh let's let's do the chats and then we will come back to that uh we have juggernaut here just a heads up juggernaut thank you for the uh super chat just it's a little, a little iffy. So unfortunately, we're not going to read wait. It, what is it about? It's he's being a bit insulting, to, like he's being a bit rude. So to I, who? To the the oh, yeah, the fucking yeah, yeah, so. misogyny. Um, so tell s- him thanks for the fifty bucks, though, loser. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. But thanks for the fifty bucks, fucking loser. Juggernaut. We will read your other super chat though. So thank you, <laughs> Scott Servini. Hey, thank you for the uh, fifty super chat. Thank you so much, man. This is a seriously heavy topic for a That's dating great. podcast. Didn't know what I was getting into tonight. I'm going to stay tuned though. Can't <laughs> turn away. Hey, Scott. Thank you so much for uh, the super chat and thank you for tuning in. Yeah, it's a little different than what we're uh, we normally do, but um, it's I kind suppose of important when we talk about dating. Well, I suppose it's abortion is somewhat related to dating, and it's, you know it's. In the so, red pill space, I don't think it's that relevant a topic. I, I, it doesn't like ninety percent of the audience are virgins. So. Well, I, I mean, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm just so related to dating, kidding. I think it, it's related, seeing as people have sex, and then the consequences of yeah. sex can be pregnancy. So sometimes, uh, yeah. Scott, thank you, uh, Jonathan Thanks, D. Scott. Thank you for the uh, Canadian fifty. Appreciate it. <laughs> Molar pregnancy occurs after fertilization when replication of cells becomes abnormal. The embryo becomes a trophoblastic tumor which is cancer it is an embryo before it becomes cancer is alive alive per Kristen Mm -hmm. I'm a doctor this is fact please explain Mm -hmm. I'm not sure uh, what Jonathan is that definitely supports my argument yeah he's talking about a genetic circumstance where something's happened that's gone wrong at the moment Mm -hmm. of conception um, and and the child doesn't actually fully become a child it's like a Mm. um that's why they call it, just like, I keep trying to describe it as it's a molar pregnancy. It's a um, it's a pregnancy, but it's not a human being. Is that like a stillbirth or no. that, wait, that's a pregnancy, a but it's not a human being? It wait, but doesn't it have unique genetic code? It leads to a miscarriage. It, it's a miscarriage. Yeah, but it's, it is a human being, right? It like children can have, but children can have genetic abnormalities that lead to them. Yeah, and a lot of on. when we talked about miscarriages earlier, uh-huh. when you kind of callously made it out like it was nothing, uh-huh. um, mis- a lot of miscarriages happen because of a genetic abnormality. Sure, but to be For clear, sure. those are children. Destiny, I think I think we can absolutely. find agreement on your coma question. Oh my well, God! We, oh, we, we have the yeah, we have. Oh, sorry, sorry. we have, get there. Oh, we have I'm excited seven, for that. Yeah. We have Stay seven, tuned for the agreement on the coma. We question, have uh, Nobunaga here. Hey, thank you, man. Good to see you back in the chat. Definition of a child: a young human being below the age of puberty or below the age of majority. If human life begins at conception, like Destiny agreed with, then factually, Destiny is wrong. Your response, Destiny? <sighs> I didn't consider to check dictionary.com before doing <laughs> okay. moral philosophy. Me. Thank you, no bun, no bu- no Bunaga. Gredneck, hey, what thank- a genius. I'll read this one while it's up. Gredneck, uh-huh. hey, thank you for the 50. Sorry for the bad text. What I get from this is Destiny agrees with you on that. It is killing, deleting after conception, but the right to life begins with personhood at 20 weeks. And before that, uh, and before that, it doesn't matter to him. By the way, love your podcast, Brian mm-hmm. Gredneck. Thank you. Um, Destiny, do you have a response to? Yeah, that's probably mm-hmm. what I agree. You're killing okay. something, right? All right. 
Okay, and then we have here, I think we had Nobunaga's, I think. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, this is the second this one. one. Uh, Nobunaga, hey, oh, thank can you. Can I read this one? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Definition of a person, uh, quote, a human being regarded as an individual, end quote. Since Destiny agreed that the, unique human look, uh, that the unique human DNA begins a conception, then he is also wrong again. Words have meaning, and Destiny is looking like a fool by trying to move the goalposts. Thank you for the forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nobunaga, thank you. Do you have a re uh, response to him, or is that sufficient? If for he's, he's going to bring out Merriam-Webster, who am I to contradict him? Okay, fuck there me. you go, Nobunaga. Um, oh, here's another. Do you want to read this one, another too? Another one. Destiny is wrong again on consciousness. Alzheimer's is a thing. There are cases of people who get concussions, go into a coma and don't remember, or suffer from memory loss. His arguments are a bunch of BS, and I bet he doesn't mean Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Probably not. No, Probably I don't not. think so. Okay, no, but not. I didn't know that Alzheimer's patients didn't have consciousness. That's they, wild. They, they lose their consciousness, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, but we But they're have... just as much a person. <laughs> it was Terry wow. Schiavo or the because, because consciousness does not give you your humanity or your personhood. But it uh, seems like that's when we decided it's gone, right? We have, what does uh, that mean? Was Terry Schiavo worthy of life? Ooh. Thank you for the big 200 mm -hmm. super chat. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh, was, who's Terry Schiavo? Terry Schiavo is, is a, a woman who they're not sure how she had the accident, but she ended up in a severely disabled state. Mm -hmm. um, some called her a vegetable, but her family said she's not a vegetable. She's interacting with us and she's a human being. Human mm -hmm. beings aren't vegetables. And her husband in a very famous court case, well, he had a mistress and he was actively separated from Terry because he was her guardian, um, euthanized her. Chose to kill her in the state of Florida, and when it was actually this? starved her. Was it was a yes. horrific. Was in the nineties, and okay. the way he euthanized her was that he they refused uh, food and water. Mm -hmm. She started. died of she died of dehydration. She didn't Very die slowly. of her condition. She died of dehydration. Like, Okay. Uh, that, that's back to the yeah. tell me when we can do COVID. Yeah, yeah, almost. We're, all, <laughs> we're about halfway through <laughs> some of these chats. <laughs> all right. We have uh, Henry N. Pleasure is never as pleasant as we expected it to be, and pain is always more painful. The pain in the world always outweighs the pleasure. If you mm -hmm. don't believe it, compare the respective mm -hmm. feelings of two animals, mm -hmm. one of which is eating the other. Hey, hey Henry N., thank wow. you for the uh, super chat. Appreciate it. We have Christopher Two Fisher points. here. Thank you for the uh, super chat. According to the NIH, several conditions may mimic brain death, locked in syndrome, hypothermia, drug intoxication. Intoxication, Gillian, Gillian, how do you pronounce that? Gillian Barr. Gillian Barr syndrome, delayed paralytic clearance, all mimic brain death, but all mm -hmm. have recoverable uh, with due time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christopher Fisher, thank you for the uh, super chat. Appreciate it. Um, we have Dr. Ocho. Thank you. Destiny, you need to start asking them to restate your position back to you. It's becoming exceedingly obvious that they are either not listening or responding in bad faith. Lila seems like she's kind of trying, though. So shout out to Lila. Uh, Dr. Ocho, thank you there. I'll try to do better. I'm, I'm okay. truly. <laughs> and then uh, we have Jonathan D here. Merci beaucoup for the Canadian 50. Uh, Muller, oh, did we... Yeah, Wait, it's another molar did we read this one or is this a different? Molar pregnancy does not result in miscarriage. Google invasive molar pregnancy. It can, in fact, spread the abnormal cells. It's miscarriage cells. in the sense that the child is, yeah. is no longer alive. So that there's no child. That's what, okay. but, but yes, it may be. Just as a quick here, thing. Here, I just Googled molar pregnancy for everyone who's confused. <laughs> sure. A tumor that develops in the uterus as a result of a non-viable pregnancy. There may or may not be an embryo or placental tissue in some cases of molar pregnancy. If there is an embryo, it's not properly formed and it cannot survive. It's very rare, fewer than 20,000 cases a year in the United States. And a routine blood test can, just for anyone who's concerned, a routine blood test can determine whether or not you are having a molar pregnancy. Okay. Uh, also, just to clarify earlier, because um, these guys wildly misrepresented the Terry Schiavo case, and I just wanted to look up the facts real quick before I, um, I <coughs> corrected them. Mm -hmm. uh, one is Terry Schiavo had made several statements to family members that if she were to ever be alive in some persistent vegeta mm -hmm. vegetative state, she would not want to be kept, al kept alive indefinitely Did on a chance like that. Did she say she wanted so number to one, be starved? She had said that to multiple. She had said that to multiple family members. These are in court records. And secondly, she was absolutely in a persistent vegetative state. Uh, state that autopsies afterwards confirmed she was likely mm -hmm. never to wake up. 
from. That's, her brain literally was half the weight of where it was true. supposed that's to incorrect. be for somebody. That's that actually was, not true. That's fine if you disagree with that, but you now you're disagreeing with. Now we're not arguing normative beliefs. Now we're arguing scientific fact. The autopsy reports and the people that analyzed her brain agreed just as much. Her brain was in a worse state than another woman prior to her who had been um, unplugged because Destiny. of similar issues. She was disabled, but you, being disabled. She was not dis have let you, me, you let me finish. She was, she, was she had a severe intellectual disability no. due to, due I, to the no, accident, no, but no, that doesn't no, justify no. starving her. And do you think it doesn't justify? Can I just can I just finish? It doesn't justify. Hold on, Destiny. You are wildly out of pocket. No, I'll cut you off this time. That doesn't justify compare somebody in a persistent vegetative state to somebody with severe intellectual disabilities is a wild statement. She was not severely intellectually disabled. She was a vegetable. She was a brain dead and did not respond to external stimuli. And the autopsy confirmed just as there have been people who doctors have said are in persistent vegetative state. That's not what we're talking about here. Yeah, that's what we're talking about here because there are people who doctors have said are in persistent vegetative state who went on to fully wake up and recover. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? That's fine, so but it is the autopsy on this concluded, they concluded from the medical records and consultations with medical experts that the scope and weight of the medical information within the file concerning Terry Schiavo consists of competent, well-documented information that she is in a persistent yeah. vegetative state with no likelihood her of improvement, husband wanted her and that dead. the neurological and speech pathology evidence in the file support the contention that she cannot take oral nutrition those, or hydration those, and cannot yeah. consciously interact with her environment. Destiny, she those, was super brain dead. I don't care were, what the husband said. The were, statements that were used to, to verify whether she could be unplugged were statements that she had been made to family. Those were Doctors. She had made statements to her family saying, I don't yeah. want to be kept alive on this day. Did she say, I want to be starved She and said, I don't water. want to be kept alive forever on machines. She, That's she, what she, she said. She, Sorry, those were her statements. That was what is legally entered. And mm -hmm. scientifically, the, the evidence does not exist that she was ever going to wake the, up from the, that person's part, the part you're not, End of discussion. The part you're not referencing is that the doctors that looked at her were paid for by her husband who wanted her dead. Okay, That's well, all the courts point. disagree with you and all the autopsies disagree with you. So. Well, I think Sorry. her family would actually disagree with you as well. Bobby Schindler and her entire family. I don't care. I'm not here to ask the questions of the family what well, i'm asking is what's entered what's her. entered on the why would i care what a family member has because to say? they were the ones interacting with her yeah but they're do you think they're going to be the least biased interpreters of what's happening medically in some event do you do you think that their experience and their interactions with her their conscious experiences with her didn't matter yes i don't think they mattered well uh one question for for lila or mm -hmm. i mean you two i guess uh does, is this Terry Schiavo thing? Does it come up? It was a hu it's no, frequently it's a older abortion person discourse. Wait, how old are you? It doesn't. Not, not no. frequently, but it was a big case a it couple was a decades big case. ago. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they were like the same age. It was yeah. particularly I've, tragic. The name yeah. is. Rem it was a, maybe because I live in a Republican household. It was a really big deal yeah. because of all the. I've heard their arguments a million times where okay. the argument that that people present is that she was she was there and she was mm. communicating with family members in the hospital room and her evil horrible husband who was fucking a mistress on the side just wanted to terminate her life to get away from everything. That's usually the arguments provided. And they dehydrated. It took her ten at, days to die. When you look slowly at all of the medical evidence in that case, overwhelmingly, do you think that was she was just brain That's why all they can say is like, doesn't the family member in the room matter? Well, no. Mm -hmm. Do you think the way they it's killed Terry Schiavo was an did. ethical way of killing her? Um, no. At that point, I don't give much ethical consideration because I don't think it's even a person at that point. All so, right. are you less of a person if you have dementia? Um, you can argue, but you're not not a person. <laughs> When do you not not become a person? When you when no you're... longer can deploy a conscious experience. Well, then experience. If, if you're asleep then, or if you're, you're in, what under the anesthetic, is between somebody then you're not asleep. deploying your What's conscious experience. What's the difference between somebody who's asleep or somebody who's under, dead? When I'm under anesthetic. You can wake up. Why do you keep using okay. this as an example? Because because with an embryo, you can develop. You can't little, wake an embryo you, up. They don't have the parts no, if yet. If you give it time, it takes time right. to wake up. Time, and it takes time to develop. Magically enters the womb. It's changing. It's not the same thing. Do you, is that what you believe? That there's something that like happens, it comes down from the sky. Sky. No, it, it and actually. Enters, excuse hold on, me. Hold on. Do just, you think that something like, magically like, comes no, down from the sky? The sky fairy okay, argument. Okay. My bad. Well, hey, you're the one who like these situations. Well, I, I, I know I like embryos developed. Do you think so that something comes fairy, yeah. down from the sky <laughs> and inserts into the woman's womb after the child is already alive mm -hmm. and developing, which mm -hmm. you've already agreed to as a human being? Do you think that's how a child? Develops consciousness. Some some other part has to get added. Like she goes to the OBGYN's office. That is and goes, what I thought. Hold is that on. the wrong answer? Hold on. We have to insert oh, the consciousness part. Yeah. I, th I thought, because when women go for ultrasounds, don't they have like the long amniocentesis? Isn't that like when they put the consciousness in the baby? 
ba- ba- um, I'm asking oh, I'm you because you're the one oh, making this ridiculous argument. you want me to actually answer? Let's see if I can actually get no, to this I answer. No, I want you to actually no, no, answer. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's because, see if I can get the answer. Because the argument that you keep... That's my prediction for any interruptions when I answer. The argument that you keep making, Destiny... Does this count as an interruption? Because you asked me because I'm not even answering. Jesus. Oh, can I answer? The argument that you keep making is that the child doesn't have the capacity for... I can just tell you the argument Would you stop for a second? Okay, I'm so sorry. The argument you're making is that the child in the room doesn't have have the capacity for consciousness yeah. because a child isn't 20 weeks old yet. Ageist. And what we've said multiple times is that the moment of conception, which you agreed, all those genetic components are already there. What is a genetic component? Because the genetic code comes into existence. Genetic component is another word for blueprint. Unite. A blueprint is not the thing itself. Do you, do, well, when do, how do you think a child oh, gets conscious? Do you, do you uh-huh. honestly think that there's like a part that's inserted into the uterus that then gives the child consciousness? Do you think I honestly think that? Why do you ask it that way? Do you honestly think, do you really think I honestly because think I that? Because I don't think you're that stupid okay, is why thank I'm saying you. that. Okay, Because you Let's keep asking again. this Where do you think question. I would say, what do you think my answer would be? Where does consciousness come from? How does it happen? Tell me what you think I would say. I'm so curious. I, I actually don't know because you keep saying uh-huh. that the child in the womb, yeah. because when you have the argument with Lila about okay. coma that you've talked mm-hmm. about like ad nauseum at this point okay i'm getting sick of the same argument over and over again True. let's talk about viability would you somewhere? stop interrupting me and acting like made. a child please oh, i'm sorry you just like literally keep talking while i'm talking does, does this all count as one interruption remember no, she asked me the question like, like 20 minutes same, ago, yeah no oh. but when you're you keep arguing that the child in the womb has no rights that can be terminated, killed, brutally dismembered. Brutally. Yes, actually, brutally. You admitted that earlier. The that only the types abortions of abortions are very, I'm in favor of, yes. The Sorry, abortions going. are very gruesome. So you said that the child has no rights and that, that because the child hasn't developed consciousness, it doesn't have the capacity. And what the argument that Lila and I have made multiple times today mm-hmm. is that the child just needs time to grow because the child has everything the child needs no, it to, to develop. If you don't kill this it, this is the it does. point. It needs the nutrients child, from the mom. It, by definition, the child has nutrients. everything it but needs that's, at that's the not, moment of faith. conception to. Because the person under anesthetic needs nutrients to live. What, how how, need how does a child? On how long you're under anesthesia okay, for, but if you're the one making this argument, you need to breathe. If you're the one making the argument that personhood doesn't begin until consciousness, tell me how the child in the womb develops consciousness. Explain it for me, because I don't think you understand what happens at the moment of conception. Okay. You probably know the process better than me, okay? So I'm going to try my best, okay? And then correct me if I'm wrong, okay? So the egg sees a bunch of sperm guys around. They let one in, usually, not always. Usually one comes in, and then the egg and the sperm come together. And when they come together, the cells begin to grow and divide. Now, over time, once you've gotten to hundreds or thousands of cells. Billions. Different billions of cells <laughs> probably not interested there's like hundred thousand ten thousand then eventually billions of mm-hmm. cells right i think that you have little things called stem cells that go to different parts of the body and begin to grow and develop mm-hmm. based on the genetic code you have yep. and how things are being directed mm-hmm. right during that process okay i'm sure there's a more complicated way to explain it that's about as well i understand it so what i would say is when does the baby get consciousness it's not magical what happens is is there are parts of your brain that stem cells are hanging out in that are slowly growing out and developing. It's getting nutrients from the mom. It's developing along some normal path. And at some point, it develops the parts and then those parts begin to metabolize things and function and then you have that conscious experience. So you just said so it, it develops. develops the parts. It develops parts. Yeah. You just it, admitted it. Thank you. You just admitted it. That at the moment of conception, it doesn't everything have, no, 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 no. the child what needs I'm admitting, to, to form what I'm consciousness admitting, is present. What Wait, I'm Destiny, admitting, can, you, can we have you sitting, sitting straight up? He's in his child. Do I really? Am I, is that like a rule? Well, it's just like it you know, wasn't on the release I signed. You have to sit up. That wasn't on any of the parts. Wait, look at the camera. Show it on me. Am I that out of frame? I'm it's fine. Just, you're, because you you're keep arguing that down the, if down Lila the is the in focus, a coma, but she has need, the ability you know. to potentially. Why, do you keep, why can't I answer a question? Why do you keep like talking? Can I answer the question? You did, and it, I you, didn't get the answer. You actually you, you, just proved you were wrong. making the point that you said it develops, so you proved my point wrong develops implies you didn't have it that's why you develop it you don't develop where did it come from did the magic conscious fairy deliver it in my vagina the reason the child got consciousness is because the child the human developed its consciousness naturally just like you will develop as you get older age you'll you'll have an aging process the toddler will develop age into an adolescent until you've developed the parts necessary 
to have a conscious experience, you're not having. And one. we're saying that's illogical and it's unjust. It's not illogical. And you're, it's perfectly the, logical. You're, well, you said just early, like if I give you the blueprints yeah. and the parts, and I show you something, it's not a blueprint, the parts though. and the blueprint don't go vroom vroom. But when but, I put the car together and I turn the key on, it does go vroom but, vroom. But I wouldn't say that just because but, I've got the parts and I've got the blueprint, but, I've got the vroom vroom. I would say after it's all put together, then it has but the vroom vroom. Destiny, yes. unlike a car and parts and someone putting in a key, uh-huh. an embryo that's developing is self-developing and self-actualizing with nourishment from within. and time. Okay, with nourishment so. and time. It's, you okay. could say, a self-building car that's building sure. as it goes. Sure, I'll say a self, if you want to use so, a self-building car, a self-building car with all the parts in the blueprint that can assemble so itself is still not a car self- until it's put hold together on, itself. Hold on, hold on. If we want to use your car analogy, okay, gotcha. Let's if use I that. go buy a baby Tesla because it's a tiny self-building baby Tesla and if yep. I leave it in a room with oxygen and put a couple gasoline things along the wall, baby Tesla Musk, yeah. will develop into this mega beautiful Tesla, okay? Mm-hmm. I would be very angry with anyone who came into my That's garage right. where baby Tesla was <laughs> and killed baby Tesla and said, well, it wasn't a Tesla yet because it wasn't big and, and all the way developed yet. I would say, it, it would have been if you didn't kill it, if you didn't destroy my it Tesla. It would have been. But oh, it was still on. a Tesla. Destiny wife it would have, it's donate. still a Tesla. Do you see that? <laughs> Have my abortion destiny. That was very rude. Why did that one get to play? But, but that, it, it was the. I what well, the TTS triggers one ninety nine and up. Okay, so they can just sell me for one hundred ninety nine dollars. <laughs> destiny, a <laughs> blueprint. I see how it is. Destiny, well, I, a sign. blueprint will never become a car. An embryo will become a newborn if you don't kill it or sure. it's not miscarried. I agree. Do you see the difference in why your analogy doesn't work? The ana- the point Do of you the see analogy. That? I know that a car and a child are not the same thing. Okay? Well, but your analogy also doesn't work. Your application of the, the point, two things to compare analogy, doesn't work. The you reason why that? you make analogies is to show some part of the argument that's similar. Not and I'm saying that, you your argument is wrong no. and faulty because your analogy doesn't work. Do you do you see that? Because a blueprint doesn't develop into a car without somebody else going in so there. So do you think that other the thing developing it itself is like the thing that makes it a human? The fact that it develops itself. That's that's one of the qualities of being a unique individual human is that you can grow. Yes, and you can develop. Okay, I disagree. I don't think that that makes you so a... So you're saying, you're saying that it's not an aspect of a, of a human specimen. It is an specimen. aspect of... It's but not core to being an organism that an organism grows. It's, it's core to a ton of different types of, of or cancer. Being... You just described, okay? Uh, Cancers okay. are things that grow on their well, own and develop and pass cell death and all of that, you, right? But are you equating a cancer to a unique uh, human organism? Cancers can be pretty unique. So um, are you are you but no, I'm not equating. You keep saying you keep doing this thing where when I make a comparison, I'm, like, I'm are you saying this thing is the same thing? No, that's the point of a comparison is to just show you the fault but of your argument. No, destiny. The point yeah. of a comparison is to expose where there is logic or a lack yes. of logic and, and I'm exposing using the lack of logic what I'm trying to, to get you that there's actually a what lack I'm of logic to get you on to your side understand is that a thing that is developing into another thing is not the but thing itself. But you're not understanding because it's not developing into another thing. It's developing itself it's into its full potential. Does a woman's but it's body, developing. let me ask you a question. It's a biology question. Do you believe a woman's body tells the child how to develop? Is that your? Is that where you think how babies develop? Do you think the woman's body tells the embryo how to develop? I mean, it depends on on how philosophical you want to get that. You could argue, yes, it provides half the instructions during insemination. That is how that works. Yes. But, so after. So technically, yeah. After the, the woman's code. body is contributing half the DNA. Now, if you want to cut it off at the conception mark, which obviously you yeah, do, I, but for a variety of reasons, teleologically, we could. After could human life technology. has been created, sure. after unique okay, human yeah. life oh, has well, been oh, created. Oh well, if we assume all the hard parts away, well then, yeah, at that point, it is an independent thing that I don't think. My guess is no. At that point, the mother probably doesn't dictate the growth. That's of the right, child that because much. the child, as Lila has pointed out, mm-hmm. is self-directed. The child tells itself the growth is self-directed while taking nutrients from the mom. Yeah, absolutely. The child, as is, any human being, the does child is nutrients. in its natural any, state. I don't think any human oh. being past gestation is co- connected to other human beings taking Every nutrients. Every human uh, being past you? gestation <laughs> needs nutrients. Not other, to live. And no other human and, being is connected um, unless you. Don't my why does my infants uh, needed my breasts to survive because I was producing milk. Why, are there, why does are there infants over there? Wait, wait, but, but Destiny, now you're no, using... No, so they're not connected. Now I don't know why but, you use that as a Why are, are we saying now. that connection, yeah. your connectedness, the, the degree to which you're dependent or connected to your parent uh-huh. determines your personhood? That seems to be where you're going with that argument, That is no? not at all where I've gone where with that. Where are you going with that? That's what you just said. Where well, you here's what I would say, okay? This is what I would guess, okay? Mm-hmm. What I would say is, broadly speaking... 20 to 24 weeks is about when you develop a conscious experience. So at about 20 weeks, I would probably cut it off because when consciousness forms, that's when the subjective experience, the person, the who, begins to- Why? Why does that matter? 
because that seems to be the thing that we care about when we're talking about you care about that's what you care about why does it matter everybody cares about it no that's why when we talk about terry shivo notice what you're defensive majority of americans actually oppose abortion wait hold on what two hundred dollars what the different oh Uh, notice how when you guys are talking about terry shivo Notice when you guys are talking about Terry Schiavo, the thing that you were trying to say was, hold on, Terry Schiavo wasn't totally brain dead. She had an intellectual disability. That shows that you yourself were trying to grab at that idea that she still had some conscious experience. Because at the end of the day, we all know that's the only thing that matters. No, Terry Schiavo was alive. There's no doubt about that. Her first, body was alive. Was alive. There's first-person first accounts person. of her okay, being alive. People question. in the room let's saying that, she's alive. Let's say alive. you take a person, and let's say that you chop off their arm and you replace it with a bionic arm. Is that still a person? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. let's say yes, you chop off a leg absolutely. and replace it with a leg. Is it still a person? Yes. What if you get rid of the heart and replace it with a bionic heart? Is that still a person? Yes. And then mm-hmm. at some point, what if you replace? Now, let's parts. say we've got a full human. What if you just replace the brain? Is that still the same person? There have, I mean, uh, yeah, if that's possible. I mean, if you if you get to that point. Okay. It's ever been done successfully. Okay. I mean, it would be an interesting question, but it, it still would be wrong to kill that person, Destiny. I are have you a saying, question. Are you saying if brain implant brain implants are possible, it's okay to kill someone who yes. successfully has a brain implant? Is what that what you're saying? saying? No. Okay, because I, then, 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 why, then do why do you ask that question? Why is it relevant to whether or not you can kill the embryo? I, my mind is so blown. I need a second to recover. Can I you okay, I, I've got a question. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know we were going to fight. I, didn't, I have never met anybody that bit the bullet on the brain transplant makes you the same person. Thing. Well, I, I, think it's, that, I think it's going to... I mean, people say if you have a heart, a heart transplant... Um, Nobody are you says same, that. Well, no. there, there, there's people say, I feel a little bit different. There's that something I, about the I, person I, I, the me. subject I yes. hasn't changed. You so, might have different feelings, so, but... but... But I don't think you are your brain destiny. So this is also a question really, of... Really, what you, am I? Uh, you, are a, you are a human being, which is made up of many parts. Okay, but you're, let's say that you could cut my body. D- d- right. D- d- cut my neck off, right? You cut... Right. D- dismember me of the neck. Let's say you can choose to keep one thing alive. Mm-hmm. My head and put it on another body, or the r- whole rest of my body mm-hmm. and put another head on. What would you choose to make it me? Well, I would. It's less about which one is you, and it's more about do I have the right to kill you? No, that's what I'm we're just, debating I, here I'm today. I'm just trying to get it. No, what, Destiny, which one no, 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 no. Me? you're being you're being pretty squirrely here. Do you want to get hypothetical again? No, no, this, no. This is Destiny, a story of Wolfenstein Destiny, too. Did you play is, that game? Destiny, they did a whole very important point. point. So it's real. Destiny, it can happen. No, no, no. This that was in World War II. Destiny, this is a very important point. I agree, but you totally don't answer it. No, I am answering it because whether or not you can, we had the technology to put a new brain in someone else's brain, right? Or we had the technology to cut off your head, put on somebody else, and then put a different head on that other body I mean the question of is that person still destiny or is that a new person those are questions to explore Mm -hmm. but in both cases it would be wrong to kill destiny with the new body that maybe is part destiny or destiny with the new brain that's maybe part destiny I don't know if that's true I don't think I believe that well, that's an interesting position no, that you're taking. No, I think you then. agree. No, if I cut a person, it's an and, let's say if I cut a person, then. I cut a person's head off. Okay, let's say that I stick the head on a bionic body, and then let's say that I take a body and I put a bionic head on. Well, I don't they, think people would look. And go, oh my God, there's two Stevens. They would go, Wow, Steven has a bionic body. They wouldn't go, Wow, there's Steven with a bionic head. They would say this is Stephen because we are our brains. Yeah, because we I, are I, the conscious experience we have. We I mean, the just like our how brains are very in the womb. But to clarify, has the our, our to brains are very, very important. And does have they are But very just to important. clarify, our brains are very important. But uh, your, but we your have lack seven of donated two hundred dollars. Triple seven, 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 seven. Okay. Thank you. Our brains our brains are very important, Claire. I agree. But there's also a mystery there, right? About about what makes a human as in terms of the soul and the body connection because you can have a lobotomy you can have a part of your brain removed there's the mm-hmm. story of a baby like Jackson who's born missing a large portion of their brain anencephaly. Um, because of hydrocephaly or anencephaly and in those cases you still have a person and it would still be wrong to kill the person I don't know. Do you didn't think, they kill Jackson? no, no Jackson's Jackson alive which one be, was the uh, oh to like four six years or old. whatever that, right. that wasn't even amazing. like no, wasn't, it wasn't amazing it was tragic I, um, I have a wait, question so, for, do you, do you for believe that baby yeah. Jackson should have been murdered? Baby, who's yes. baby Jackson? Well, not murdered. So Kelby, he was a child Jackson. born and he lived for about four years with part of his brain. And mm-hmm. he's, it's actually a common um, 
justification for late-term abortion when children are mm. diagnosed in utero with hydrocephaly or anencephaly when their brain hasn't fully developed or their brain is sure. I mean the it's, skull it's, hasn't fully it's, developed it's ableist but, to say that because you lack some brain function because your brain I'm not talking about is, lacking some brain let me finish function. it for a moment it's ableist to say that because you lack some brain function or you have dementia or your brain is less developed or you're missing mm. a part of your brain that you are less human and it's okay mm. for someone to kill you it goes you. back to my slippery slope argument early like oh, at the beginning of next to slavery no because you make a slippery slope you you've separated out mm -hmm. personhood from being human gotcha and so the, the issue movement. with some babies like Jackson is um, some children, uh, hydrocephalus was an issue with Jackson. I believe it was also a really famous case in the United Kingdom where parents were trying to fly around their hydrocephalus kid's brain, or they were trying to fly this kid's body around to get him like uh, treated by doctors Alfie, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but the issue is you can have some like very basic human function, I think. You can respond. I was talking to you, not them. I didn't want them to hear, okay? But I'll talk okay, to them. Okay, okay. Um, the problem is, like, the brain stem allows you to have some basic, really basic human function, like response to stimulus. Mm -hmm. I think you can respond to light. You might be able to respond to, like, hot things, I think. But there is no conscious experience there. It's. I don't even know if you would argue the... Baby Jackson um, was having conscious no, experiences. He, no, he wasn't. I've met no, him. No, that's great that I you mean, met you him. I mean, you can talk to his family. Yeah, There's I'm sure videos. you can. And I would probably well, feel sorry, the same way. Are you, like, like the expert in determining who's everyone's consciousness? Yes, and what I conscious am. experiences yeah. everyone has. I am. That, yes, I that am. is the problem with your whole argument. Is your your argument? I know is, the appeal to science. Excuse, excuse I know it me. hurts. No, no, you're putting a moral no. quality on consciousness. Oh, so now we're talking you're about morals to, and science. You're putting okay. a moral quality on it. That's not Steph, fair. Uh -huh. Stephen yes. slash Destiny True. are trying to say that you get to be this, this determinant of as to what types of experiences people have to have in consciousness in order to be persons and deserve not the right the right not to be killed. Because I brought up to you earlier mm -hmm. about the, the, the situation of children in the womb from a pro-choice and a pro-life biologist who agree that 12 and a half weeks a child can feel pain. A lot of folks would say that would mean there's consciousness there if the no, child has ability to feel Nobody pain. Nobody would say Or that. about the child, well, excuse me, these Biologists would. Then bring or, them that next time. That nobody would agree. Or the basic response the to external stimulus doesn't even require processing in the brain sometimes. Who are interacting with each other? Okay. A lot of people would say, "Well, that obviously proves consciousness." Bacteria you have this arbitrary definition of consciousness. consciousness. No, I don't. That is is really a, a slippery slope because you True. already admitted early in the conversation. Lila got you on. I this feel like point, some people in this conversation may sir, be lacking consciousness. I understand. No, I think some people <laughs> don't actually actively listen and just wait to talk. Gotcha. But I would say, Lila. I got you at one point on on a, speaking excuse time me, or? at one point Lila was asking you about the conscious experiences of a toddler based mm -hmm versus what was an, an adolescent, adolescent or a 20 mm -hmm. year old. Mm -hmm. And I would even They're ask you about the newborn. Different. And yeah. you then admitted that those conscious experiences are different and therefore there should be varying degrees of personhood, which I go back to the fundamental principle that's a bad if that's you're a, a human bad, you're a bad person argument. if you put if you put intellectual abilities or development as a quali qualifier for whether or not you are protected from lethal acts from homicide mm -hmm. um you're opening the door to tremendous injustice and that's what's happened with abortion yeah. tremendous i i have a question for uh lila husband, and Kristen like, where here are you it's been two hours so if uh if uh you guys had to steal man the other side and be charitable what is the best argument argument mm. that you come up against from the other side the most compelling argument the other side makes mm -hmm. and lila mm -hmm. let's have you go first yeah. go ahead so i would say it's not the consciousness argument because i do think that that is pretty um it's it's pretty arbitrary and it's also the moral intuition that's sort of guiding mm -hmm. destiny you could easily apply that before consciousness so i don't think consciousness and also you can be unconscious when you're sleeping or under anesthetic and a toddler has less consciousness than an adult etc so it doesn't really work i think the most effective pro-choice pro-abortion arguments are the appeals to extreme emotion in very tragic cases yeah. right. mm -hmm. um, oh my and God. those are those are i think what win the most most people mm -hmm. over because they say sure. oh my gosh i can't imagine forcing you know a, a, a rape survivor to give birth to the rapist okay. baby so you hear these really tragic cases that are horrific that are heartbreaking and they tug on a lot of people's heartstrings and um, you know the response the pro life response to that of course to hearing of oh, this horrifically tragic case of this very young girl who's the victim of incest or rape and she's mm -hmm. pregnant right. um, is to acknowledge that it's horrific because mm -hmm. it is and it should never have happened sure. and that that girl deserves justice and that that 
perpetrator needs to be held accountable. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have to ask the question, okay, what, what next, right? What is the next thing to do here? And the girl needs um, medical care, she needs counseling, she needs to be removed from that dangerous situation. But is the answer to commit an act of violence against mm -hmm. this new, now third party in, in this scenario, this pre-born life that is not the perpetrator of the crime. This and is the, my steel man position? <laughs> it has, well, I'm, well, I'm, I'm responding not, to Not necessarily I'm responding your to the, position, to the but just court, the, the, pro, um, choice the position. steel man position, uh, and, generally and, speaking. And, yeah. in, and in this country, you know, we give the death penalty, we, we actually are forbidden by federal law to give the death penalty to rapists in the United States. Uh, but in an abortion, um, you would be giving the death penalty to that preborn mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing that too, you know, it's done in the name of protecting that girl or that woman, but mm -hmm. that act of abortion isn't going to unrape her. It's not going right. to take away the trauma that she endured by the rape. It's only going to levy another unjust act against her, that child, that developing life that deserves life just like you and me. Mm -hmm. So well, it's a horrifically tragic case. Unfortunately, when yeah. it's represented without any counterpoint in media, I think it is effective in yeah. winning people to the pro choice side. Okay. We had second class citizenship for a long time in our country and throughout human history, we've tried second class citizenship. And it's you know saying that children who were conceived out of wedlock, for example, used to be considered bastards and not be allowed to own property or obtain certain you know levels of positions uh, in their in their um, professional lives. And we've started, we, we said, no, that's actually wrong. Like a child doesn't, is not at fault for what happens the night of his or her conception or the state of marriage of his or her parents, that the child is unique, whole living human life that deserves fundamentally um, the right to not be killed, that right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. So yeah, my, my answer would be the same as Lila's. Same Absolutely. as hers? Okay, got it. And Destiny, what, what would you say is the best argument that you no, come No, why would against? I? They didn't stand by my position at all. Why the f*** would I give them what? <laughs> any leeway whatsoever? That was insane. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I, don't necessarily steal man, but mm -hmm. what is the best argument you come up against from the pro-life side? As someone who's pro the emotional ones when they mm. bring out the tools and they're like this is what it's like to kill a baby in the womb or because just saying child obviously the issue is that all pro-lifers are is it, unhinged but, lunatics and the only way they can ever <laughs> win any argument is with charts and graphs of this is what a fetus oh, looks like and cutting and it apart and terminating showing it people and you're vacuuming happens. it out and the baby cries you can hear the baby go Woo! as it's getting sucked into the vacuum those are the best arguments they're so good and they're so hard to argue against because how can are you, you argue against I think, crying but, people I, I debated well, no, a no, pro-choice no, scholar one time and I actually asked we had a really great conversation she was actually being intellectually honest at the end of the conversation <laughs> and she and there's I, to be clear there's she still and man I, in my position she and was I the emotional. changed a lot of emails back and forth and we were going back of what we thought each other's best arguments were and I thought it was very interesting that you didn't really want to answer the question earlier you didn't answer uh, these questions at all about what if I'm wrong versus what are you I did wrong? answer that question and because I actually think your position is extreme it's a very reckless position yeah, so was yours to start especially saying, when you talk about women's no, rights no because <laughs> your recklessness results in tens of millions of children being put to death. That's that's the result of your recklessness. I mean, there's already like tens of millions of children dying every day to accidental miscarriages anyway, so it's not like that much worse. If I buy into your position, so right? So because children mm. die from car accidents, it's okay to run them over with a car? No, I'm saying that that's it wouldn't be less said. it wouldn't be as tragic if twenty thousand children died from car accidents if there were already like a million you're saying children. Because there's accidental dying. Deaths, no, what I'm saying is okay. that if you're trying to make some appeal to a broader tragedy, the no, tragedy loses that, a lot of no, gravity. So, no, so we're, we're saying the question that, I posed earlier. <laughs> what is the question I'm not answering? Because what <laughs> what what if you're wrong? I already answered if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Who are you Catholic or religious? That's actually wait, wait, wait. What is your denomination? What is your denomination? Why does that matter? Well, what if you're wrong? I am Catholic. I converted. Okay. To well, what if you're I, wrong? I've considered that a lot. Well, what if you're wrong? You're really wrong. <laughs> I've considered like, that. That's yeah. like the worst type of yeah, wrong. Because not only not someone, like forget anything happens on Earth, you're like eternally fucked, right? If you're wrong on that. It's so, for like, what for being Catholic? You'll, yeah, what? you'll go to some other hell or some other dimension of you know I don't know. Wouldn't that be like the worst thing in the world to be wrong about? Probably more important than the abortion thing. Mm. Is who the big man in the if sky someone, is. This guess, is why this is called this is why I referenced earlier. It's called Pascal's wager. This is why mm. it's stupid to think and like, well, what if I'm wrong about this particular thing? Because you have to assign probability. Because you don't. But you don't. But but what you're doing is you just like you're making these judgments of well, it's consciousness somewhere in 20, 24 weeks. If you're driving 
and it's a dark road at the end of the night and you're tired and you see a shadow in the middle of the road and you're like that could be a small child or it could just be a shadow coming off the tree yeah and in your world running over the shadow is the same thing as running over the child no in our world you you avoid running it over well because if you wait a minute won't the child run across the road and the shadow will become the child and you investigate to make sure you're not running a child in your world and the view you're taking is Mm -hmm. screw it I'm going to speed up and I'm going to go through the shadow and just hope to God it's a shadow and it's not a child. What that's if you're that's wrong? What, what if, wait, what I mean, if, it's what a if, reckless decision. Yeah, what if you're wrong? What if I am if someone, wrong? If yeah. someone what if can you're prove, wrong? Hey, Destiny, if, if you I, or someone can prove me wrong, I will happily Well, no, you will learn. Never. But no, like, what if, you, what, what if I you would. were wrong? No. If, if someone can prove to me that well, this I'm is curious, not a human life. Well, I'm curious, because you made me deal with the sure. gruesome details yeah, of the sure. tens of millions if, of babies if, being murdered. So what if you're wrong? If I am wrong, uh-huh. if I am wrong about abortion, and yeah. abortion mm-hmm. is nothing but removing a clump of cells yep. that has no meaning whatsoever. It's yep. just like removing your appendix, yep. which, by the way, majority of people would disagree yep. with because we so all have seen ultrasounds. Bloating. I love how qualified okay. you're going to Okay, well, no, I'm just yeah. showing science, right? So if I am wrong and it's nothing and every you know vaginal canal is suddenly magical and turns nothing into a baby. And the magic conscious too, yeah, that's right. Because yeah. you going. believe in a lot of magic yeah. to to justify I'm your position. Her her. Yeah, go ahead. No, I, if yeah. I am wrong, yeah. and this is really magical, yeah. what right. I have done in my life's work and advocating against abortion uh-huh. is saying that women who may not want to carry gestate another human being in their womb for nine months had to be inconvenienced. That's Inconvenience. what if I am wrong. Okay, that's absolutely. But but if you're wrong. You've just said 60 million 60 people plus are dead million in the United States people alone. were killed. Do you think if an 11 year old is raped, she should be forced to carry that child to term? Now I, we've moved on to the. From well, the let's question. address that because I actually yeah, was addressing that earlier. Yeah, yeah I want to um, hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about um, I think it's a horrific situation, and we both agree, which is why it's such a loaded question because it's just horrific that she's raped and that she's no 11 year old should be pregnant in the first place. Okay. So start with that. And sure. she needs support and care, and the rapist needs to be held accountable, and she needs to be taken mm-hmm. out of the vicinity of whoever's abusing her. Yep, true. We all know this. I don't know why we're talking about it, but go ahead. But, but the solution in that, what is the next step in that, right? What is the next step in that know, very tragic you. situation? Yes. It's not to take the life of this innocent, now conceived third party. It's okay. not to end that life. That's not going to unrape the 11 year old. Mm-hmm. It's not going to untraumatize the 11 year old. Sure. In fact, it might traumatize her even more. True. And it's for the birth she's still going to have to birth that life that life doesn't magically come out of her she's going to have to the if she had an abortion and usually Mm -hmm. by the time with a young rape survivor it's usually into the second well into the second trimester Mm -hmm. it's going to be a very traumatic act that now kills her baby and she's still having a birth process just of a Mm -hmm. dead child sure so then if the 11 year old gets raped is pregnant and is scared and then she goes to a doctor looking for an abortion should you charge her with murder do you believe wait no i don't think so because she's a victim if the so lila just said that in a lot of these cases where we see these very tragic circumstances where there's been rape or incest of young children who become pregnant, uh-huh. the pregnancy is not often discovered until well into the second trimester, well yeah. beyond 20 weeks. Mm-hmm. Beyond consciousness. Do you, yeah. Well beyond consciousness. Point. Yeah. So do you agree with us mm-hmm. that a child who becomes pregnant because of rape or incest with another child who's pregnant with a human being uh-huh. who as you have said has consciousness as like i don't know 24 weeks mm-hmm. do you think abortions justify in that case no but just because i hate the woman so let's no, say you no, have no, the 11 no. year old Answer and the 11 the year old goes to seriously. let's say that the 11 year old goes I, to planned parenthood to have an abortion my answer you think the 11 year old should be charged with murder no, if she tries to abort the child in, no because in that case She's an 11-year-old who's well, the yeah, victim. Well, yeah, but you, you can still charge adolescents with, you don't have to try them as an adult, you can try them as a child. Well, in any, in any, you, you, like need, you need years. to answer no, the question. The no Do you that. agree with us, though? I have, that's the easy question in the world. No, you shouldn't be allowed to have an abortion. You should wow. not what? No, of course not. If it's already a baby, why the fuck would you have an abortion? Just because somebody's younger is going to be dramatically inconvenienced for uh, seven, eight months or whatever. Well, we doesn't agree mean you on something, baby. it sounds that's, like. That's, that's great. Actually, yeah, but the difference is my good. position is coherent, and I'm no, able to buy bullets No, it's very on incoherent. I, I actually want to go back to your position, if that's okay, back to the coma and the consciousness, yeah. and, and explore more. You were saying- sure. oh, Wait, wait, I just want to clarify, yeah. because what I was trying to demonstrate is because you were saying that in your world, mm-hmm. if you're wrong, it's the biggest genocide in the history of the fucking universe. It is. And then you were saying, in my world where I'm wrong, 
some women have been minorly inconvenienced for nine months for nine months big whoop but that's not true in your world if you're wrong 11 year old girls are being convicted of murder no no or no, no, conspiracy to commit murder. destiny no uh, supports that yes what? if you're an 11, 11 year old girl old. So, so what, 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 I'm sorry, what you 11 convict? year old girl in america is being convicted of murder? hold on hold on hold on i said in your world in your world where it's illegal to have an abortion and you get punished for it that's what She's you a wanted traumatized that's, rape survivor who cares? wait hold on so a 11 year old can kill a sibling first of all i if your 11 year old is traumatized, you tell me what could your, I think. Could your 11 year old kill their younger brother? I mean, theoretically, since you like hypotheticals, if there's I a case. I do like hypotheticals okay. because, if there's a case by the way, it's not hypothetical that uh, children get raped let, by let adults me, in the United finish. States and then get pregnant. Yeah, well, it's ahead. not it's hypothetical not. that okay. late term abortions happen on rape survivors all the time because society says, oh, True. you should just And have I would an say that's wrong. And but notice how I can very easily. By the way, Destiny, the only two studies. Hold on. The only two studies. The only two studies that have been done on rape survivors and abortion show that over 80% of women choose life for their child and nine. 80% say that they are glad that they did and That's over right. 80% of women say that they regretted yeah, but care, the abortion you don't care about, but you don't for care. the ones that had abortion yeah, they regretted their abortion you don't care about those numbers so why bring them up what, what are you talking about? If those studies showed the exact you, no, opposite, I'm, I'm, that would have zero impact whatsoever on your, that's on your correct. position. That's correct. On my yeah, position, so but I, it so, should but like it You're should selectively impact. bringing up pieces Destiny. of information that might Destiny. support you, but like, who cares? You don't care about Destiny. that. I want you to go back to the claim Destiny. you made Hold about women going yeah. It should impact your position because you just said you cared so much about this rape survivor that they should have an abortion, and I was just giving you data to show you that rape survivors actually regret their abortions when they have abortions, and when they don't have abortions, they actually are happy that they didn't, and you didn't seem to care about that data. I don't care. That's not relevant. To me, I don't. But you were just arguing from no, no, a position no, no, of emotion. I'm saying that no, 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 Go out to get an abortion on a third trimester baby because you were raped as an eleven year old. Then you should be held responsible for a conspiracy to commit murder, or whatever the punishment See, would be. I think we even disagree there, and this is that's why. That's fine that you and do, sure but that I would compare. That. I would consistently uphold the law the same way I would if an eleven year old killed her younger sibling, or if the eleven year old killed somebody else. Now there might be other aggravating well, or mitigating aggravating circumstances factors that would change. Is key. Sure, aggravating that might be the case, but I'm saying yeah. in general that's where I would start. Much the yeah. same if anybody no, kills that's, anybody, that's you fair. probably start with, no. bro, that was a murder. Like, let's see what's going on. And we typically we typically start there. Yes, but I'm saying that. Hold on, but don't accuse me. In a criminal trial, we look at we look at mitigating. I understand. Look at don't intent. accuse me of, of, of being wishy washy. I'm crystal clear on all of can, this. Can we go okay? to the coma? Except back to for the when coma life begins. Because, because we've just like, kind of. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Do you believe in puberty? Can we, you're not do you know what, when does puberty when hum, begin? When does human life begin? When does puberty begin? <laughs> okay, guys. This is a very I want to know. I want to know. Because she says, apparently, I don't believe in consciousness because I can't give you the precise moment it forms. I'm curious if you believe in puberty. No, I, that's not that's, the that's reason why consciousness different. is a bad argument. It's not fundamentally guess. different. It's the a reason, thing that develops in a range of no, time. It's, no. a, it's a, yeah, it absolutely is. No, because there, you're, when you develop puberty and when you when you start puberty, doesn't change whether or not you have the fundamental. I never said it did. I'm just pointing to a developmental process that has some period of time. So hold on, Destiny, you were saying consciousness is everything to you. And if you have, you're temporarily unconscious, then that's, <laughs> well, because we're trying to understand I've your already position. answered this question a million times. Well, I'll answer it for the seventh well, time. I want to get into the moral intuition thing because okay, go wait, where it seemed to land for you, if I'm understanding you correctly, so please correct me if I'm wrong, okay? I really want to understand this. Yes. Where it seemed to land with you is I was trying to really pinpoint why consciousness equals humanity or personhood for you. Mm -hmm. um, especially when consciousness is unpredictable. People have differing degrees of it. Some people haven't developed it yet that's and right. they're, I believe, still people. But nevertheless, you say that at this 20 to 24 mark is consciousness and that's humanity or personhood for, for the for the human uh -huh. all right so what i want to understand is why tell me more why you mentioned moral intuition earlier explain that more sure when i think of all the ways that i could test for life or all the ways that i could destroy life everything to me seems to revolve around a person having a conscious but you spirit. know that it's a life before consciousness no you admitted that you earlier. admitted that earlier what do you think I mean when I say a life? You mean a biological human life, no? We all agreed on that. Do you think that's what I mean? I do. Okay. What did you mean? In that case, Clarify. I just realized my whole position is wrong because I said a fetus was a biological human life. You won. Excellent. You, you won on, on definitions. Know. We know like, we won. Okay. We didn't even need you to tell us. I mean, I, I think our argument is pretty airtight. And it's I, not I airtight. So that's why yourself. the reason explain why, I've already explained it a million times. All but right. the reason why you're trying to but play tricky words with the definitions is because it's tricky words. It is tricky it's, words. It's alive or it's Let dead. And it's alive the, in the womb. I should have a tally mark every time I repeat this. Are you conceding the I consider a person to have personhood at 20 to 24 weeks. That's when consciousness develops, right? So my policy cut would be at about 20 weeks okay why does that care. matter is what i'm asking the reason why and i said why it matters is because when i think of one how do we consider when the end of life is the end of life seems to be the cessation of a why do you have experience. to measure hold on let him finish, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish.
Be quiet. Sorry, before. excuse me. Sorry, There'll go ahead. more interruptions. Good that's point. My guess. Okay. No, that's so a good have point. I should have listened. Just, just let me finish. Let yeah. finish. So yeah. the, the cessation of a conscious mm -hmm. experience seems to be the point at which we say that person is dead. And then when I think of like all the ways that I could replace parts of the body, if I replace mm -hmm. the heart, that's probably still a person, the arms, mm -hmm. every single thing. But when you start replacing the brain, something mm -hmm. unique seems to be happening there. It mm -hmm. seems like we are our brains, the experiences, mm -hmm. the memories, yeah. the subjective conscious interpretation of the world. That seems to be the thing mm -hmm. that's really important to defend. Um, so when I, when I think of like, when I'm, when I'm instructive on like, how could I end a life? Mm -hmm. And what is the end of life? None of it revolves around reception to pain, mm -hmm. heartbeat, unique DNA. All of it seems to revolve around this conscious experience. And then when I think of like, let's, let's even be more abstract. If I try to think of like, what does it mean to create a life? We're talking about AI now, right? When we talk about AI and we talk about creating a life, we're not talking about creating bodies. We're not talking about creating hearts. We're not talking about even creating DNA. What we're really talking about is mm -hmm. creating or emulating a conscious experience in a machine. That seems to be mm -hmm. the thing that we're defending. Mm -hmm. When we think about vegans and why mm -hmm. vegans defend animals, they're not defending animal bodies, animal hearts, whatever. Mm -hmm. They're defending the animal's conscious, the sentient conscious mm -hmm. experience of the animal. That's why I say, if life all ends that way and can be ended that way, that's that's probably when life begins. Okay, I can't I, believe I answered I the whole think, thing. Thank you. I, thank to you. Both of you. Thank you. I love and you. I think, okay. I think perhaps I may be able to answer your question Go in terms it. of where the disagreement is here, because just like a person under anesthetic or a person asleep or a person in a temporary coma that is going to wake up, it would be wrong in all those cases to kill the person, right? I agree. Okay, excellent. So similarly. For a child a few weeks before potential consciousness, first can be measured 20 to 24 weeks, in a few weeks, it's a matter of time duration, that child will have consciousness. So in, in that way, they yeah. are very similar. They are not experiencing consciousness, but in a matter of time, they but will experience yeah. consciousness. So in both cases, it's wrong to kill. The child agree? has the capacity oh, say, to you, develop consciousness. Do well, you but agree but I that? want to understand, yeah, do you, do you agree? Do you agree? No. Okay, why? Why does the development process matter so much to you? The development process matters because there is a thing that I am valuing. The thing that I value mm -hmm. is the human conscious experience. No, it's not. It's, you develop, but, 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 hold but on, hold Destiny, on, hold I don't on. think that's correct. It's the, the, it's because the thing that I'm yeah. valuing is, or more precisely mm -hmm. as I said before, it's the capacity, the underlying structure to deploy that conscious Excuse, experience. Yes, and, and, now, mm -hmm. when you talk about a person undergoing anesthesia, okay, mm -hmm. They have the underlying mechanism. They have the capacity to develop a conscious experience. But why does the capacity ma matter to it you so much? Abates, it abates mm -hmm. for a while because they might be asleep or in a medically induced coma, whatever. Sure. And then it comes back. Mm -hmm. But there is a thing, even when it's temporarily ceasing, mm -hmm. there's a thing that we can speak of. There was a conscious experience. There was a person that knew what it was like to be a thing, to be a person. That subjective experience existed. It might be temporarily abated, but all the machinery is still there to deploy the exact same one, and then they'll come back and deploy this unconscious experience. If I were to create a human, okay, mm -hmm. Up until the moment that first conscious experience happens, there is no prior experience to speak of. That's why well, when you guys that's, keep, not, that's why when you guys on. keep saying that's things, actually, things that when you guys keep saying things, when you guys keep saying things like the fetus will develop the capacity, it will develop it but it hasn't developed it yet, so there is no such experience to speak of. For a sleeping person, when you go to sleep tonight, you have had a whole subjective experience right now, and when you wake up, that experience will resume, but a baby hasn't but even begun Destiny, to But Destiny, what if yet. I have amnesia and I don't remember anything? I'm like a brand new, first moment of consciousness human being. And during when, my when, when and during my show, coma, yeah. during my coma, I lose all memory. I lose all, lose all sense of my personhood. And when I emerge from my coma, I am like a brand new baby. Would it have been okay during that coma to kill me? Ooh, I would have to think a lot about that question. So mm -hmm. the issue. Have you thought about it before? The, no, I've thought about it a great deal, but the question is way more complicated than, than you seem to think it is. Okay, but that's not an easy question. Um, well, it's not an easy analog, question. I think, I think the direct, it's, the this, direct, this the direct, the direct, easy, the direct analog is mm -hmm. when somebody takes a teleporter in Star Trek. Are you killing one person, and creating a new person every single time? No, I don't agree that that's the direct an analogy. It is the direct I think analogy. It's, no, I because think it's because when you more start talking about because now you're getting away from just conscious experience, and now you want to dig into the parts of conscious experience and I'm not going to sit here and lie and tell you that I can tell you precisely because there are a lot of things that make up our conscious experience. One of those things is memory. If you erase a person's memory and if you mm -hmm. uh, give them a whole new personality traits and then you wake them up the next day, is that even the same yeah. person that well, we woke up before? Well, it's a great question. I don't know. That's a really Destiny, difficult question. Destiny, yeah. a mm -hmm. newborn or certainly a 26-week-old pre-born fetus mm -hmm. doesn't have memory, 
has a very nascent, if very nascent How personality. Did you say memory was a necessary okay, part. Okay, but to you're, have your you, you're trying to define consciousness. But what and is you, consciousness? We brought up memory then? a few times. Consciousness is the subjective experience that we have, knowing what it's like but, to but be. But their a thing. subjective yeah. experience, they're not even going to remember it. Doesn't. Just because you don't remember, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Okay, I'm so, still a human so being when I'm blackout drunk. So, so babies so in the womb have the so capacity to develop consciousness. Develop, but they haven't developed it yet. But why does that matter so much? But because it's not the thing itself. The person who is brain dead, who you're saying has no longer has the ability to have consciousness yeah so that's not the same you have somebody who is brain dead who you're saying does not have the ability to mm -hmm. have consciousness the conscious ever experience again. is over you yes. have your yep. magic button right and yep. you've already determined through your magic button that this person can never have consciousness again that is fundamentally different than the child in the womb who has the capacity still yet to develop consciousness. The child in the womb who has the capacity to still develop consciousness is completely different from the person who's lived their life, something tragic has happened to them, and now no longer ever has that capacity. Yeah, obviously That's they're different. That's fundamentally yes. different. What is it like to be a two-celled organism? What is it like to be a newborn? You don't remember it. I don't remember, but I can probably guess what it's like. But you can guess, then guess away what it's like to be a, a 10 week old embryo then. I, 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 you don't remember either. No, no, no. I can't so guess what it- So that doesn't mean you can kill the 10 week old embryo. I can't guess what it's like to not have a conscious experience. Guess what it's like to have a dreamless sleep. Well, yeah, I mean, but, but, so but fetuses, guess what it's like to be so dead. No, 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 no. So I, can, I can guess what it's like to be a baby. There's probably a yeah. lot of new sensations. You're probably having crazy temperature adjustments. Mm -hmm. You're probably seeing a whole bunch of stuff that are really squeaking away from it. I can guess what it's like. To, I don't know exactly. I can't guess what it's like to be a thing without a brain. Do I can't guess. I, have no, I don't know what it's like to be a rock. Do you think fetuses in the womb dream? Do you think fetuses in the womb dream? Um, I mean, once the necessary brain parts are there, I imagine at some point they're probably Scientists say it can be as early as 16 weeks that a child probably, has rapid I, eye movement REM sleep. I don't know if I believe that. But okay, I know science is hard to believe. So I mean, the reality, is, the reality is what we're keeping coming. Do you coming, think they what, actually what, dream, though, if they're having REM sleep? What do you think they're dreaming about? I have no Lila, idea. Lila, you wanted to say something. Lila, you go ahead what and then I have something What we coming back to is, it, there's all these qualifications on what consciousness even means. And when we take it, isolate them and we kind of make an argument or ask, ask Destiny a question about them, he says, well, that, that, that specific aspect of consciousness doesn't matter. Destiny has trouble defining consciousness. He does trouble defining exactly when it begins. And For, yet, to be this clear, is the qualifying line. I didn't have line. trouble defining to be, it. I literally but, told you exactly what it. But no, you, you said didn't. it involves you said it's these different things. It's a subjective it's experience. Subjective, it's hold on, wait. Does subjective experience not count as a definition? Okay, but my point subjective is, subjective changes but, with the person. Hold on, Destiny. My, yes. So does your and conscious and experience my, change with a person? But, Welcome but to my, humanity. Yeah. But but my, that's why your slippery slope fails. It's not a slippery slope to say that everybody has a different subjective experience. But not a slippery slope. The point here is your definition of what even consciousness is the aspects of consciousness when you isolate them and and describe if th is this a reason to mm -hmm. assign personhood or not it falls apart it because doesn't some fall apart at all because some people don't experience when you're a newborn you don't experience your consciousness you don't remember it later just because you don't, you remember, don't remember it doesn't mean you're not conscious and Again, when you're, if I and get when you're unconscious so you you're unconscious no but you're, but you're gonna human. wake up and when you're an embryo pre-consciousness, you're going to develop it if someone doesn't develop tell you. it. You're not waking up because there's no experience to speak of. But Nobody why does actually, you can, you can so actually say that? Because you have excuse me, the child is sleeping what? in the womb, so the child it's actually not sleeping. does sleeping. Sleeping implies up. you were awake at one point. That's no, what sleeping means. Actually, Things aren't sleeping the from the moment of their inception. They refer to it's, it's two different sleeps. Why does that happen in the womb? The why child actually is Why does the DNA matter so much? Just it all matters. That's what we're saying. Well, no, no. It doesn't all matter because you wouldn't say a sperm is a baby, right? No, because a sperm is a part, part, not a whole. Remember you know the, the parts in the whole? Okay, whole but, a, a, but, a, but a sperm at some point will, when no. combined with an egg, will develop into something else, right? And when it develops into a whole, yeah. a unique single cell embryo, that is a human life that what, is wait, worthy Wait, why of should the uniqueness of the embryo matter more than the uniqueness of the sperm or the egg? Because it's a whole. It's a whole individual human life. Hold on. What do you mean it's a whole? No, no, no. Because a unique genetic whole A sperm is a whole thing. An egg is a whole thing. They're both human things. Right. Part of the father. human organism. An egg it's is a part of the mother what do you mean? part. You, hold on, so sperm. So it's not. Hold on, so a, semen like and eggs are not part of a human cells, organism. My skin cells are part of me. My egg cells are part of me. They not. They're not. A, they're not in them of themselves an individual human life. They don't carry unique genetic code. Why and they're never going to be. And they're never going to develop into a unique. Don't carry human unique life. genetic code. And the, and number the one. cells in my body, my my egg cells, are, I'm not going to magically get pregnant without being having my egg cells inseminated. Obviously. Sure, but why should that be the defining point for how you consider because life? Is once biologists you have the all agree. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Biologists aren't answering this question. This question more science. I know science. Because, no, science. Because no, no. Why? Why do you develop? Why do you value the zygote and not the moment before conception? Because we all acknowledge that a human life begins at fertilization. That's something very special the, you, the, happens. If you call my definition fusion. circular by saying a human life begins when we've agreed a human life begins, I'm asking you why you consider because that to be the human life. Because at the moment of conception, I'll repeat this mm -hmm. slower this time. 
at the moment of conception. Repeating a slower doesn't make any less dumb. Excuse me. Two parts, part from the mother, Uh the egg, the part from the father, sperm, unite and create a unique whole with genetic code, unique genetic code. Why do you keep saying unique? Because it's unrepeatable. That's not true. It's a unique genetic if code. Two twins meet with two other never, twins. They can nope, both have nope, children nope, that are nope. theoretically. Twinning happens later, by the way. What? Twinning happens later, by the way. Not necessarily. Sometimes so two sperms can get So unique genetic code sometimes. comes into an existence mm-hmm. that's never existed before. Why do you value the unique genetic code? Because that is when you became you. All the components okay. about you, Stephen, is killing a two-cell organism. Is that just as immoral as killing a baby? What do you mean by an, what kind of organism? If it's a human a organism, cell, yeah. Yes. So it's killing a fetus when it's two cells. Does that have the moral equivalence it's, to killing yes. a baby? Yeah, it's a human That's life. Right. Okay, if you're in just a, like killing a baby has the moral equivalence, even though you have less consciousness understand. Understand. than okay. killing an adult. Let's say that you're let's say that consciousness yep. and development, your age, your maturity as a human life doesn't define your worth or your personhood. Gotcha. So let, and and back to the yeah. zygote, a zygote has the capacity for consciousness. No, it doesn't. It has all it the machinery. To develop it. it has all the machinery needed for consciousness. If no, it you doesn't give it, have the machinery. It has you, the blueprint. That's all it you, has. If you give it time, just like the if coma you give patient, it time, and if you give it nutrients, just like the coma patient, but it doesn't if have the machinery. Give it time to wait wake up from the coma will regain its consciousness. It's not regaining it. It, never it will has. gain its consciousness. It never but had it. It will it's gain its consciousness. Do you acknowledge there is no. a difference between the person <laughs> who had the ability to have consciousness, uh-huh. who now in your magic button no longer has the ability to have consciousness, versus a, hu- a child, a human, uh-huh. yeah. a fetus, whatever name you want to give it that doesn't trigger important, you, go ahead. in the womb, yeah. that has the ability to have consciousness. Do you, do you understand the difference between someone who no longer has the capacity to form consciousness versus someone who has the capacity to form consciousness but just needs a little bit more time? Do you see how there's a difference there? Is there a difference between a dead person and a fetus? Man, I don't know. That's a real, it's a real I mean, mind bender. Let me think. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I, I'd have to think about that one. Maybe we can do okay, a second. Okay, think about it. Let me. Back. Let me. Yeah. Uh, I got okay. a couple things here. Okay. Um, this is for the entire panel. So, <laughs> um, and I know this is kind of a unique question to ask. Um, do you think this could potentially be a good middle ground, a good compromise? And I know there's some potential existential. Uh, risks involved with the development of something like this. What do you all think about an artificial womb? Mm. Now, obviously, mm. there's some considerations of, well, what, what are the impacts on humanity? Because yeah. we could use these as right. you know, breeding grounds. And, um, but, but let's say just within the confines of the mm. abortion discussion, mm. do you think an artificial mm. womb could be a compromise between both sides? Or would you be in, Ignoring some of the potential uh, downfalls of an artificial womb, would you be in mm-hmm. favor of? Yeah, I think it's a technology that's it's a very fascinating question, um, and I think that uh, especially if there's like a problem with the mm-hmm. with that the woman is experiencing and the baby is experiencing, and somehow it could be like a medical device to support mm-hmm. them. You know, it sounds like mm-hmm. a pot- could be potentially mm-hmm. used for good, mm-hmm. but I think the potential of the use for bad and the fact that it's breaking the natural bond that that's that right. baby yeah. deserves to have with his or her mother. Um, this is why surrogacy is so problematic because you're severing that child often from the genetic mother and from the gestational mother, and then usually the social mother is sometimes mm-hmm. even a third different mother. And so the child has a right, I think, to to their mother. A child has a right to a mother, and, and so that's to be why gestated we would say naturally in in their mother. That's why we would say that that would be the number one goal is that that child has a relationship and is gestated within his or her mother. However, I I ask this question a lot. I'm really glad you brought this up because I ask this question a lot on campuses because often we hear the argument. We didn't get to it today because Stephen doesn't care about the bodily autonomy arguments, but we often hear the bodily autonomy arguments of it's my body. I have the choice to decide whatever happens to my body, whether or not I want to give permission to this another human being to grow inside of me that will change my body. Uh, And someone who's been pregnant for times I can testify to that so I actually do think that the artificial womb technology would actually it will when it it is developed will decimate the bodily autonomy argument that you will not actually be able to use that argument to justify legal abortion any longer when a woman simply can choose to take the child out from her womb and implant it into an artificial womb to grow that way um, she doesn't have to pay someone to end the life of her child now do I think that's the best situation 
No, because a child deserves to have a relationship with his or her mother. And I think there'll be a lot of bad things that come out of children who are born in artificial wombs who don't know who their mothers are. Mm. Um, um, and so there, there's a lot of other situations and societal questions we'll have about foster care and adoption and things like that. Um, but I do think that will actually decimate this whole argument of the, quote, need for legal abortion in our country. Sure. And I, I guess one question, and again, ig ignoring some of the, I, I suppose, societal impact of if we were to introduce a artificial mm -hmm. womb because there's definitely considerations of if people started farming yes, right. kid children Gattaca. for example but mm -hmm. within the confines of the abortion argument um, do you think that because you, a woman could end the pregnancy but the, the life could persist mm -hmm. so do you think that 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 would be if an artificial womb came came along do you think that would in effect, put an end to the whole abortion debate. I would think it, it would, but I asked Stephen this earlier about artificial womb, and it, he didn't. I mean, Stephen, you're representing the pro-abortion side here. Um, would you think that those who advocate for legal abortion would see? It? I still think they will argue no. And from the conversations I've had on mm -hmm. campuses, which are mm. in the thousands now, mm -hmm. I've yet to have someone who agrees with me that the development of it, who's pro-choice, that the development of an artificial womb uh, would eliminate the need for abortion, as in their words, mm -hmm. because they would still say that while well, that's still inconvenient to a mother to have to, I don't know, maybe the artificial womb only works at. 13 weeks, so she would still mm -hmm. have to undergo 12 weeks of possible morning sickness. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they would say it doesn't matter if there's artificial wombs, she still has agency over her body, therefore she can just dis destroy, destroy it. There's also a, a kind of a weird ownership, genetic ownership yeah. argument that emerges, even though this is not, I think, a fully conscious thing by a lot of pro-choice advocates, but there's this argument of, oh, I don't want my kid out there in the world, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, I want basically control over my kid, so I think in that case, the it's sort of a property argument. They make this child as my property, and even mm -hmm. if it can be survive in an artificial room, it would yeah. be it would yeah. it's my right I mean, to. That's end what the life happens with child. people with IVF with couples where they split up and they've already created human beings mm -hmm. who are frozen in IVF clinics. There was a very you know famous case of a Hollywood actress who this was a, this was the situation, uh, and Nick Loeb, the the former partner, sued because he didn't want. Mm -hmm. you know the mother to destroy these children that they had frozen uh, and the court ruled that the embryos were her property these mm -hmm. human beings were her property to do with what you know as she saw fit and that's you know a broader question of why are we treating human beings as if they're a property to say well I don't want to get pregnant this isn't the best time for me I wasn't intending to get pregnant this baby is inconvenient to me therefore I have the right to kill it um, we we act as in our country as as if human beings are these children are property yet then we also claim that we have a right to be a parent and that right allows us to own other human beings which is wrong mm. wait how old are those uh, embryos when they're frozen a few weeks yeah a few weeks they're not very you're in a burning hospital Oh, yes. Oh, Here we yes. Go. Please give me the... Yeah, and there are two <laughs> children crying on the bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, please carry me out. Mm -hmm. But next to them, there's sure. a tray of 10 yep. frozen embryos. Mm -hmm. You're grabbing the tray of frozen well, embryos. You know, answer this question. Are yeah. those my frozen embryos? Um, they're random people's children. Um, so, I think that actually, embryos. I actually think that makes a difference because okay. We well, I just told you it doesn't matter. So no, no, no. Actually, I'm saying it, it, I need to know more need information. Is I gave you all no, the information. It's, 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 a, it's two no, random babies. Yeah. They're very Asian, and then it's ten frozen embryos. They're all also very so Asian. So none of them, none of the babies, neither the born none toddlers yep. or the frozen embryos yep. are mine in this yep. situation. Because I think first you have to ask that question. Because I some already people, answered it. Well, no, I would say some, some people, people when you would why ask are you office getting so hard. Geez, just answer the hypothetical. Would you, I, I'm, I'm well, you're like I'm arguing, answering. like you're like boxing well, demons. It's a loaded question, question Stephen. I'm trying to answer. You're, it's the same I'm, as I'm saying, answer. would you Are press you? the red button yeah. and kill 10,000 people yeah. over here, or yeah. would you press the red button and, and kill one. your entire family over yeah. here? And you the had question to pick one. But I'm not asking that question. But it's the same question, Destiny. But it's not the one I'm asking. You have no relation to any of the children. Yeah. I don't know. The question would be, I don't know. I don't know. what. don't know? I don't know what the situation is. I don't know 
know it, can I reach those children? Can I reach those? Okay, let me I think the, the majority. Okay, listen to me. Can, can you let me answer the question? No, you're not. The majority answering. of people would say they would I'm reach. Not what the majority, the majority of people would say they're going to reach for the toddlers. I'm not asking. But that doesn't saying that you reach for the toddlers. Can I answer the question? You're not answering the question. I absolutely. I'll answer. Can I answer my question? Oh yeah, go ahead. So the majority of people would say that they would reach for the human toddlers versus the human embryos because they recognize themselves in those toddlers. Those toddlers can also feel pain. Those toddlers are crying out to them versus the embryos who are absolutely silent. But that analogy doesn't change the fact that a tragedy is unfolding and human life will be ended. It's the same, Tessany, just to remove familiarity because I mentioned to your family. To be clear, family. you did not answer Hold the question. Just, to, just to be clear, yep. just, to remove familiarity because I know in one hand it's your family and it's 10,000 individuals on the other that you don't know. But let's make it a little different. Let's say it's two toddlers mm -hmm. and five elderly people in their nursing home. There's uh -huh. two toddlers crying in the lobby. There's five elderly people in their beds. Uh -huh. Who do you save? Grabbing you, the toddlers if, every yeah, time. If you grab the toddlers, I hate though, old people. Right, but but if you grab the toddlers, that doesn't mean you think it's good that the old people died. It I doesn't do. Mean that you I was glad when COVID come happened. Come on, come on, Destiny. It doesn't mean that you think old people don't have value. It doesn't mean that old people aren't persons. Uh -huh. It just means that you're going to go towards the ones that you feel most emotionally in that moment connected and you feel you can uh -huh. save. Gotcha. Similarly with the burning building, it doesn't mean that those embryos, oh, gotcha, sure. they're not persons. Gotcha, they're not humans. It's just that no just like with the elderly people i'm yep. gonna run and try to save those toddlers okay. so, so let me it's i'm a, gonna it's try the same this again answer. okay and a, af just after yeah. you respond i do have to get through a couple chats sure. but go ahead Destiny. okay i would just i would love to hear an answer this, okay <laughs> two babies are right here okay crying help me okay they're both one year old okay mm -hmm. they can't run out of the building or anything okay and then here is a tray there's a tray of 10 mm -hmm perfectly in vitro fertilized, perfectly preserved specimens. If you just pop them into a fake uterus or a real one, they'll grow into people, right? What's the morally correct choice? The two crying babies or the 10 perfectly preserved embryos? There isn't a morally correct choice in the sense that, in the sense that you are arguing that then if we choose the children, the toddlers, mm -hmm. that somehow means the embryos don't have value. Well, of course we're going to choose the toddlers. They're just like I would choose the toddlers over the five elderly people in their beds. That doesn't mean the embryos or the elderly people aren't humans. Okay, let's you say you had a choice that? between two. Do you understand that though? Do you understand? Oh, our I don't know. Position? I'm trying to understand. I'm asking another question. Let's see if it's. But difference do you between, understand that? I don't. I don't understand anything. That's why I'm asking a question. What don't you understand? I don't. I don't under, that's why I'm asking a question. What don't okay? you understand? I don't. I don't. I don't understand anything. That's why I'm what asking a question. But don't you understand, Destiny? I'm going to ask, and you can tell me. Destiny, you you're. This is not your thing. You have to say what you don't understand. I'm asking the, a question to elucidate. You no, can you're not I don't understand the difference between the toddlers and the old people. That's what I'm asking. So okay, let's say you don't understand say, the difference between what? Between like why the toddlers and the old people matter. But that's okay. what I'm gonna ask another question. Can again. I so answer say, that no, question? No, 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 because I can ask another question. It'll perfectly elucidate. But, uh, but hold on, let's slow this process down because we go super fast here, which is fun. We're but, not going fast. It's a bunch of rambling. We're um, not engaging with Well, no, we just keep going. No, in circles we're over and over. We're going again in circles a bit. But but the reason what I said I would like a response to it, Destiny, is because in my in my statement, what I was explaining was that the elderly people in the nursing home or the elderly people in the building are humans, are persons, and me choosing to save the toddlers doesn't mean that those elderly people aren't humans, aren't persons, or don't deserve the right to life. Mm -hmm. Similarly, me choosing to save the toddlers doesn't mm -hmm. mean that me not choosing to save the embryos means that they are not persons, not humans, and don't have the right to life. Does that make sense to you? Or, no, or what doesn't make sense? another question. Can, can you explain what, what, does, what doesn't make I, sense about that? I don't, the age thing. Okay. Oh, so, why? So, why? Wait, wait, so are you saying that the elderly people in the burning building in your scenario are more worthy of life than the toddlers because they've had more consciousness and lived experiences? Well, let him say it. Let, let's let's put words in his mouth. What do you think? Well, oh, my God. You want to know what I want to? I want to know what you think. Oh my Seriously. God. Okay, yeah, let me tell you. Tell me. The guess that most people probably do, me included, yeah. you'd probably be weighing like roughly amount of life left about, right? Like if we go on the hypermost extreme example, you can choose mm -hmm. either a one day old baby or somebody one day away from death. You'd probably save the one day old baby because they've got so much more life to live. But that doesn't negate if you had to that choose, person's alive. Hold on, one more. Let's, you, let's right? fix, hold on, hold on. I let, thought that meant you could murder the old person. Hold on, let Thank me you. fix that. So let's yeah. just to fix, to solve that problem for you. Let's say the two toddlers, you knew because you are a psychic or something, you know, you had this you, you fortune teller, mm -hmm. you knew that they would both die in five days. Yeah. Would you still save them, or would you try to go in and save the five elderly people in their beds? Five elderly people. Okay. 
Well, then there you go. That, that's, that you chose to make the decision. I probably well, still, even though if I knew in the back of my mind they're going to die in a car accident later and they're crying right there, I'd probably still grab them emotionally. And, and you drag more, them out. We're not talking emotionally. Mo- you think morally it's more correct to save the children that are going to die I in five in days case, than the older people I, you could wheel I don't out? think you can I actually think, morally say whether or not children are going to die yeah. in five days. Well, so you're but like, well, it might be a lot of hypothetical. Yeah. But I, I think the bottom line is... Jesus Christ. Whoa, loud noise. I think no, the, he's got an, he's, the thing is he's got an air mattress upstairs and I think his mom just jumped on the bed. I think what I think f- what I'm trying to say here is that in that Wait, scenario, can I just ask my one question? <laughs> well, we're, we're getting to the bottom. What's we're your, getting we're not getting to, time. Time. Ask we are getting to the bottom. I'm so Destiny. sick of the here, same wait, question. Let's, Destiny let's, just uh, likes to ask the questions to try to... Here, let's well, no, do, uh, no, because uh, he doesn't actively uh, answer. Well, well, let's let him say. Let's let him say. Order, order in the podcast studio. Let me do a couple chats here and then we can, if you guys want to pick up again, we can. So we have Doc Vanessa Nablus here, Mr. Density. Terry S. was not in persistent right. vegetative state. She was severely brain damaged. She was still able to interact with others. The videos are still yep. available for you to view. By definition, Thank you. that interaction excludes PVS. So what is, what is PVS? Persistent vegetative state. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah. they're saying That's why I you. tried to prove to, yep. to Destiny, but he said mm-hmm. it didn't matter what the family and the video said. Yep. That's true. Just, and I'll explain why that's wrong scientifically. They don't like the medical explanation, but I'll give the medical explanation. Give us the a quick, ex- quick, though, quick. Yeah, very yeah. quick is people with a brain stem can still respond to incredibly basic visual stimuli, and they can do so in ways. That's why when you watch the video of like Jackson the Baby, he does it. I think you're talking uh, about Alfie, uh, not Jackson. That's it, or Alfie, or whoever, or Terry Schiavo. It's the same thing. So the videos you see are that. Now, obviously, the families are like, oh my God, she's alive, she's communicating with everything. But like, the doctors all say, this chick is super dead. Um, the brain analysis afterwards showed this brain was super dead. She was never waking up. There was never any improvement. It wasn't just severe mental disability. Half her fucking brain was gone, and she wasn't even probably having an unconscious experience. What you're seeing is the very rudimentary uh, ex- expressions of uh, things your body can do to very basic stimuli that the brain. But what does that have to do with abortion? This is like like we've talked about I was death just answering the question about Terry and Shibo. coma so much today. It's but what I've already explained to you when you're talking about someone in persistent vegetative state or somebody who's who is severely brain damaged and we're not sure has the capacity to have consciousness. What does that say? Well, how does that change the fundamental question, which is, does the human in the womb have value who definitely has the ability to have consciousness? It, who's n- unlike the person who is in a Your response, and then we have to continue. If it doesn't have the parts yet, it doesn't have the ability to it have It does have the parts. It has the, the ability parts, to develop the parts. The parts, parts. are already there. It, No, the part, I know, what, two cell organism, where are the parts? Where are they in the two cell organism? The code is That's already a blueprint. In place. A blueprint is not the thing itself. But it's in a, two cells, where are the parts? But Where is a brain in two cells? So you're back to the fairy. You're back to the no, no. itself. It's a blueprint. If you put a blueprint alone in a room, okay, and you put the wood, line up all the wood around the room, yeah. okay, yeah. the blueprint doesn't magically Correct. direct so the pieces of wood to build the home. And then you give it other things. That's what the umbilical no, cord of the mother's No, but that's yes. nutrients. That's different because it's the embryo is self nutrition. It's a self assembling machine, but, but it still but, needs. But the, the self assembling, the, the blueprint, g- genes, hold on. I'm sorry. Is there a brain? Is there a brain? Is there a brain in your DNA? Is, is there, there a, a heartbeat in a DNA? Your no, DNA it can develop into it if it's the is a blueprint. It's yes, part thank of the you. For you to develop a brain yes. and a heartbeat, develop because it's not there yet. True, I agree. So let's continue but, but, on with some okay, of the chats you're, here. You're like um, the we have Davon Jackson here. Thank you for the Davon uh, donation. Davon Jackson, yes. He's simply saying the potential for consciousness is not mm. the same thing as having consciousness. Non-existence is probably better than being born to parents who don't want you. Mm. I'm anti-abortion as contraception, though. I don't. Okay, Davon Jackson, good to see you in the chat, man. Thank you, Mon. Thank you very much. We have Carmen here with the $69 soup chat. Thank you very much. Oh, the sex yeah. number. Yeah, that one. <laughs> All right, Destiny, your arguments are as, as, as baseless, baseless as they are stupid. Human life is the most precious gift God can give a man and a woman. In my opinion, if you are in favor of abortion, what did that say? I'll read the rest. Yeah. Then I'll bet you are in favor of legalized murder hashtag Abortion is murder. Hashtag Whoa. abortion is murder. Absolutely. It's a hashtag. Based. Hashtag, by the way. Okay, thank you, Carmen, for that uh, super, or donation. Appreciate it. We have Carmen here again. Destiny, your arguments are as baseless as they are stupid. Human life is the most precious gift God You're can give. You're literally reading the same. Give him, <laughs> he oh, it's the same second. one? Oh, no, he donated. Oh, they, said, they sent it one. twice. They oh. sent it twice. Okay, well, Carmen, thank you very much. Thank uh, you, Carmen. Appreciate it. <laughs> Double time on that one. Uh, we have Sweet Tooth here. Sweet Tooth. 
Thank you for the uh, $69 donation. Why is it when Destiny would use science, you females attack him for it, but you can use it later in the convo, and why you get mad when Destiny when he interrupt, but you have been doing it the whole time since it started? You girls are just too... Missing, so missing an O there are just too emotional. Mm -hmm. um, Sweet Tooth, thank you for the. Do you guys, anyone have a response? Thanks for response the misogyny, to, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I just wish Destiny had another person here because I do agree it's a bit imbalanced yeah. to have two pro. No, nope, this was better. If there was a I actually person, feel bad for more people listening show. because I feel like the people listening probably wanted to have more of a discussion about other arguments you hear about abortion, mm. like bodily mm -hmm. autonomy. No, those like, are dog shit arguments. No, Why would I have like those the, arguments? Oh, excuse me, I'm still talking. Like the person who just brought up the question about, you know, a person being born having a bad life. I feel like people who probably tuned into this debate probably wanted to talk about other circumstances beyond uh, persistent vegetative state and people in a coma. Because gotcha. we just literally had the same argument. If you want to like see really good arguments in favor of pro-life, go watch my YouTube videos from like six or seven <laughs> years ago when I was pro-life because my arguments for pro-life were really good. Well, you should watch mine. Way mine better than awesome. What changed for we, you, Destiny? Yeah, oh, actually, what, we never got to that. Yeah, Why did you become pro-abortion? Because um, I did a greater analysis of when death happens, and then I realized that saying that life begins at the moment of conception doesn't make sense unless you say death begins the moment all of your body disappears. It doesn't make sense. Why do the markers for life and death have to be the same thing? Um, the well, because generally life. when we talk about why a thing exists, if we're trying to figure out like when a thing starts, sometimes we look at when a but thing we know, ends. We, but we agreed earlier when human life begins. You just mm -hmm. assigned person to it at consciousness. Right. Yeah. So we do just know Just like we know begins. that like human life continues past death, but we wouldn't really assign that any type of moral way. Like things still happen. Mm -hmm. There's some metabolizing and shit that happens to the body after you die. But like the we body's don't not, if, the, if there's actual true death, the body's not acting in a coordinated fashion anymore. Unlike yeah, maybe not happens, in a coordinated fashion, but there's still stuff going on. But we would say that like it's dead because the brain has ceased to function. But you usually give a little window of time like there was a woman as an example who you probably yeah, heard but you're not giving that window her, well, just to clarify she was in her coffin and she actually was tapping on the coffin because they declared death too soon sure for her, we're not right? giving so a window of time because we want to extend it past when death has happened but in destiny, that case, we missed when death destiny happened. there's a yeah. window of time before consciousness where the the the, mm -hmm. the child the life the human is alive and will develop consciousness very soon but if it doesn't have the consciousness i don't care but when you're when you're dead and you're really dead you're not going to become alive again yeah but if you're dead and you're really dead then you're dead <laughs> then we yeah, say you're dead so, why, so but so back to my original question why is having the definition of death that's medical so important to you for a marker for personhood in the womb even though before consciousness the human is still alive because there's a lot at stake in the conversation so okay. yeah, I think it does That's well to analyze right. both sides of like what exactly is happening what do you so mean figure by that? It, a lot at stake as in you're, you've got on one end you're balancing potential lives that are being lost and on the other end you are threatening the autonomy of a woman to control her body okay so there is so okay so you you do care about bodily autonomy just right. up until you your marker of consciousness so this is about autonomy in the end if, if we're just talking about a surgery yeah it is just about autonomy yes okay Okay, that's a good good thing. But to your acknowledge. bodily autonomy doesn't give so you the right to kill somebody. But if you're not killing a person, then but absolutely you were just your bodily. saying the reason that this consciousness are this consciousness definition matters so much to you is because of bodily autonomy and because of no. I'm goods. saying the reason why the whole abortion argument and figuring out when conscious starts or stops, if we care about that, the reason yeah. why it's important is because in the realm of abortion, that's what's at stake. You're mm -hmm. weighing um, the potential loss of a woman's autonomy for no reason if you're wrong versus the weight of murdering children if you're wrong that's why it's important and i would so, say so if you're even weighing those two things murdering 60 million children would probably be higher up on the moral wrong it depends on the probability so of you being clarify, right or wrong on any to, given argument so to clarify argument. if i am an embryo who's going to develop this consciousness in just a couple you weeks, are not an just embryo. a couple yeah, weeks, you are never hypothetical you love these okay stay with me okay, here okay i'm here in this hypothetical yeah. there is an embryo who's going to develop consciousness in just a couple days yeah, that's not even you would make yeah. uh -huh. you, it's not a hypothetical because it happens there you go. Yeah. it happens no. True. Yeah. so in that case though uh -huh. you would say the bodily autonomy of the woman is more important those two days prior to consciousness Mm -hmm. Then that child's, that humans, yep. excuse me, you don't like the word child, that humans' Thank right you. to live. True, yes. Why? Because it doesn't have the conscious experience yet. Why There's does that matter? That because that's the thing I think that we protect when we're talking about endowing what people. If even though that consideration. consciousness is, is, I guess we're going to go back in the circle. You're let's, go about, let's, let's, uh, let's go back and to fundamentally, your the fundamental thing, The most fundamental thing is you're talking about protecting a thing that I don't believe exists yet. What so about you're saying like we have to protect the person with this? What? what about, what if, because medical, it didn't exist, you have to kill medical it, technology so. keeps improving, right? So we all acknowledge that it used to be 28 weeks. Oh my God, you're making another viability argument? I don't care. No, but I'm just asking you this question. So at 19 weeks and if you could, if you could me, viably can I ask take, my no, can I'm not, I, ask I don't my argue question? for viability. No. Why am I at 19 answering weeks, viability? If we have, excuse me, if we have medical technology that allows a child who's 19 weeks 
uh-huh. and six days to be born and survive. Yep. Then you should be able to take it out at 19 weeks, six days, and use it as target practice. So that child who's born in the hospital, yep. who NICU is helping Goes right to the range, life, can be totally thrown yards. away in the garbage. Yep, magnifying that, scope I mean, and everything. That is the yep. problem with the consciousness argument. That's not a problem not at all. It's wholly consistent. No, Just like how it is immoral. If a person, no, if a person no, is going to die, if a person, if a person is going to die, if a person is going to die, if a person is going to die in one day, is it ethical to kill them? No, it's not. Of course I actually, not. Because they're conscious, right? Your argument is that if I'm wait, 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 unconscious, wait, 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 after he dies. Uh, no, uh, yes, of course, because death is the is the important okay, marker. Then you yes. asking me, is there a difference between killing a child five minutes before it has conscious versus five minutes after? I'm going to give you the same answer. But consciousness, you see, you see no, because Destiny, you still exactly didn't listen to what I already but said. Like but you a don't half have an kill, hour ago. Hold on, you don't have to kill a dead person, Destiny, as we both know. You do have to the kill a pre-conscious. You don't. Baby. Obviously, we're not killing the thing I care about. That's the whole point. Of in the an conversation. abortion, you, you kill are a pre-conscious baby. child in the womb is alive. So if you're killing a child in the womb five minutes before the child in the womb, the question we're talking about isn't whether. There's a living thing. It's whether that thing is a person. Why do we keep going back to this? So it is because living. because when you of said of course it's because living. you, you asked dead well, earlier, you weren't you, you were asked kind of Lila about, about someone who is dead. A dead thing that becomes alive with the magical fairy someone one? who is dead yeah. is not alive. Do you True. agree? I with that totally fact? agree with that. Yes. So stabbing a person who is dead, dead yeah. is not the same as stabbing a 19 week six day old mm-hmm. fetus in the womb uh-huh. hours away from turning 20 weeks when uh-huh. you're like little magic conscious fairy yep. invades my uterus and suddenly implants a conscious the in that similarities baby. is that stabbing a dead person isn't harming anyone because there is no one of which to speak stabbing a fetus that hasn't developed a conscious experience yet and is not harming anybody Destiny, because there is, your logic, because there is no one of there to by speak. Your logic, there is nobody to speak up. There is not a person to By your speak logic, up. stabbing an unconscious person has no moral problem because they are unconscious Only and there's not a person of which to speak. We've, we've the child we've is going to become conscious, Destiny. Back. But they were never conscious. I just why like does to that point out that Destiny you can't become, explain why that matters. If you become unconscious, why does preconsciousness matter? Is there a person still to speak of that has had your conscious experience? Why does pre-consciousness matter so much? It doesn't like matter. It does matter. If you've you never been conscious, it doesn't matter. I never want to hear the word consciousness ever again <laughs> after this day. Here, let's, uh, okay. we, like, we my got God, some how chats. How many times have we said it today? We got some chats. Let's One do, more uh, thing on the burning let's building. Do One more thing on the burning building. Oh, was that, can I ask my one thing on the burning building? Well, let's say, hold on, wait, 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 Can I just say what I was going to say? Order, 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 order. on the Titanic, right? Make it quick, make it quick, Lila. Okay, I'll make it quick. They saved the... Women and children first, right? I don't even know if that's true. Okay, but well, they say, we'll say whatever, whatever anyway, yeah. right? Typically, we save the children or the woman first. That doesn't mean that the men are less human or less persons than the women and the children, no? No. There you go. So similarly, if you happen to save the toddler but not the embryo or not the elderly person, that doesn't mean the elderly that's why person the numbers or the toddler were or the, or the embryo or the elderly person is less human. Or less oh, of a person. Okay. Okay. So we so have the moral quality. We of the have things some chats here. We got dank naked here. Thank you for the donation. Dank naked. The word fetus means offspring in Latin. If you kill a fetus, earlier. you're killing human offspring. What is in that womb is human. We can tell the difference between an elephant fetus and a right. human fetus. Dank right. naked. Holy Thank you very shit. much for that. Uh, yeah. Desi told me earlier there. he didn't care what the word fetus meant when I asked him. True. We have, I don't win debates with the dictionary. We definition. have uh, pyrotechnist. Thank you for the donation. What about an egg's possibility to undergo? parthenogenesis and develop into a fetus without sperm fertilization holy shit i can't even i don't know i can't you don't know that. what parthenogenesis is <laughs> unfortunately fucking not idiot. fucking dumbass <laughs> yeah, seriously right jesus yeah i'm uh if you're talking about like taking a skin cell and putting it in an inoculated an emptied um egg and putting in the genetic code and developing that into an embryo in that case yes it would still be an embryo and still be a life and still has personhood mm-hmm. mm. We have Doc Venablis here. An argument can be made that consciousness is present at the genetic level as evidenced by transgenerational inheritance of memories and learned tasks, mm-hmm. as well as epigenetic expression. So consciousness may well be present at the I time like of that conception. Argument. I mean, Come on down oh. and join the might table. As well, might That's as well uh, throw that, ar- that, I mean, that definition of consciousness honestly sounds more convincing to me than- Absolutely. That, that would mean dead people have consciousness too, because all their DNA no, is consciousness. No, because a dead person is not gonna but grow. But they still put the DNA still a there. Those intergenerational is- inherited memories 
memories are still no, in the... No, because a dead yeah, person... that's what their definition But that was. doesn't solely define what makes a human life. That's an aspect of a human life according to that commenter. Oh, the, gene, the memory in your genes? The mem- okay, that that is an aspect, but that Shh. human is life Kojima is still living Metal Gear Solid 6? Is that what we're... What's that? Oh. destiny. A dead oh. person is dead. So that's the difference. There. I totally agree. And okay. a not yet alive person is not yet alive. And consciously. Wait, yeah. Absolutely. See, you but keep, keep bringing up that conscious point. You just said oh, alive. You keep conflating alive. And you keep agreeing with us when we call you on it mm-hmm. that a human being be, is alive in the womb, right? What, Even I, before I, consciousness yeah. develops, mm-hmm. you agree that a human being in the womb is alive. Because you keep saying, before yep. it's alive. You keep, okay. uh-huh. you keep saying this. Yep. Okay. I'm not answering you. So just for the audience to understand the tactics, right? Never in this debate do either of these people think that I think that whatever exists before 20 weeks is dead bringing up that alive thing is trying to win using etymology you're trying to win using a word you just said it's not alive. Try to we define. Using the language yeah, you're because using. when i'm saying not alive you know what i mean is no i don't know what experience. you mean okay you so then you it. genuinely think when i said that let me hear you say that i have many you think people that when i said that i think that, that a fetus is dead no i, I, I think that tell me that i think that what do you think i'm saying i think that when you accidentally reference the pre-conscious human as a living human I think, and then you kind of correct yourself and say, it's not, that's not what I mean. Meaning you just call a person a living human, but then you also call the embryo pre-consciousness a living human and use the same terminology. You're accidentally showing the point that your, your arbitrary measure of consciousness mm-hmm. is not a, a, a good definition for when a human life begins. Okay. So that, that's why we're, we get stuck gotcha. on that point for you. What's actually happening is you either totally don't understand my argument, which is strange because I repeated like eight times, or you understand the absurdity of your argument, so the goal is to try to catch on like as many as like, Incorrect. what do you mean when you say human? What do you mean when Incorrect. you say child? What do you mean when you say fetus? What do you mean when you say life? The definition I've given, I'll say one more time for no point, that like I define somebody as having personhood, um, as being a person at 20 to 24 weeks in the conscious experience develops. If I say that like, oh, it's not alive yet, I clearly don't mean that it's dead lump of cells that becomes alive. What I mean in terms of like having the life of the person that we're talking about, I might misspeak because we all use these words like differently sometimes, but I very clearly, syntactically and semantically defined exactly what I mean. If I use one word in place of another, you should still understand what I'm meaning unless you're so desperate to try to win on like a word technicality because you understand you've lost the logic of anything else you're trying to argue. No. That is I, that I is what know. is happening. Our position is 100% listening, you understand, logical, you understand that that's what's happening. Correct. No. I think you're the one who has to create No, that's this. why I've never tried to call you out or catch on like, oh, but you said this word, so that means you're wrong. I've never done that in this because conversation. Because words matter, and we're talking about well, This isn't a conversation about not, words matter. It's no, trying to catch no, me like a technicality words in a word because when you understand you're talking about whether or not human beings should be able to live or die. Yeah. They mm-hmm. actually matter. And what you're harboring, Destiny, mm-hmm. is an innate bias and privilege against children who are twenty younger than 20 weeks in the womb. True. And it's, so you keep using dehumanizing terms or saying it's not alive, and then you're like, oh, wait a minute. I meant it was alive, but mm-hmm. I just said it wasn't alive. Well, which one is it? I think part of it is, as Lila was referring to, it's kind of written on the human heart, and as someone who has a son yourself, and you've seen ultrasounds, we all know what is inside of a mother is a human being, and it is alive, and it is unique, and it is precious. We don't always like to admit that, because that human being could be highly inconvenient to us. Children are highly inconvenient, but... Absolutely. Children can be inconvenient to some people. (sighs) Mm -hmm. But what you're harboring is this privilege and bias against mm-hmm. a child before a child turns well, it's, 20 it's, it's weeks. developmental discrimination gotcha. or age discrimination. Gotcha. And I'll reiterate my point. I am biased. I'm biased against beings that do not exhibit consciousness or have the ability to exhibit consciousness. Unless they're in a coma. That's how you decide somebody is dead. Asleep. Once somebody is dead, I'm just going to keep, well, you, can, you can cut us eventually, but I'm not going to let her ramble for like five minutes and then not repeat my argument because she's just repeating her argument. So mm-hmm. I'll just reset mine. Uh, I, am, I, am do, I do discriminate against things that don't have a conscious experience because there's nobody being harmed. Mm-hmm. When you abort something that's 10 weeks old, you nope. can't speak of a person that is being harmed it was a clump of cells and it's gone. Just like when you stab a corpse, there is no person there that's being harmed because of conscious experience is that's, gone. Let's, that let's, is wrong because the corpse is dead and the human being in the womb is alive and, and you And the corpse know is it. dead because... The corpse is dead. Their because body is no longer exhibiting a conscious experience. And no, their body is no longer working in a coordinated fashion. So I think it's very insincere for you to continue to say that the 19 week child in the womb is the same as a dead human being. Because we all know in this room that the 19 week the 19 week child in the womb is not like a corpse. But you want to keep saying that because mm-hmm. it helps you justify your position that abortion should be legal up to 20 weeks because you have to take that discriminatory view based on age based on development in order to justify yep. and your you beliefs. can use like all the loaded words but you're you right want. destiny yeah. your position is correct you believe that ch- children up to 20 weeks uh-huh. can be killed and you don't give a shit about them so congratulations you've been cur- you have been philosophically consistent with your beliefs I what know, i'm telling you, you 
you're telling is, me is that you I'm think that an 11 year old belief, child is raped and that person should be forced to carry excuse that child to term because otherwise it would be immoral me. to abort a clump excuse of cells me. that don't even have an what experience. What I'm saying there. is and you your position that child. You'd is a reckless. Excuse me. What yeah. I'm saying is your position is reckless. Mm -hmm. It creates varying degrees of personhood, which I have said over and over again, yep. leads to awful things throughout all of human history and can't hold up when medical technology will prove you wrong, as I proved you wrong multiple times about a child yep. who feel pain at 12 and a half weeks. A <clears throat> toddlers and twins, who, sorry, twins who can actually interact with each other at 14 weeks. Okay. And I'm going to go with the so position that doesn't come Compel. You are I'm going to go in a position that doesn't compel 11 year old girls to forcibly so, be carrying a child. To clarify, That's my view. I have, I have, I have a clarifying question for, for Destiny. Yeah. So, if consciousness is everything to you and anything you do before a child is conscious or a human is conscious in the womb is totally fine, would it be morally acceptable for somebody to? intentionally maybe it was like some fetish they had or something intentionally get pregnant and this has actually happened horribly yeah. uh -huh. intentionally Heart get projects. pregnant to intentionally get abortions but they're doing the abortions at 19 weeks so as a fully formed embryo can a fully formed yep. fetus yep. Can feel, and out. you're and yep. you're okay if that person gets gets abortion after abortion, abortion it's totally abortion. morally yep. it's totally morally acceptable go for it yeah i am thank you can be killed <clears throat> so Children. i could have 30 abortions 30 you could have 35 a 19 week old baby unlimited abortions however many your body and you can think produce. it's completely morally acceptable yep, 100 percent Okay, well, it is a, it is a consistent. Cool. Well, let's let's try to get through some it's, of these chats. Terrific, we are. It's, it's uh, I personally think the I think we arresting right the eleven-year-old for murder for getting an abortion after getting raped by dad. I think that's terrific. But yeah. well, that's we all see, now our, you're bringing up other arguments. Hold on. Destiny. Well, that's you not said it's said, consciousness. Destiny. What do you mean? Was, was your argument against abortion? He yeah. would actually arrest the eleven-year-old. He said if the abortion was past twenty, I Unless would. Right. If past twenty right. weeks, you yeah. Know, yeah. But I'm in my world, she would have the opportunity to at least get examined. But and in the an real abortion. world, typically you don't find out when you're a rape survivor of a very young girl who probably is on, not having regular menstruation. You usually don't know you're pregnant until well into the well, second. Maybe trimester. for rape survivors, we should have better support in society for them, like immediately well, screening I, for pregnancies and stuff. Well, after that's well, you thing. don't. Know, they don't know. They typically, they're, the fact that they're raped isn't known. They don't share that. They're not like calling the police right away they're 11 years old well they better in, make it known then i don't know you have to figure out some way to do it what do you are, are you trying to change yeah. my whole position because of the system that exists as is well like I think sometimes I, an 11 year old might be forced to carry a child to term and they don't have the ability to get external help for their actual child that doesn't mean you should be able to murder the baby i think well i'm i'm glad you're against murdering i try to be that's like my the position i'm the most proud of yes i am very anti-child murder i just yeah. hold on let me just i just got to come in like i do just have to come in right. let's let's try to get through these chats just because we are running a little bit late here and then yeah. we're gonna have to wrap up here pretty yeah. soon so okay let's try to just get through these chats if you if you do want to say anything to uh in response i just ask you keep it brief yes, that sir. way we can just get through all of these gotcha. all right we have matt l here thank you for the 49 dollar uh, super chat appreciate it man <laughs> better come example the patient had a traumatic uh, brain injury where if left to its own device its uh, its own Device. Its own devices will heal in approximately nine months to a point of regaining consciousness, as you have defined it. Would termination of this human be acceptable? No. I believe this no. is no, no. Okay, all right, Matt. Okay, why that. is that the case then for a because child? Because there was a conscious experience. Why? It's still the capacity to play. There's some healing process, and then it will deploy again. Back and forth on this brief. Yeah, we, if, if it's you guys, okay. We, okay. We went through it. He, there's no answer sure. for why. The answer is the child has not had a conscious experience. There's no conscious but there's no of. logical reason why. That is having, logical. It, it didn't exist. But why does that provide <laughs> not having the moral? I am Stephen. When I go to sleep, there was a Stephen, and there will be a Stephen. No, if I have a trend of danger, there was Stephen, there will be a Stephen. Yeah, when I was an embryo, there was never a Stephen Destin, to speak of. Destiny, you've said yeah. that many, many times. I have. But the point that, we, that we have sense, said 100%. is within weeks, the child Within weeks, will, so it hasn't yet. But, but Whether why it's five it seconds matter? or five years. But why does that matter? Destin? Because so, it's not there yet. But the child is there. It just hasn't developed you that. The, the child the is it's not there yet. Whether we five years, five seconds, five millennia beforehand, it's not there and yet. And you're also just denying that children, which we know scientifically, actually have REM cycle sleep. And I don't. Even, first of all, weeks. I don't even know that. I don't even believe that. Okay. I doubt we even know that. Um, okay. Yeah. Science. All right. We have uh, we have Fernando Marrero Jr. Hey, thank you, man. He says whatever. Thank oh, you, man. Bro. Appreciate it. Title drop. There you go. Title drop. Yo, Rams. Thank you for the Canadian sixty nine. Appreciate it. The youngest age of fetus medically proven to have survived outside the mother with medical support should certainly be considered human okay rams thank you uh we have vanessa tam thank you for the canadian 50 oh interesting Merci people Buku. are saying that the rem cycle sleep for fetuses is around 23 weeks which okay. would actually be consistent with what i think that that say sure. conscious weeks. experience so cool. we have uh, vanessa tam here birthing the baby fetus is the only way it's coming out of the mom so why not help the pregnant mom during pregnancy and she can birth the baby live and adopted Absolutely. versus dead and dismembered well That's there's exactly this whole thing the called yeah so I, 
you guys that's probably, exactly what we do in the probably know a little bit about this okay there's this thing called pregnancy okay that's there's a whole nine month process between What's actually getting What's pregnant it called? No, it's called pregnancy sure. yeah. oh, thank you for that it's, there's a whole period in there that sucks to deal with um varying levels of suckiness but yeah there's probably a good six to seven months there of time that can be saved and a whole bunch of like irre uh, irrevocable changes to the human body or whatever that you could probably avoid if you don't go through that whole period but yeah All right. destiny uh, death is defined as the complete and irreversible cessation of brain activity sure that's okay. not the same what? to say that if that's the definition Sorry. of death if that's the yeah. definition of death mm -hmm. a child weeks before consciousness at 20 to 24 weeks in the mm -hmm. womb doesn't have that definition of death it's it not doesn't even has, have the brain activity but it doesn't child have irreversible waves. and it doesn't have a cessation of brain activity that will never yeah. come back it's going to develop its brain activity going to develop shortly. i agree a child has brain it will waves develop. and once it develops it i'm well, going to care a whole lot about it do you see that your, even your definition of well i'm defining it the same way that death is defined they're not the same do you see that no you don't see that. You could have a definition you, of going def broke is when you lose all of your money. But guess what? You're also broke if you don't have any money, you don't get any he money. He has a new definition of death, death is what he's saying. He's made what, his own definition of death. What is yes, your definition just of for death? This, uh, the, whatever one helps me win the debate. <laughs> Desi, you wanna, can you hold up your doodles do you acknowledge to the camera? That it's that different if children someone is dead and all their brain activity has ceased and will not come back versus you're, you're, a child is, in the womb, an on embryo the in the womb who, is, who has the potential yeah. and it actually mm -hmm. has the capacity for brain activity in time. Okay. Do you see the, do you see the difference? I know there's a difference, but this difference is not relevant. The it, important that's point, the whole debate, though, Destiny. It's not. The point because you're is, saying it's morally okay to kill the child that has the capacity for brain okay, activity, but hasn't developed Who is being yet. harmed when you abort a 16-week-old fetus? Hold that's, on. While, you're let, destroying let, that 16-week-old. Here, let's just try to get through these chats. If you want to bring it up at the end, we'll okay, try. Go. All right, we have uh, Real Life Outdoors. Hey, thank you, De Dest. Do you think there's a Phil philosophical significant i think that's what mm -hmm. he did you think there is a philosophical significance in non-existence existence and cessation of existence why do you feel humans put so much importance on endangered eagle eggs than human fetuses genuine question do you feel it's purely a population issue a lot going on there um quick responses to these uh super chats yeah there's a difference between all of these but there's there is no quick response to that is super complicated um why do we care about endangered eagle eggs uh we probably feel some obligation to save like unique unique animals or something to the environments and that's why we're obsessed with like pandas and shit i don't know if it's necessarily logical or reasonable but i mean you, well and i think, think there's anything wrong you know it's smashing bald eagle eggs have you done anything morally wrong or is it doesn't matter because it's not really alive it doesn't have consciousness well right? i'm a i fucking eat meat why would i care about smashing mm -hmm. eagle eggs I think the point I of the, the eggs, point right? of the questioner well, is, is um, you know, why do we maybe maybe the point of the questioner is why do we not care about aborting children in the womb, but laws. we care about eagle eggs? And it's true; it's a good point. It's a very sea good point eggs because are protected there are the many, you know. And I, Florida. I'm I'm a conservationist. I believe in protecting the environment. That there are forces, even environmentalism, that say that we should protect endangered species, but we shouldn't protect human lives. So there, that is a a huge. I think yeah. it's not logical and it's not correct. All right, we Stop have. Stop it! Oh, whoops! Get some help. Didn't, didn't mean for that. Oh, my, this is my favorite guy. Do you want Destiny. To read it? There is no point in using analogies when there are hardcore facts about this discussion. Also, using a range for consciousness comes down being a theory, which is a synonym for assumption. Therefore, it's not concrete. Trash debater. I have another one here for you. I mean, I agree. It doesn't make logical sense. True. And it's not consistent. Um, not like a one-celled organism being a thinking, feeling being. No one said it was thinking. Pain is considered an immediate destiny. conscious sensation. And a toddler can't yep, try to bring that up. Multiple the times. ladies are correct, and destiny is wrong yet again. He talks fast, and it sounds good, but perhaps he should use words correctly. Do you agree and do with some that? Research. Do you agree with You're that? You're welcome for the advice, destiny. Pain I agree with is everything. Is considered an immediate conscious sensation? Do you agree with that, or do you uh, think that's wrong? Uh, no, I don't think I necessarily agree you with that. Just disagree with um, science. Thank you. No banuga. Did, did you read because the whole Because that's actually the pre-conscious really child, by your definition of conscious anyway, can does react pain. to stimuli and can feel mm. pain. I'm pretty sure like amoeba can feel... But what they're not an about, amoeba, they're a human what life. What about so human a who can't feel pain? There's a difference. Are they still conscious? Do you Probably, feel like? because I'm not using feeling pain as my description but for being conscious. But we just saw that the pain is definitely Oh, fuck, well, the donator said it. I guess I'm, I don't know. I'd have to think about that one, too. Well, we still haven't really gotten down to that exact definition of consciousness because it's still oh, connected well, fuck, to... I can't let's, exactly define what consciousness is. Yeah. Fuck me, I guess. I would think of it as arguing for I didn't know the killing. burden of me was to solve was the arguing, hardest question I of all of human fucking beings, biology I think and I think I would have, a, I would have that definition like uh -huh. memorized. You don't even have the definition for puberty and you seem to tell me that you're going to If you're arguing whether or not human beings should be killed, violently ended in the womb, whether or not they should have the right to live or die, should be turned into oh, prisons where they have to carry something to there term. There we go. So eleven year olds. It's not about consciousness. Eleven year old. Pregnant. Back to rape. Rape. Eleven year olds. Oh my god. Argument. Pregnant. 
Let's read some more super chats right here. We, we, we have we have tactical, tactical lupus. Oh, thank you for the fifty. Uh, excuse me, rambling about nothing on the loop the whole podcast. Yeah, it's bad faith the whole time. Even the girl you're with is annoyed. They haven't heard anything Destiny has said. Bro, one on the house analogy. Parts aren't a whole. Okay, hey, he's embryo got a cuter is a picture whole. too. Just All right, what an absolutely base dono guy. Okay, Ayush Chuksi. If you take out fetus at any point during pregnancy and it can survive, it would be wrong to take its life. That said, at any point the fetus is body part of female and they should have the right over it and should be allowed to make choices based on that. Ayush, thank you for the uh, super chat. We have Dank Naked here with the 50. All I'm saying is when I put some cake batter into an oven and if someone pulled said cake batter out and spilled it onto the floor, I'd exclaim, what are you doing to my cake? Not, what are you doing to my cake batter? Mm. Oh my Oh my God. goodness. Destiny. Someone's a thinker. Okay. No, first of all, that the argument is still defeating. Cake batter on a counter would not be a cake. A cake is a thing. <laughs> True. All human right, we have we have Doctor Ocho here. Well, embryo is still a human, a just like a toddler is just uh, an adult. Doctor so. Ocho with the uh, super chat. Thank you, man. Kristen is incorrect. Being <laughs> generous by not saying lying. lying. <laughs> uh, REM sleep, REM sleep doesn't happen in the womb until 28 weeks. Okay, according. And there was another study I saw today that said 23 weeks. I saw another study that said 18 weeks. Okay, uh, Vex Liberal. Thank you for the big uh, two hundred dollar. Wow, huge. All human cells contain huge. the blueprints for an entire human genome unit. Universality. Is it a unique human? We don't consider... Yes? What do you mean? No, they don't. We don't We don't consider skin cells to have the parts for consciousness, nor do we give them more consideration. Wait, that's, what do you mean, no, right, we don't? That's right, because a skin cell has your blueprints, has your DNA. When you it's say your, who is you? What does that you. mean? If you like me, what is me? Arm, yeah, but who is me when you say me? cells come off onto the table, disgusting. Yeah, if I rip my yes. arm off and I put it on the table, Those is that me? Is the arm me? have your DNA. And they're a part, they're a part of, part of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, but like, let's say I rip my arm off and I put my arm over there, is that arm me? It's a part of you. Well, it's no longer it's a no part of me. It's no longer attached. So it's, this is me and the arm is not me, right? Well, and, and single but cell destiny was still living destiny. living human being. You were a whole. Arm is, even as an embryo, the, you were a whole. The skin yeah. cells that uh -huh. flake off you are yeah. not unique whole human beings. What if my head flaked off me? Would that be me or would That's the body disgusting. be me? That's why I'm glad you're not saying Interesting. Destiny. Okay, we have Dank Naked here. With what, do you think my head is going to fly off my body? <laughs> uh, destiny asking the most bad faith question. True. The toddlers will have a higher ability to live than the embryos. Wow. As humans, you're programmed to protect your young. Of course, you'll feel an urge to protect toddlers over embryos doesn't mean those embryos aren't oh, alive that's thank you. we have perfectly stated correct thank oh. you uh, i believe that was bryce by the way with the super chat thank you man good to see you in the chat yo angel cardina cardenas thank you for the uh 999 thank you i can't believe the uh has the, uh, okay talk, talk down to destiny when she thinks a seed is the same as a tree they ask a hundred questions and when destiny tries to answer one they ask a hundred more as he's answering answering then get mad because somehow he's interrupting okay Okay. Uh, True. Angel. Thank you for repping me. <laughs> okay. Um, Rams, merci beaucoup for the Canadian $69. Thank you for the soup chat, man. Unfortunately, the only way with evidence-based medicine to find out what the youngest fetus age we are able to save is, is to extract fetuses and, and try to keep them alive in a large study. Unfortunately, I wouldn't even do that to animals. That would be even. immoral research. Okay, and then we have Nanya Business. Thank you, man, for the soup chat. If it doesn't exist, destiny, then why the need to abort it? You make no sense. <laughs> That's a fair point. True. That is such a good point, because I thought wow. it was like nothing, and then all of a sudden it just pops into existence. Yep. Fuck me. That was a really good point. That was my question uh, about the debate magical over. You've, you've lost. You've I seen didn't even the, consider okay. that. Um, Mike Davis, thank you, man. Good to see you back in the chat, man. Wait, is this the Mike Davis? It is the Mike Davis. Um, do we have his photo somewhere around here? This Destiny um, Misfit weirdo is a really slow brain making an argument about consciousness. If we were to ever meet, I'd knock him unconscious straight into airplane <laughs> mode. Would it be cool to kill him then? Well, wow. can no, I arrange? Pro-lifers in the room would say 100% <laughs> no. no. Yeah. <laughs> should, should we arrange? Because Destiny's um, consciousness, ability for consciousness or development of consciousness does not equal his value or person. No. Mm. You're still a person. If you're would, a human, you're a person. Destiny, would you accept a boxing match with Mike Davis? <laughs> Uh, well, it depends on the environment we're in. Like, if he's got like those non-slip shoes and he's fighting in the native like Wendy's environment that he's used to inhabiting, then I might lose that one. I'm not sure. I don't have to think about it, you know? Okay, fair enough. We have the Lifeline Apologetics. Hey, thank you, man, for the soup chat. I really appreciate it. Uh, Destiny, since you hold there is no consciousness at conception personhood, do you believe a woman should be able to drink and smoke mm -hmm. from the earliest question. point of pregnancy if she doesn't get an abortion? 
Um, I would say no, because you're committing harm to a future person. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. So is it committing harm to a future person to dismember them at 19 weeks? No, because you're preventing that future person from existing. Okay. Nice try, I actually though. don't. I like how you thought. I, I actually don't, don't have to say this. anything to that. Like debate, because like, you just, people, they think that they get like catch up. Like, you just have you consider that? Like, but oh, Destiny, you're totally messed but up. But hold on, like, Destiny. Yeah. They, you just they, they do yourself. exist in order to abort them. Something exists. What exists? Something, but not the person. That's the whole point of the so, entire argument. The conscious right. race doesn't exist yet. Yes, that is correct. But they're going to be conscious. But you're saying that person, the same, his same, the six-week-old child in the womb when the mother's drinking and doing drugs, doesn't which we have been arguing this entire evening mm -hmm. has the capacity to form consciousness which is your you know baseline the unethical it part isn't that you're harming that. the six week old the unethical part is you're harming the well, thing how do you know how do you how do you know that the child isn't going to be aborted at 19 weeks maybe the mom decides well if you plan on aborting it then it's not unethical then you can do whatever you want yes based as many trips down the stairs as you find necessary as long as you so know you're getting the abortion you can kill about. a human and that's moral but you can't drink and potentially give the child fetal alcohol syndrome or make the child be born with a drug dependency that's immoral when am i saying you're okay to kill humans at or? 19 weeks and six before days before the conscious experience you can he's abort not comfortable the thing, with yes. that language okay well no because you're you intuition can end, pumping. Yeah. you can end the life of a uh, human being yeah which is a unique genetic human being yeah, which we've i don't care about any of that shit yeah so you can end that life that is not immoral but Correct. it is immoral at 19 weeks to smoke crack cocaine Correct. and yes. Because you're harming the future person. Like, you're, they're going to be about, and then you're going to harm them, right? But they are that person. Yeah. They're not that person yet. They are if I go person. on top of this building... You just defeated yourself. I, like, this is... I like how you think. Done. I've never answered this question before. If I go on top of a building I and I put have. a piano there, okay, and I go to push that piano off the building, mm -hmm. let's say that I push it off onto somebody immediately. That would be unethical, right? Well, what if I set a timer to push this off in five minutes, and then I walk away? Right, um, and I know a person's gonna be walking by in five minutes. Well, is it ethical because I'm not harming anybody well, right at a point person, in time? Hold on, the, the mm -hmm. unethical part is that in five minutes, a person will be there. So I'm setting up a scenario where in the future, somebody's going to be caused by my actions. They're gonna be caused harm by my actions. That's the unethical part. The unethical part isn't me putting the piano there mm -hmm. or putting a contraption there and then walking The unethical part is setting a future person up for harm. So for a fetus, for a fetus yeah. at six weeks old, you wanna smoke and drink and do all that, that's fine. If you get an abortion, that's whatever. But if you do that and then you carry that child to term or if you intend Care of that children, you're harming that future person. Right, That's the and issue. I think that we totally disagree that consciousness doesn't define a human. That's fine. That so you can obviously, be unconscious yeah. and still a human. You can have less consciousness no, we, we and we still be a still human. We went through all of that. No, yeah. We didn't agree yeah. On any uh, just one well, thing you, you, was was I there that something? Was, your point, was you there said a toddler uh, is a little bit less of a person yeah, than a, than a yeah? But there's still a binary of do you have consciousness or not? Once you have it, you can talk about degrees of consciousness. And that binary, I think, is where the illogic comes in. There's no there's no reason there's no reason for why a child that's going to that has the capacity for consciousness and just needs time to develop it why you should discriminate. Hold on. You can child. say that there's no reason, but it's not illogical. There's a binary of are you an NFL player or not. What's However, people that are there could be people that are better NFL players than other NFL players, but there could still be the binary of if you are or What's you aren't. What's illogical is to draw the arbitrary line. It's not arbitrary at all. It's it very precise. Arbitrary. When conscious experience it, happens, you're precise. It's not precise it. because you can't define it's it. An arbitrary it's not precise because you can't define a particular point in time. It's called a continuum fallacy. Look it up. I'm not going to explain it. It's an arbitrary yeah. line to use that for. It's not arbitrary. The what, moral is arbitrary value value what does arbitrary mean to you? Determine, oh, determine if you want the moral value sure. of someone. If you want to say it's arbitrary to determine moral value, I can agree with you. I can agree with you. Destiny. I can agree with you. Just I like can I agree said, with you. I can agree with you. A newborn I can agree with you. has consciousness. I can agree with you. More so than a preborn. Keep saying and that. And therefore, the newborn should be given value. Because I was trying to finish my point. Remember, I can agree with you that it's arbitrary, but the uh, but the point is everything is arbitrary. If you're going to get that fundamental, a genetic unique genetic code is arbitrary. So, a unique uh, zygote is arbitrary. A unique fetus is arbitrary. Like it's all arbitrary if you go really, really, really fundamental. But we're not here to well, do we, like we pick, solve ethics. We pick when life begins. Yes, and I pick when life begins based on when I think life ends because I think that's about what we're worried about protecting. What are we protecting when we talk about protecting human life? It's not a body. Though. It's, it's not a cell. Definitely. It's not a heartbeat. We're protecting their conscious experience. That's about what we're here. Let's for. we'll, yeah. we'll come back to that. Let's come back have, to that. When you there's there's you have a said this system. over. I mean, I just, I'm like I keep sick saying. of having to re-say the same things over and over again. Don't worry, let's the get through the super chat. All let's across the table. Just, we're gonna all projectile uh, vomit into each other. We're gonna get through the chat. Let's go. Get through. We're gonna get through the chat. Control over this apparently. Apparently, just a point of two chatters. Jennifer and Jonathan said that I've missed. Their super chats, Ooh. Jennifer. Um, I maybe we're coming up on it, but I don't. I don't see any of your super chats. I don't know, but um, uh, something about did we do one related to the Khmer Rouge? Nope. No, I don't. I, I thought that. I, I saw something, about. but wow, so you just fucking ripped that person off. Well, maybe my I guys there accidentally was like an unclicked argument it. About but harming babies. What's that? <laughs> 
It was something about harming babies. Was it under the threshold? In any case, um, okay, so let me let me do this one. We have one here from uh, Polarized. I'm not going to pull it up, but he's, he, he has a question for Kristen. Uh, it's a very simple question. If, em- if an embryo is a human being... For you, Kristen. Oh, I thought, is, is there more to the question? Or is That's it. it. Is, and just, well, I guess it depends the, on what type of embryo it is. That a human that. embryo, a human being. Yeah, if it's a human Ooh, embryo, uh, it's certainly a wait, human being. Somebody save it. Uh, Nick, can you, you keep it center? Keep it center. It? Oh, no. uh, Sorry. Rip. Welcome to the whatever studio. Okay, let me get through these soup chats while Nick fixes that. We have uh, Dank Naked here. Destiny, there's a difference between a dead body and a fetus developing a brain. How bad faith are you right now? Yep. The fetus is going to develop a brain. A dead person Thanks, is dead. Dank Naked. We've wow. said that like, I don't know, 30 times. I just too dumb to understand that point. I just, it's not you getting through to me. You don't want to understand that point. Because it would because defeat it, my whole, like, it's inconvenient. Right. It's an that's inconvenient right. fact for me. It would just um, obliterate me yeah, entirely. Yeah, well, you should know that. I do. This is like the head of the Exodia that just obliterate, obliviates mm-hmm. my whole argument. Mm-hmm. All right. We have uh, Devin. C- Cena here, thank you for the 50. Nazis yeah. murdered disabled children because of their impacted consciousness, mental faculties. Was that okay, Destiny? Yeah, I think mental disability is the exact same thing as having no conscious experience at all. That's what they said, so I believe that. What being level of mental or? disability do you think the Nazis are justified in murdering children? Please explain. Um, well, probably the ones where your brain isn't even really working, I would say it's probably justified. Like in the instance of, of Terry Schiavo. Example. That was a pretty or the terrible of, statement you just said, that the Nazis were justified in murdering disabled children. I don't so, think the Nazis were trying to kill people that weren't having conscious experience. I think they were trying to murder people because they were trying to get rid of like the unclean from society. I think it was a bit different. But you just said... Okay, so, so if a woman has an abortion at 19 weeks for a eugenic reason because of the, the skin color of the baby, because she... Oh, that could be unethical, racist, sure, yeah. That would be mm-hmm. unethical. But I thought yeah. it wasn't a, a minute, thing. Earlier, it wasn't unethical for a woman to get pregnant as a sexual fetish and continue to have abortions at 19 weeks because the 19-week-old baby is not a baby and not a human, not a person. So why would it be unethical to kill a 19-week-old who be based for a racist reason? I don't know if it's unethical to practice a sexual fetish. It might be unethical to design society with a racial vision in mind. So it is wrong to kill at 19 weeks for a race-based reason? Uh, I don't know if I care about killing the thing. I'm thinking more of the designing of a society based on race. But you just said, it was, you, Lila okay. asked you, is it wrong to kill a 19-week-old fetus, a child in the womb? You're asking me as if something race. is wrong or about... Or gender. We could ask yeah. about gender because so, that happens. I sure. think you're acknowledging you're that you're me, killing, though, is what yeah, you're no, acknowledging. No? You don't me, think it's killing? Let me explain. Okay. Please do. You're trying to ask me, is it wrong to practice eugenics? And I'm saying, in general, I would say that probably eugenics is wrong. I didn't How, ask whoa, that whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't ask that actually. That, is it wrong no, no, to no, practice no. eugenics on a 19-week-old before consciousness? Hold on, but that's difference. the issue. I don't care. It's always wrong to practice eugenics, even in, on a 19-week-old preconsciousness. On anything, it's probably wrong. But if wrong the 19-week-old week eugenics. preconsciousness has no moral value, yeah, why would it? Why circle. is it possible to even be racist against that 19-week-old? I didn't say you're being racist against a 19-year-old. I say you're practicing eugenics. Why I don't know would, if there has to be. Why would it even be eugenics to kill the 19-week-old? I would say it would probably be unethical if you were to say that people should only breed with people of their own race. That that form of practicing eugenics is unethical, even though you're not, not killing anything at all. Not quite what I said. I said Hold on, I know. Yeah. You're okay. I'm just asking you to do the answer. I don't know question. if I can. Is the thing wrong? is, I can't. I, I can explain it's a every part of this. I, no, 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 no. It's not yeah. the problem. It's not hypothetical. The problem is I can't explain yeah. anything without getting cut off. Okay. I'm You're asking me. Okay. You, you, okay. Go ahead. You're asking me the question is: mm-hmm. Is it unethical to? Uh, com, uh, is it unethical to kill a 19-week-old thing by virtue of doing it because of a eugenics? And what I'm saying is, practicing eugenics is unethical. In your mind, you're transferring the idea that I'm saying, oh, you think it's unethical to practice eugenics by killing a 19-week-old? You must think it's unethical then because you're killing the 19-year-old. No, killing the 19-year-old or, or the 19-week-old uh, has nothing to do with whatsoever. It's the practice of eugenics. Whether it's 19 weeks old or 21 weeks old, I would say both are wrong. However, the additional thing would be that killing the 21 week old would also be murdering a child and practicing eugenics. Killing the 19 uh, uh, the 19 week old would be unethical because you're practicing eugenics, but not because you're killing some baby. But that's, that's the difference. Any, by virtue of your argument, you yes. cannot practice eugenics on a 19 year old because they're not a person yet. Do so you think no that? Okay, here's harm. a question. That's your argument. Hold on. Destiny. Do you think it's eugenics to sterilize people? Can you people? answer? Can you answer? No, what because I'm that's not. I don't about. think that's what eugenics means. Okay, what, let's define then. Eugenics is I'm doing in this scenario. Yeah. It's a racially motivated act of of, of 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 oppression, violence against this 19 year old, 19 week old fetus. Okay. That is pre-conscious, so it's not a person in your book. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what so that definition of eugenics is. My understanding of well, genetics. Would that be wrong? What I what I just said in that hypothetical would that would be, be wrong? It, 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 I, practicing eugenics in my mind for racial visions at the end is wrong. Would it be wrong to kill a 19 week old pre-conscious fetus for racist racist reasons? Would yeah, that be but wrong? not because you're killing 
killing the fetus, but because you're practicing eugenics. But why is it practicing eugenics if it's not killing a person? Because we have different definitions of what eugenics means. That's why I just wanted to just go back and define okay. eugenics. My define. understanding is genetics, or I'm sorry, my understanding is um, eugenics is when you have a like a societal breeding plan. So for instance, mm -hmm. this could be a practice of eugenics, is saying black people are not allowed to have children. It doesn't mean you have to have abortions. It doesn't mean you have to kill of anything. Course, it doesn't mean, yeah. right? Well, okay. Mm -hmm. So if we're saying that that is illegal, if we're saying that's eugenics, telling people who can or can't have kids is eugenics, then I would say it's unethical to practice eugenics for a racial vision of mine. Even if that means aborting a nine week old, even if that means having an abortion of a five week old, but it's not, that's not wrong because you're killing a five year old. It's wrong because you're practicing eugenics, but eugenics isn't defined by having an abortion but of a human living being of a person. You're putting a moral quality on this unconscious fetus. No, I'm not. I'm putting the, the moral quality is on the practice of eugenics. But you're only saying that eugenics is bad because it's it's ending the life of this child I for eugenics reasons just for this human. Eugenics right in front but of you, all the of us. Reason, but God, destiny. listen to us. Destiny. I said that eugenics was designing destiny. socially, in, like socially deciding who can or cannot have children. And now you're telling me you said eugenics destiny. was about killing a baby. I never no, said destiny. that. No, destiny. You're saying it would be wrong to kill a nine-week-old for race-based reasons. No, is that correct or yes? Correct. Yes. Okay. But then on the same hand, you're saying that that nine week old is not a person and doesn't have moral status. Correct, yes. Okay. The explain. wrong that's being committed isn't a wrong. Understand. The wrong that's being committed isn't yeah, the I mean, wrong against true. the nine week it's child. The wrong being committed is the social wrong of eugenics. So it's just the intention of the thing. No, it's the, it, because sure, killing but it's the, them has it's no moral It's not the intention of quality. killing a baby, it's the intention of eugenics. So they get moral well, value, they hold on, they get moral value if they are, they all of a sudden get moral value if they're being killed for racist reasons, but they're be, if they're being killed they're for other reasons. They're not getting any reasons. moral value. Mm. I wouldn't punish the person for murder, or I wouldn't punish the person for having what an abortion. Would, wait, I, what did they do wrong if it's just a thing? If, 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 what are you doing wrong if, if you tell black people not to have children? Old, What's the wrong thing? Nobody's being harmed. If a 19 week old child in the womb is not a person yeah. and it's just a thing and it has absolutely no value, mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying is that because you don't you know, think that a human has value and isn't a person until they have consciousness. So, but what are they actually doing? They're not actually doing anything. They're not even practicing eugenics because there's nothing there to it's practice a eugenics in your on. View. It's a non-person. You said that it's view. a non-person. It's not a thing. If you say only white people should breed with white people, is that practicing eugenics? Even if you haven't had any kids yet. You're not defining. That's well, different. I literally defined it. Well, wait, 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 wait. What do you think my definition you're of eugenics is? You're not defining what that nine-week-old thing is. Then what is that? It doesn't matter what it is. It does because you're saying it's wrong to kill it. So what is it? I'm not saying it's wrong to kill it. I'm yes, saying it's wrong you to practice are. eugenics. You're saying it's wrong practice to kill eugenics it for eugenic on. reasons. What, yes. What so is so practicing what eugenics it is. on? Practicing eugenics. Can you practice eugenics on like things like cars? What do you practice eugenics on? Theoretically, you could sure. Can you practice eugenics on like refrigerators? Theoretically, you could sure. Let's say that I find out no, that a certain refrigerator is... No, because refrigerators and cars can't reproduce. You, you already I'm said... I'm sorry, were you going to let me answer the hypothetical or are you just going to keep no, rambling like you do? Oh, okay, you my bad. No, already I'm not said what the definition of eugenics okay, was. Okay. Here, let's do a couple super chats here. Let's we say have, that I found out there was a car that was owned 99% by let's, black people. And let's say that I armed that car with an ability to stab you in the balls so you can have kids. Would balls? you argue that that's the balls? Stab in the balls. Stab in the balls. It's Cadillacs that only black people drive. Would you say that's a form of eugenics? That would be wrong. Oh, and it would fuck. be... A, it, would it would be, be eugenics, okay. even with no babies present. But you're still stabbing you. somebody. You're still harming someone. Like the nine. Sure, but you're not killing a kid. It's eugenics. You're killing what you don't want to call a kid, but it is a kid. You're killing a human that you don't want to call a person, but it is a human. And you're still upset with killing it for racist reasons, but for other reasons, you're okay with it. That doesn't make sense, Destiny. It totally makes sense. Let's do some super do chats it. here. How many we more of these do we have? It's, we're getting there. We're Jesus. getting there. We're getting there. So a molar preg do not get rights because they are non-viable. Pregnancies with lethal genetic abnormalities that will never be viable on their own but can still become full term. Anas, uh, anacephalic babies never develop consciousness given time. Comments? Pregnancies with lethal uh, genetic abnormalities develop on their own. Well, actually, that actually is false. So pregnancies with lethal genetic abnormality. So the question is, does having a different genetic code or something that could end your life, does that change that you are fundamentally human and that you are valuable? A child who has been diagnosed with anencephaly or a child who's diagnosed with Down syndrome or cystic fibrosis or whatever terrible syndrome you want to come up with that doesn't change the fact that the child in the womb that child 
that fetus, sorry, I don't mean to trigger you, you. Uh, has rights and is valuable and should be protected. I don't think just because someone has been diagnosed, and by the way, the New York Times even said earlier this year that 80% of genetic tests that come out um, and say that a child has Down syndrome, cystic fibrosis are mm -hmm. wrong. That was like the New York Times. So that doesn't actually change your value and it doesn't say that that human is, is no longer worthy of life. Wow. Okay. We have uh, Crystal Cole here. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it, Crystal. Thank you. There are multiple definitions of consciousness. One is related to awake, asleep, under anesthesia versus consciousness in terms of metaphysical human awareness. You can be unconscious according to the first definition while being conscious according to the second definition. Crystal, thank you very much for that uh, super Damn. chat. David Keiko, thank you for the... Uh, Super chat, man. Thank you. If I am the last boy on earth, is it immoral or virtuous for me to pull out and... Um, nice dono, <laughs> dude. Good one. <laughs> I should... I need to read these first. Yeah, you really should. All right. Yeah. Um, Not cool. Th Jennifer, this one came through. Uh, We're reading $20 donos now? No, just... This she, brokey fuck. Jennifer, just a point <laughs> of clarification here. Um, the, the read trigger is... It, the actual question you want answered has to be... Um, Forty nine ninety nine dollars and up. It, it it can't be commu cumulative, cumulative. Um, so cumulative. just a heads up. But something about the Khmer Rouge. I guess if you want us really quick, just we'll give you a slide on this one. Killing yeah. babies um, and bashing that's babies bad. against I a think tree. We would all agree is bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah. All right. Um, Jennifer Hemingway. Any relationship to the author? Okay. Um, what is the question? Uh, is it bad to bash babies yeah, against a tree and bad. kill them? I, reckon, I would say it's yeah. pretty bad. I reckon that's pretty I bad. I definitely take a hardline right. stance against, yeah. We have the lifeline apologetics here. If early term abortion fails the pill, hypothetically, if the child is born, the pill could have damaged uh, the child permanently, just like drinking and smoking example. Would it have been wrong to take the pill? Is she stuck and has to try abortion again? If you're going to have an abortion, it should probably be like a foolproof method, not something that can fail and have like a fucked up, damaged kid, because that would probably be unethical. Well, majority of abortions in the country today are committed via chemical abortion. They have a 15% annual failure rate. Wow. So are you against chemical abortions? If that's the actual stat, I probably would be. I have a feeling that's probably not true, but if it was, I would probably be against it. Actually it actually is, but okay, yeah. They usually have to go back for a, in a percentage of the cases of surgical yeah. abortion. Yeah, because it's abortion. incomplete abortion. Gotcha. All right. Which is why there's abortion pill reversal, which mm -hmm. can sometimes save the life of the child. And it yeah. saved a few thousand lives. If you take the first abortion pill in the regimen, you can save a thousand. Yeah, you can, you can save with you the life of your child. Or if you have problems with the first one, just keep taking more and more, okay? Nothing says you can't take like two or three mm -hmm. plan Bs, you know, plan C, plan D. Do you think plan B is an abortifacient drug? Does that mean abortion? Yeah. Does yeah, it, I do think you think so. Plan B can cause an abortion? Plan, is Plan B the one that it prevents implantation? Yep. And yeah, probably. Yeah. Thank you for having a consistent definition because no I problem. actually my definitions are all I, very consistent. I, so you well, know. no, I mean you you've had a consist, consistent definition of when you think babies should be killed. You have been very consistent throughout all this. I, I think have, it's wrong. You. and I think it's reckless. I, and I think it's very dangerous. But you've had a consistent position. But I would thank you for actually admitting that Plan B, which a lot. Why, which, why are you saying admitting? Well, no, I be, no, agree be, no, it's abortion. No, I, let me finish because yeah. when I talk about the dangers of Plan B, uh -huh. uh, I will often be told in interviewer by interviewers that I'm lying that. Plan B is merely contraceptive. It's not aborifacient. Mm -hmm. But it actually says on the back of the Plan B box, may prevent the implantation of a fertilized egg. If you go Google the word fertilized egg, it comes up. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Embryo. The strongest So you actually admitted that. So I'm I would, not I would admitting anything. I, obviously, I don't care. But it yeah, can probably be abortion. But the strongest pro life arguments, in my opinion, are usually ones that consider um, the teleology, um, the, the, the mm -hmm. development of a human, rightfully so, mm -hmm. begins at not conception, but implantation. And mm. I find that those pro-life arguments are more convincing than the ones that believe uh, it happens at the moment of conception, because if it happens at the moment of conception, there are like millions of babies that die every single day, tragically, that we never hear about and don't even know but about and don't care about, which is like a very weird position to have, whereas like implantation more closely follows, because you, you agree that um, it's possible to fertilize an egg and the egg just doesn't implant. It That's just, right. yeah, it glows out. To think of that as like the death of a human or the death of a person is like very strange. Just because it still, happens doesn't mean that those- sure, I'm not I, sure, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Aren't, aren't, aren't I know. I know. Beings. Are human beings that deserve all the rights, whatever. But the idea that it begins at implantation, I think, is more satisfactory. But if that's the case, then having Plan B wouldn't be considered abortion. Do you believe the IUDs are abortifacient? Because so I was reading something yesterday uh, that Planned Parenthood had put out on their Instagram, and they were saying that Plan B can't isn't very effective for people like me who are overweight. And so they were suggesting that women get copper IUDs inserted in them, which we knew copper IUDs they're not 
preventing the release of an egg, but they actually. I thought copper IUDs they, like sanitize and kill anything. Well, that's in. sperm, but if you're yeah. doing it after the fact, after you've already had unprotected sex, the goal of the IUD is to make the womb inhospitable <clears throat> to human life. Do I you don't think know IUDs? anything. I've never heard about that before. That might be true, but I've yeah. never heard that you can do an IUD as an abortion measure. Yeah, before. it was actually it was very new to me that Planned Parenthood and the abortion industry is actually now lobbying as if IUDs are um, emergency contraception, but they use the word contraceptive. They won't actually use the word abortifacient. So I was just trying to, to find out, are you actually consistent as well? Because you did admit that. I don't, B I won't even efficient. admit that to you because I don't even, I don't know if that's true. I'd have to research it on my own. I've never in my life, usually like scheduling for IUDs and all that like takes a while. I've never heard of using an IUD. To uh, it's, it was on the Planned Parenthood's Instagram page. I was pretty, oh, I was pretty shocked by it as well as that they were now recommending uh, uh, this drug, mm -hmm. this device, which actually can kill a baby. It prevents implantation of the new human being into the uterine lining. All right, we have, uh, a super chat here from Trauma Davy. Thank you uh, for anti-abortion. What is people reproduced by shaking hands? What if people reproduce by shaking hands and the child magically appeared in ten minutes? Would it be unethical to let go a second before? I mean, this is. That's. Um, no, it's not. No, unethical. it's not unethical. Just like it's not unethical to not have sex That's and right. not conceive a child. All right, Trauma Davey, thank you there. And we have just three more here. We have Gotcha. Uh, thank you for the uh, donation, appreciate it. For the pro-lifers, if an enslaved African-American woman in the 1800s unalive their fetus to protect the fetus unalive. from an ins uh, delete, um, oh, from okay. an enslaved life, would that be immoral? So like a mercy killing. Yeah. Is, is the way that they would probably I th see it. I That's think kind of so, yeah. It. And I think, yes, it, killing it's someone immoral. because- it's immoral. Yeah, it's immoral. It's killing someone because they are going to be enslaved or have a bad life um, is not right. Mm -hmm. We should instead mm -hmm. work to free them and get them a better yeah. life instead of end their life. Gotcha. Right. And Gotcha sent it twice here. So Gotcha, thank you for the uh, subsequent. Uh, maybe is this one directed to Destiny? We, he wants no, Destiny's take pro. on this one. Uh, Destiny? For the pro, um, no, this is a fucking dog shit argument. You can't make arguments in favor of abortion by killing people that might have shitty lives. It's the stupidest fucking argument in the world. We you agree, would never think a one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old. We have found so oh, many all right. common yeah. ground. Yeah, yeah. All common ground, there you go. Most pro-choice most pro arguments are stupid. If you read Judith Thompson's mm. original paper on like the defense of abortion, mm. her defense of abortion is one of self-defense, but she very clearly mm. outlines, if you read her paper, mm. that Judith Thompson defends the right for you to have an abortion. She doesn't defend the right for you to kill the fetus. Mm. That's why if you make an argument for viability and you cite Judith Thompson's paper, you haven't actually read the paper because she doesn't even make that argument. Mm -hmm. And even towards the end of her paper, she admits that like having like a seventh like month abortion because you want to go on vacation mm -hmm. is probably like a, an immoral or a shitty thing to do. Well, and the so. whole problem with her argument is that the child, whether it's pre-viability or pre-consciousness mm -hmm. in your case, still deserves to live and still deserves nourishment from their parent. Well, that's a, a complicated a argument because if you're making, but that's a very complicated argument because if you're making argument self-defense, even if things aren't acting with intent to kill you, you can still argue that you have a right to lethal self-defense against those things. For instance, if a four-year-old mm -hmm. is running at me with a knife Be and he's gonna chat. come and kill me or stab me to death, and I have no other way to avoid him but to shoot him in the head for whatever reason, technically you have a right to defend yourself against that child. Well, in that case, you would, first of all, would, what responsibility do you have for the child running at you with a knife? And second of all, you Obviously. should try to disarm the child. Sure. That's why in cases where, even mm -hmm. if you feel you're Sorry, I'm fucked even over. if you no, feel that's why in some places if you uh -huh. feel you're being attacked and then you attack the person back by this lethal violence you shoot them but it's like hey you could have run away you didn't have to stop there and shoot them you could have sure. run away or you could have I agree with you yeah. then there are counter arguments in that are counter argument yeah. too so for instance but the counter argument the, sure, but the counter argument to that counter argument would be if you engage in sex but you're doing every single thing you possibly can to avoid um, a person appearing so for instance if you're taking contraception mm -hmm. and using condom and they still appear do you then have full moral liability for them doing whatever and i believe i think thompson in her paper uses the example if you leave the window open mm -hmm. and like a people seed floats in and like lands in your house and suddenly grows into a human just because you left the window open by a crack but you thought the screen would cover it mm -hmm. are you not morally responsible for the development the protection of the nourishment of that. But, but that you can go back right to but i think i mean i think again her argument is flawed because regardless of whether or not even in, even how much the person wanted to be a parent they're still mm -hmm. a parent if there's a child inside them and that child still deserves to live and has sure. the right to live all right we have Gredneck here thank you uh Gredneck for the uh, donation really appreciate it man thank you still pro-life both sides super smart destiny answers non-stop logical and the girls try to get him on the tech this is going <laughs> nothing but in circles brian get a man on the p life <laughs> side true. next time to not just get emotional answers oh, so it is very emotional. redundant damn okay it's well there you have it emotional <laughs> Uh, yeah, it would have been good to I, I maybe have like three v three, like have one guy. Fuck no, these uh, it's already hard with like three. Yeah, people. throwing in more fair, people just get everybody yeah. screaming at each other, right? All right, we have uh, mockery here. Thank you for the uh, 
donation, man. Really appreciate it. If you don't value life specifically as a human consciousness, how do you justify eating meat? If you value a fetus because it's going to become conscious, would it be immoral to stop a blank because you're interrupting the process that leads to a unique life? Stop sex, I think. Uh, stop. Yeah. Well, stop. I think he's saying non-consensual. You know, but oh, is we, it? Yeah. Oh, let's no. not talk about that. But um, how, so we'll do the first question. If you don't value life specifically as human consciousness, how do you justify eating meat? So I assume he's talking about beef or chicken or no. pork, kangaroo. Are, are Have you ever had kangaroo? For destiny? I both for, of, I mean, but I only care about human conscious experience. I, I didn't say yeah. human because we're not having a vegan debate here. We're just having a. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I think humans are different than animals, than yeah. non-human animals, and I yes. think that they deserve yeah. protection do you think that more human, than humans. Do you animals? think if animals in the womb have consciousness, they have more value than a 19-week-old fetus in the womb? No, because I don't care fetus? about animal consciousness at all. Okay. okay. Um, well, I, we're totally caught up on chats. So, Good um, for you, Brian. yeah, I know it took us a while, but we're, we're there. And Destiny, I just want to say, appreciate you yeah. Yeah. dealing with two of us here. I like half so, appreciate you. You guys are in extreme bad faith. Both of you do, but you know, um, I'm here I, for I, it. I was not I'm here for that. It. And I, I hope you weren't intending that either. So I don't think, I don't think yeah. we argued in bad faith at all. Absolutely. So I think we, I think we, okay. I think we were able to isolate your justification for abortion. And we went in circles many times because at the end of the day, I think it's an arbitrary line that you've drawn. That's right. um, you choose to not Wait, think can that you you restate, that Can either of you restate so, my argument in the best light possible? I'm curious. That a human being does not have right to person the right not to be killed until that human being in your view you develops consciousness at 20 weeks which you cannot define and tell us what consciousness is so you can kill that human being okay. until 20 weeks it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. it's not a human being it's not even a thing mm -hmm. but it is wrong to practice eugenics and then kill it before mm -hmm. 20 weeks because it's eugenics but we still don't know what the any other reason killing is okay because yeah. you don't yeah. you won't define what it actually is okay and That's i'll do this position. one time just to show the audience right can you your do position that for our is, position is absolutely yeah. okay. your position is that if we're looking at the existence of a human being, there is a unique life that is created at the very moment of conception. Okay. The blueprint that is going to determine everything you ever will become happens at that very moment. You can trace back the beginning of your existence at the moment of conception, and it is the most clear and consistent way to define exactly when your life starts, when that unique organism exists, and then when it begins to grow and become a baby, an ad uh, adolescent, an adult, blah, blah, blah. Not quite right? correct, because it's not just the blueprint destiny, it's also the I'm substance. Sorry, I'm sorry, It's also it, a really like, important my point, summary, though. It's not that important. It's my really summary important. Your position well, is a million times better than your summary, my you, position, which is dog shit, but that's well, okay. Wait, no, 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 but, but, my, but just, to, just to clarify, I because it's not, crap. but just to clarify, and I appreciate you giving a stab at it, but it is, it is incorrect because it's not just a blueprint, like a blueprint and a car or a blueprint and a building, Destiny. It's also the substance of the thing and the just thing. Just to be clear, it's human, not, it's, you don't even believe that. I do believe you, it's, it is hold everything on, hold on. is there. It's it's a single it's, cell embryo that with time and nourishment will in continue to develop physics. to an infant will continue to develop. Do you believe in physics? Absolutely. Okay, you believe in time and space. Absolutely. Okay. In one yeah. cell, the mm -hmm. only thing there is the blueprint. And the and the potentiality to continue to develop and multiply. Sure. But it's, it, it's but the it, blueprint. But, but there it's, are, there's a mechanism to begin building the blueprint. But, but, it, but there's destiny, only one cell. Destiny, it's just a blueprint. A blueprint is, is never there. gonna a blueprint of a house is never gonna build itself. It will if other people are nourishing it. <laughs> not quite, Destiny. Sure, it has a little it, bit of self-assembly, but again, it's, it it's a blueprint. Match. It's it not the thing It's doesn't match, Destiny. It doesn't match because, right, right, because right, right, in right. your, to, to make it a more exact uh, argument or exact analogy to your blueprint, it would be as if, again, like I was trying to say earlier, but I think we got redirected another direction, but as if you put in the, it's, your argument would be as if you put a blueprint in a, in a, on a plot of land, mm -hmm. you stacked up all, you put all the nourishment there. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. You put the blueprint there with all the, all the stacks of wood and you walk away uh -huh. and you say, okay, well, the house will just build itself. Okay. The child, the difference between the blueprint and the stacks of wood is it needs workers to go build it. In the case of a single cell embryo, it is a whole person that's okay. going to self-actualize and develop and multiply okay. itself to reach different levels of age and development as we all do as human beings, not just pre-born, but once we're born, toddler, <laughs> adolescent, et cetera. So oh, plan life. Thank you for the gift at 50. Yes. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. It's, I'm, it's fine. Destiny just okay. believes in that conscious fairy. That okay. Certain we have, uh, let's just see here. We have mm. Lifeline Apologetics. Destiny didn't answer. The hypothetical assumes the abortion fails and damages the fetus permanently. If the abortion fails, is she stuck in the choice to attempt abortion again to prevent the potential damaged future child? Fans of the ladies hope to work with you all someday. <laughs> yeah, you should probably attempt abortion again. Yeah. Otherwise, you are harming a future person. Yes. 
to use the no, piano a, analogy. Let's say once you again, to, you say you push, it's immoral to harm a future is, person, yeah, okay. person, but let's it's not immoral to kill Let's keep it nice. 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 Let's keep it
there are less abortions. Women don't even choose it anymore. We're supporting them more. I mean, there's a whole lot more that pro-lifers focus on mm -hmm. um, a lot beyond, you know, the debate that, on this um, consciousness question. Sure. Okay. Um, let's see here. I think we're all caught, finally caught up on uh, all the chats. So... Uh, Closing statements, and I, you, you have to get going, right? I very much. Lila, what's I'm how's right. what's that? I've already missed. I'm good. I'm oh, you're you good. Your, oh no. Um, time wise, are you are you guys doing time wise? Fuck out of here. <laughs> um, what do you want to think about? I think I didn't know I was going to have actual. Destiny wants time to be unconscious. Four hour bed. debate on abortion. This is like that, the joke topic where everybody every it's abortion and veganism are the two that I never do long form debates on. Uh, so you wrote me into. Destiny nightmare. wants to go to sleep and have experienced blissful and. I want to go do drugs. That's what but I want no to do one's right allowed now, okay? to kill okay. him. But, and he's unconscious. Yeah. What are we? Okay, I'm just kidding. What, okay, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, um, we're we, gonna keep going. Here. We could, if if you guys want, we can oh we can continue, or if you guys feel like we've hit, we've the duration of the podcast has been sufficient, then we can uh, wrap it up. Sure. Is there anything you really want to hit or yeah, something? Any, or? Well, I, know, I, mean, I, know, I would love, yeah. actually, I mean, not necessarily now because I know I have to drive three hours and I think, yeah. you know, you have a flight and stuff, but I would love to do a, a podcast to talk about sexual ethics and talk about, you know, the whole reason we have the abortion crisis in the first mm. place. One of the reasons mm. is we have laws sure. that permit abortion and people are just getting them. The Days. other reason though is, the other reason is, uh, I think societally, culturally, mm. post-sexual revolution. I think that's a very interesting conversation. So abortion has become a parachute, get out of jail, free yeah. card. For I love how children are described as like punishments, like the consequences of your actions. We agree on that. Yeah. Well, that's it what you're describing no, them as. That's, that's how. <laughs> like that's get out of jail. Like having a kid is being in jail, how, and the parachutes that, are to save that you from that. That is how abortion. When you do polling and you do research for mm -hmm. how uh, many people view abortion in our country, that is how it, they view abortion. Is that it's a wrong that it's ending the life of a human being, but it's a necessary wrong um, for for them to continue whatever they feel is the trajectory of their life and that sure. that child inconveniencing them mm -hmm. justifies ending their life and that's why i think what lila was saying earlier mm -hmm. was it was sad that we actually didn't get into this at all in this conversation is about what are we doing as a nation to transform our culture mm -hmm. where no woman feels like she has to choose abortion again because that is part of our work in the pro-life movement it's not just simply educating people about science and biology uh, and reality or or you know, passing laws, it's also tangibly coming beside women and changing policies, and whether it's on college campuses or in the workplace or advocating for tangible support services and resources. I don't feel like we, we appropriately got to that point. Yeah, I would say we should reduce abortions by giving more contraceptives to people and let mm -hmm. them keep fucking. That's my... Uh, I, I actually mm -hmm. have one question for the upper life side here. Um, mm -hmm. And I've heard this come up from people who are either more liberal or pro-choice, um, what would you say to someone who says it's hard to take uh, pro-lifers or conservatives seriously on the abortion mm -hmm. issue, considering their social Darwinism on nearly every other issue? Mm -hmm. Now, you might reject that premise, sure. but- I would reject but, that premise. Okay. I would um, reject that. But I, I've often heard it said, that one, one of the arguments you might hear as well, you know they're they're only pro-life in this one one particular mm -hmm. instance but you know they're not so in favor of uh you know once the child is born mm -hmm. This is in my position. Sure. I'm just, I'm I would just say that's, that's I'm wrong. echoing I mean, what, 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 we, what we have done in the pro-life movement for 50 years, uh, while Roe was the law of the land, was create a whole social safety net, pregnancy centers, maternity care centers that vastly outnumber the fewer, you know, there's more than 3,000 of them that outnumber the, the 600, fewer than 600 Planned Parenthood abortion facilities in our country. And these are nonprofit entities that are in the hardest hit neighborhoods uh, who raise money on their own. We're door knocking, delivering diapers and formula to actual doors in neighborhoods uh, surrounding abortion facilities. So that's actually not who we are in the pro-life movement. That's not what, you know, when you look at the money raised within the broader pro-life movement, the majority of money that is raised in the pro-life movement actually is for uh, the, the tangible support services. So I would say that that actually is unfair and it's very mm -hmm. untrue of a statement. I would say we would have also, we can have different policy uh, debates uh, about 
a lot of things that are very important that determine um, you know how humans thrive in our nation but I think we need to also enter in those conversations with good intentions with one another not assuming that each other or those on the other side of the aisle just hate human beings um, you know my position on I don't know immigration or school choice or health care might be different than yours but that's not meaning that I'm starting with the assumption that I hate human beings and I think human beings should suffer. I would say I have very good reasons for why, for example, I oppose socialized health care or why I think there should be choice and education and parents should be able to choose to send their children to charter schools as opposed to sending them to failing public schools. I'm not saying that because I hate children. I'm saying that because I think it's a good policy prescription that can benefit society. So I think that's actually, you know, when you come to those arguments, both sides are actually saying that they value human life. Mm. What's different in the pro-life movement is we're saying that valuableness, that human dignity uh, that we're giving to a child who's at the border or a child who's stuck in a failing school in Detroit, we, we believe that child in the womb has that same dignity because we are all human beings and fundamentally the one thing that we all have in common is our humanness and human beings deserve basic human rights and that first right mm. is the right not to be killed. Mm. Did you have anything to add, Lila, or in that Well, much? I mean, we, we just released our new North Star Coalition kind of position statement saying we need complete legal protection for all humans in this mm. country, you know, the abolishing of abortion, and we also need to make our country a friendlier place to raise a family. Mm. Um, and so that goes to things like a child subsidy. I think that if you're a parent, you should get a cash benefit, you know, money back mm. um, for that child. I think we need to make birth free in this country. So I do think that there are some things that even conservatives can get behind mm -hmm. to say, listen, you know, we should be funding things that make our family, our, our country more pro-family. Mm. So, Got it. Yeah. And uh, maybe last thing to go out on a, uh, a lighter mm -hmm. note. Should we uh, react to that Dave Chappelle clip? I'm not for abortion, but I'm not against it either. It all depends on consciousness. <laughs> on why you're pregnant. If you have a d you need to shut the f up on this one. Not only do I believe they have the right to choose, I believe that they shouldn't have to consult anybody. And ladies, to be fair to us, I also believe if you decide to have the baby, a man should not have to pay. If you can kill this motherfucker, I can at least abandon him. It's my money, my choice. The reaction from the panel. I love when comedy reveals the truth about how our abortion laws in America don't actually make sense. That you know, men have no rights to say whether or not a woman uh, can choose to pay someone to end the life of her child. Um, he has no say in the decision at all, even though that child is was created with half of his DNA. Uh, yet she, she if she d decides to keep the child and raise a child, and he wants an abortion he could be put in jail for failing to pay child support. I think that's that's uh, unfair and it doesn't make sense and I think it emasculates men in, in our society. I know many of us in the pro-life movement believe that child support should actually begin at conception because um, that would be fair, right? Um, she has, as a mother, you have a special role and it, it, your body uh, is, is just a, another human being so men cannot do that. Um, um, but the man should step up, um, but we should allow him to be able to step up. So I think okay. it proves the, the irony. Some logical consistency in that yep. skit. Yeah. Well, I thought it was funny, but it was, every point he brought up was dog shit. Um, the <laughs> not the best, not the best. Yeah, well, none of it well I mean, he also, I mean, he also made the no uterus, no opinion. Yeah. The argument, problem is that like everybody should be interested and invested in whether or not children are being murdered in the United States, mm -hmm. whether you're a man or a woman. So the idea that just because mm -hmm. you have a dick means you don't have an opinion is fucking beyond stupid. Mm -hmm. Um, also, the problem with financial abortions is the way that family courts are structured and the way we think about paying child support is we're always thinking about not in terms of what's fair to the mother or father, we're thinking about in terms of like what's in the best interest of the child. Mm -hmm. And in the best interest of the child, if you're gonna have a child, the child needs financial support. If the government's not gonna be able to pay, then the father has to step up and pay, or the mother if the child goes to the mm -hmm. father. So child support isn't something that's supposed to be fair or you can have a financial abortion if the woman can have a physical abortion. Child support is just supposed to mean that if a child is born, it needs to be financially cared for and some of that financial support should probably come from the two people that made the child mm -hmm. Usually it's the father paying child support because usually the mother's a caretaker. 
And it's an interesting point that you're making, and I agree with a lot of what you're saying, Destiny, because our court system, when it is oriented towards the child's welfare as opposed to the desires of the adults, mm-hmm. I think that's just because the child is mm-hmm. the one that needs the advocate there and is the one that's the most vulnerable. Uh-huh. I do think sometimes our court systems are not uh, not focused as much on the child and our legal system is not focused as much on the child. Obviously abortion is case in point yep. because the woman decides in some cases obviously to have the abortion or she's coerced into it and she has it. Um, and then in other areas in uh, reproductive technologies because reproductive technologies, most of them are all about the adults desiring to have a child and in the process of creating all these children, a lot of them are killed or endangered and that's mm-hmm. um, harmful too. So. Uh, but overall, I think yeah. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It's page. like the the Lacey and Connor Peterson law here in California. In California, you can kill your child mm-hmm. in an abortion, no questions asked. That's a celebrated right. Um, but if you you are murdered by your husband or your partner on your way to an abortion facility, uh, you as a woman are murdered and your child is murdered, um, he can be tried uh, with committing two murders. Hmm. Does that make sense to anyone? Yeah. Oh. Well, and I have a question here for Destiny related to the Dave Chappelle clip. So, yeah. um, you know, he's sort of talking at the end there. What did he say? My, my wallet, my choice, or my money, my choice. Um, this is obviously directed at someone who's pro-choice. Um, what do you have a stance on uh, legal paternal surrender rights? It's, it's, I've no, heard it's called. No, you can't do it. No. You can't do legal paternal surrender. You should, so, wait, when you say paternal surrender, are you talking about like the financial abortion? Being able to say, I don't want to have any paternity, I don't well, want to be able yeah, to Well, yeah, I mean, the, I think the term that people who are in favor of it, they, they prefer not to use uh, either paper abortion or uh, financial abortion, mm-hmm. but uh, would you be in favor of, of that? I mean, in a world where the government was subsidizing to take care of all of it, sure, but yeah. when it's not happening, no, you probably have to pony up for the financial support. Okay, okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's totally fine. The penalties of, um, I fucking hate talking about this issue to these audiences, but the penalties of being a single mother that has to take care of a child for 18 years mm-hmm. is so infinitely mm-hmm. greater than the penalties of paying some child support, of which half of fucking fathers don't even fucking pay anyway. The, the idea of like comparing those two things is one of the most retarded fucking things I've ever heard of uttered by virgins. And the enti- is actually one of the stupidest fucking things to complain about the burden of child support when you're abandoning your kid to a single mom. That is I think, unfucking believable. It's I think we have some common point. ground yeah, there, Destiny, because yes, I do so. think that that's part of the, part of the reason we have so many abortions actually is because Yes, it's women are choosing these abortions, but sure. most women who have abortions actually are single moms. And so sure. they're already dealing with raising a child on their own and a broken relationship with a man who's usually not in the picture. And sometimes, mm-hmm. like you're saying, defaulting on child support. So I think that is a major problem. Well, I, Destiny, I guess my response to you there would be um, you say mm-hmm. that the ramifications impact women a, a bit more greatly. Yeah. But I mean, it, f- when it comes to the fin- financial component, uh-huh. for example, men, if, uh, you know, we, we did away many years ago with debtors' prisons, but men who fail to pay child support, um, perhaps they're in some financial, uh, bad financial position, uh, they're going to uh, get locked up in jail. Go to the court and work it out. Rearrange your, we can re- your child support is usually based on your income, your ability to pay. You, you figure that out when you know, I pay child support, I know that like, it's based on your income and everything. Like you, It's not like they're gonna take a guy that's earning $1,000 a month and he's gotta pay $10,000 a month to his rich single mom who's driving around in a Ferrari because of all the money she's making on child support. Like, Or if it's really that big of an issue, as much as I hate well, to say what, it, like wear a condom, don't get somebody pregnant. Like, well, but what, what if the guy is indigent? So you just- What if the guy is what? Indigent. Is that the right word? In, yeah. Impotent? What are you talking about? Indigent. In, indigent. Homeless. Oh, like homeless. Like it, homeless, no money. Oh, he can't he's afford. probably not going to pay shit anyway. What do you mean? Right, but it, I, I mean, I'd have to look into it further, but my understanding is even if you uh, don't make any money, if you fail to pay child support, that puts you at risk of being incarcerated. Well, I think the courts oh, no. get into the details of the situation because if yeah. you are like, you're homeless because of some medical injury or something, or you have a mental health condition, mm-hmm. they will take that into account because usually there's court proceedings where the mm-hmm. woman's trying to get the money from the, um, mm-hmm. you know, from the man. So it, it depends on the circumstances. You know what, the, you, you did make an, another interesting statement there though, Destiny, and, and uh, you said that, well, the man, if he's concerned with 
the financial ramifications of pregnancy and having a child, mm -hmm. then well, he should just not have sex. That's a rather pro-life. Yep, that's, that's that, literally that's like what very, I tell students on campuses every time. It's a very campus. rather pr Bronze Age pro-life position of you that's to take. Right. I don't think um, it's a pro-life position at all. Well, it's in, well, it seems like almost it's a cautious position, right? This, my Listen, my rule is I only nut in women that make more money than I do, okay? So what? if I get somebody pregnant, they got the money to take care of their shit. I don't knock up any fucking broke bitches. That's how you live your life, boom. There's nothing Bronze Age about that. Also, I'm pro-choice. My wife gets knocked <laughs> up, we're getting an abortion, we're driving down to the abortion clinic, like boom, mm -hmm. have the conversation beforehand. Like, I don't know what to mm -hmm. say. You have some amount of ability to exercise your um, reproductive rights with a woman. I mean, if you're worried about her getting pregnant, be careful. Either use multiple forms of birth, birth control, don't use birth control, make sure she's got a really long staircase. I mean, whatever you have to do, but I mean, once the child is born, Born, it has to be provided for. You can't just say like, oh, well, I didn't want to, mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 because now you have a living person that is whose life is going to be material impacted by the financial contributions you make. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you have to consider the best interest of the child. You know, would have, could have, should have had an abortion or should have fucked or whatever. You're past the point at that point. So Well, sure. I, I it sucks and it's not yeah. fair. It's not really mm -hmm. fair because sometimes people want, men especially want to argue this point of fairness. It's also not fair that women have to carry and deliver kids. But like, like all red pillars like to say, life isn't fair. It's not always fair. Men and women aren't the same. Men have to pony up a little bit more on the financial responsibility side. Women have to fucking deliver kids and have periods mm. and be annoying in general. So like it's life isn't fair. That's just the reality of the situation, right? Well, I think, I mean, I think we <laughs> agree a lot with you yeah, on, on a lot of that, Destiny. You Except were, for the long staircase comment. You were saying something earlier interest, that was interesting. I don't know if you want to talk about it, Destiny, before the camera started about you used to be pro-life, now you're pro-choice, but you have a son. And then you made some comment about you wouldn't, uh, something about yeah, your son. I would being, have been pro-choice, but uh, it's super aborted. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Yeah, I would have had an abortion if I would have been pro-choice parent, but I was super pro-life when my kid's mom was pregnant, so we had a conversation, and I, I can't have an abortion if I'm pro-life, because I feel like a hypocrite. Do you yeah. feel so like you were if your son would hear this, that would affect him? No, I tell it to him. What do you mean? It's, you told you told your 12-year-old yeah, son. Yeah, I'm super frank. But he knows his, me and his mom are split up. It's not like you? we chose that arrangement, like we want to be split or whatever. But like, I still love How my kid. How do you kid. think that affects your child? It doesn't. He knows them. I love him. We hang out. We have fun. Like I talk to him. I love him. But like I'm not going to say I love you now, but I could have killed you or if I before he existed. But he, he was in existence because he was alive. Okay. Are we going to redo the are whole you, are four you hour that conversation? Who, <laughs> human beings aren't in existence. You, you're saying they're not persons, but they're still in existence because they are alive. I mean, I, I their hearts, what I'm saying is their that their hearts are beating, I don't blood treat is pumping my, yeah, through their veins. What I'm veins. saying is I don't treat my kid like an idiot. He sees he has two separated parents, so obviously the situation is not ideal. But, but I love my kid. Of course I do. Like, you, I would, like now that I have him, I wouldn't kill him. Right? But you, like, if we could have had an abortion. I mean, maybe it's. But you tell him that that you would have had you would have aborted him. I don't know if you said that. Like I make jokes about it, but yeah. But I'll, I can bring he, him for the next conversation and we'll thinks, see. Hopefully he thinks it's a joke because yeah. I mean, I, it probably be would be hard traumatic. to hear. I don't think, it, I don't think we're all traumatized the same right. way, but maybe he might be traumatized. I'm a little traumatized and I want to be the spinning image of me. To be told, yeah, I mm -hmm. would have killed you. Absolutely. I say it just like that too. Mm. All right. We have our last chat here. King of arena. Yeah. Thank you for the donation, man. I'm on the fence about whether a fetus is a person, but since killing a person is significantly worse than an unwanted pregnancy, it seems better to risk being pro-life than pro-choice. I'd think even a half or third chance of killing a kid is worse. That was the point I made earlier when mm -hmm. I was asking Destiny about what if he is wrong versus what I am wrong. That even if you're not 100% sure. Are we really resetting this whole argument? No, I'm just re reaffirming what the commenter was saying. Even if you're not 100% sure if a fetus is a person that you think has rights to life, I think we always need to err on the side mm -hmm. of caution. And that's why I was calling your your choice of saying yeah, person I doesn't begin at 20 weeks as reckless. Whole argument again. I mean, it's the hunter. No, I'm just, well, it's the hunter hypothetical if you're hunting and you're rustling in the bushes and it might be a human but it might mm -hmm. be a deer do you yeah. just shoot before you can confirm that this isn't a human this is a deer and you would say well let's make sure I'm actually hunting a deer and not a human here so but that's but there's that's gonna more be for people, but, but hold on when you go choicers, hunting there more, is a chance that you could shoot a person in a deer suit right? but if you knew that there was wait, 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 a 10 year wait, wait, old you, wandering through the sure, woods near let's where you were that, hunting let's say, the but yeah but even so you could be shooting a guy in a deer suit every time you shoot right well if you knew that there was a, again in the hypothetical I'm not the, saying you knew oh we lost our life in the hypothetical I'm, I'm, hold on can we engage with the hypothetical yeah well you know I was that there could be a person in a deer suit right okay I'm sorry that's real life there could be a person in a deer suit right okay but what you would say is 
is it worth me to eat meat knowing I could be killing human? What you would say is, mm-hmm. the probability of me eating meat is very, very, very high if I hunt and kill this thing. The probability of that being a living person is very, 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 very high. Right, and you can, take, why, you yeah. can take the hypothetical to an extreme. Sure. Like you can well, say, well, when I'm I get, saying, well, because you can say when I get in a car, I might kill yeah, someone, I'm I'm just in a that car the, accident, the, is it the, worth the asking, risk? Asking like, right. can I do this thing if it causes this bad thing? Mm-hmm. You have to weight those probabilistically of because course. that's where the whole, mm-hmm. that's the most important part. We already know it's an abortion. With an abortion, you know, you know that it ends the life of the thing, but if even if you're like, well, I'm not sure if it's a human or not. So this is not your position, Destiny. This is some pro-choicers. Yeah. They're like, I'm not sure whether or not it's a human. I don't know when life begins. And the pro-life response to that is to say, well, if you don't know when life begins, saying it's okay to kill something that could be a life, even by your definition, is not just and not And I understand. Justified. And I'm saying that locking an 11 year old for having an abortion because she's pregnant. But now you're going to an extreme. Yep. You can call it an extreme. Earlier. That's real life. Wait, I'm just saying that. going like, to emotion which, uh, now. Which I I'm think we actually emotion. disagreed yeah. on that case. Because well, I was saying we shouldn't lock up the 11 year old. You accused us of going to emotional arguments but you've been the whole time saying you have a very straightforward fact-based opinion that it's just consciousness and you you're well sure but, well, I, hold I, on. I she's giving me a potential risk and i'm giving I you a potential think, risk i do just want to say like i yeah. know we're leading the end of this year a little come i do think overall destiny is trying to argue his best that he's doing i don't need your job. charity i'm not tra- trying my best i, I was like, bad faith well, and i know night. Kristen, and i know she has and great intentions women. so i just want to i know where the bad faith thing has been leveled a bit but i i will just mm-hmm. say i think there's a lot of good faith imperfect mm-hmm. debating happening here but i think you two are evil table, so. okay <laughs> unironically you guys are like out here like that's trying to get abortion rights and everything banned from the all of human society and shit i think that's kind of evil shit restricting the rights of women well, I think dismembering a child in the womb is absolutely horrific. Well, we can and at least all agree it's and should be banned. We all think each other is evil. Okay. Yes. I, I didn't say you're evil, evil Destiny. Well, I, I am do evil. Think I'm evil advocating for fucking child abortion. murder. How? What is more evil than that? I, I it's got to be a pretty evil position. Well, well, in your mind, because of I think cognitive dissonance, you're convinced mm-hmm. yourself. You seemingly well, almost perfectly Nazis convinced, convinced themselves that killing Jews you, was good. It didn't make it a good thing, right? You seem to have convinced yourself that they are not human lives, that they don't mm-hmm. matter, that they're not persons. Therefore, it's okay to kill them for any, almost any reason, except for eugenics, but almost any <laughs> reason. So in that case, I, because if you sincerely think that, and again, mm-hmm. I think there's cognitive dissonance at play. You know, there's not. Um, I think, yeah, they think there are some good intentions that you have. I mean, I okay. sincerely think that. Gotcha. I we do, do find think that the ground. position, the pro-abortion position at its heart, though, is not just un- illogical, but it's evil because it it is has led to the killing of 60 million children in this country. Based. And that's absolutely horrific, and that's why we are working at Live Action to stop that and save lives mm-hmm. and serve women and help and do all the things that we're doing, educate, et cetera. Mm-hmm. So. 60 million people. Would you say that's like 10 times more or like 100 times? Where are you at on the... It eclipses look, any, any other human rights abuse in our history and in the 20th century. I'm so. sorry. That was an advanced... Uh, an advanced all right, Destiny, can you sh- show the camera the doodles you've been drawing? I don't even... I just, <laughs> no, they're I very, they were very good just, doodles yeah, this yeah, whole just, time. Just, it was wonderful. In any case... Where um, was my... I, 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 saw, uh, I was a little jealous because oh, I'm a doodler asked, too and you're well, like, brought that to Destiny? Yeah, he asked for some... Oh, I had to... Well, you didn't need that because I let you guys finish your statement, so you were... Well, no, I mean, Destiny, you went really fast and you were like changing the topic. I mean, we were, I think, both doing that in fairness, so next time, you know what we could do? I think next time we need a whiteboard. A moderator. You did great, Brent. But someone who, some, no, 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 not, not down in front, but we, we and do. And cut the camera. No, no, no. We no. do need a I real moderator Brian. Brian's next time. But more, put the question up, and then we each take a turn answering, and then have like two minutes. Oh, I mean, get like a timer. Like a timer, nice. and then, you yeah. Have two minutes, 30 so, seconds anyways, to respond. Mm, yeah. True. Yeah. But it, yeah, this is my first time. That's okay. This is my first Second time. I like you did well, the whiteboard Brian. where you just draw out the arguments. <laughs> yeah. and um, okay, so uh, Lila, where can people find you? Thank you. Um, so liveaction.org is our pro-life organization, so we have all kinds of arguments for life, responding to his position as many other pro-abortion positions, um, facts and resources. If you want to be educated or educate other people, follow us on social media. I have a podcast too, the Lila Rose podcast, and my new brand new YouTube channel. Um, Destiny, you should come on and we'll do a, another debate. Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> I was like, that'd no. Whenever um, you want, okay. And yeah. so you can check that out on YouTube, Lila Rose podcast. And all of our socials are live action, or Lila Rose. Yeah. You can check us out at studentsforlife.org or standingwithyou.org if you need pregnancy resources or support or help for abortion pill reversal. Uh, I've got a podcast explicitly pro-life, and you can check out my YouTube and my Instagram and all my social media handles at Kristen Hawkins. Destiny, where can people find you? You can check me out at www.nomorebabies.org. Okay, oh we show you God. the best brands of hangers to use, how to use copper IUDs to have abortions, <laughs> all sorts of exotic ways to abort a pregnancy you never even could have imagined or could have uh. dreamed up, okay? Also, youtube.com slash destiny, kick.com slash destiny, and uh, destiny.gg. Mm-hmm.